Um, I guess we'll, uh, I guess I'll start it. Sure. Got a heck of a car for me. Oh. Okay, we have to pick. Alright, let's... What are all these? seems better. Sharing the buzz of my gold cups. Dude, that's a lot of cups. Oh, I can't zoom out anymore. I don't usually like uh, when the cameras are up this close. Do this. Feels like driving underwater. Yo, Zeltrek, what's up, man? Yeah, the handling of this, oh, uh, dude, it's it's rough, but it's like the very early cars, and so it, it does get better. Oh my goodness. So it was a two minute lap. What did they say the lap record was? Like minute 45. Oh, I didn't even see what I hit.
No, there's a championship mode, but um, a lot of these racing sims, they give you the option to practice a track before the qualifying race. Um, so since I've never played this before, I wanted to do like one practice. Okay, and there's a mini map, so that's good. That's going to be the play. Or not. Or not. All right, that was much better. It, it is very smooth, but it's slow. Um, so far. Like, the turning and everything is very slow, but that's because I'm using a crappy car. I think I have to do this. This uh, qualifying race. I'm not sure though. 150. I was just about to get a 150 before I botched the ending of that last race. That's really bad. Okay. In the options, I turned down the sound effects, but I turned up the music. So this is the result of that. Straighten out. Which is not bad so far. car has a really hard time when you get outside the line. Seventh place. Seventh out of how many? Does not tell me. Okay, I wasn't sure uh, how much it would affect if I bumped the guys, but it really messes you up. Damn. All right, this is, uh, we are not gonna be able to play this like a lot of our other racing games. But 
and forth. <laughs> no! Yeah, okay, they really slow down for some of these turns. Oh, there's only two laps. Did not realize there's only two laps. How are you doing, Zeldrex? I didn't overcorrect that time. So we just lost that initial speed, but that was it. One fifty oh three. All right. First place. That's what we want. Probably skip to the qualify. Okay, it is hard to see here on my TV. Dark right here. So I'll get out of the grass. Left. 
big left coming out. Last place, ah, oh, come on! Dang, all right, so it's at eight. Get wrecked, me. Yo's! D Lodge, what's up, man? I forgot to turn my freaking alerts back on from the tournament. Where even are they? Okay. There you are. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Where are you playing today? I'm doing okay. Uh, got a new game today. So trying to. Oh, I can restart. No, I can't. I have zero restarts. Okay, that was bad. That was really bad. Yeah, well, since I'm, you know, I'm doing the N64 thing where I beat all the games. So. I uh, very frequently am playing a new game. Hey, Chimera, what's up, man? Yes, you are, you are a witness to uh, the great game that is World Driver Championship. the 148th game released for the Nintendo 64. 148 out of 296. It is the halfway mark. So, fun fact. After this game, I will be halfway done. Finally. Alright, four. Can we, can we make up four spots. I think so. Maybe not. Maybe I should have done some more practice. Yeah, I think hitting the wall there is the way to go. Everyone else slows down so much. Oh no, I did it again. Better prepared that time. Yeah, that was a big oof. You really, they really don't want you running into cars here. Not like some of these other racing games. Some of these other racing games, the uh, the like championship mode was or circuit mode or whatever it was made very easy because you could like destroy other cars, and if you did, then obviously they couldn't like you know do well in the race. So it was like, all right, who's the guy that's closest to me in points? Okay, we're just gonna find them and make sure they don't finish the race, and then they just didn't get any points. <laughs> It's kind of funny. But this is much more of like a sim. So it's not as outrageous. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. You stay on the road. You stay on the road. They are right there. Oh, that was a hell of a turn. Good job, me. Good job, me. Sarasol, what's up?
Ru Rush is a lot more interesting of a game, but I don't necessarily like it more. Maybe. I don't know. It's tough. Not a huge fan of Rush. Oh, wow. We got, we got double, double bots. Double bots in chat. Big follows. Bigfollows.com. Hey, anyone else need some follows? I mean, who can't use some follows, right? You're injured? Why'd you get injured? I'm doing okay. I'm not injured. <laughs> I, got that, I got that going for and me. And I thought they would win. What a dope. What's up, Nar? What a moron. <laughs> Oh. Do we, do we change teams? And leave the kitty cars behind? Uh, I don't know. Three, three, four? Oh, yeah. It's just straight up better. All right, see you later, America. Yeah. No way should you leave. This team could really rock. <laughs> Wait a second. I feel like that just screwed something up. It does. It resizes the uh, uh, uh. Burt can for it's some reason. <laughs> no, 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 man. Go for it. The Batman one's not new. Oh, that was Sarasol. That's a that's a very popular quote with uh, me and my brothers. Oh, we got we got all sorts of cups now. All right. Catch you later, Logic. Dislocated shoulder and back. Wait, how'd you dislocate your shoulder? That sucks. I've had two shoulder surgeries, so. I feel your pain. I mean, the 6900 one, it's not exactly exciting. But you gotta, gotta have a dump, right? You gotta have a, a points dump somewhere. Oh wait, this is the track we just did. Come on, handling. Nope, same path, too. Look at this beautiful N64 landscape. No cookie. 
What is up? Yeah, that that dock is uh, it's all the games I've played and all the games I will play, and then a bunch of information, like how long they took me and what I thought of them and that kind of stuff. Last place again. Dang, we got wrecked. Ooh. We actually got destroyed. What the heck? Didn't want to hit anybody. on this stretch. That freaking turn, I just really don't like it. guy. Alright. I was like, don't you spin out. Let's go. Oh wow, one four. Yeah, that's crazy. Ten seconds faster than our qualifying lap. Guys, we're streaming. He's woofing in his sleep. Great nighttime because it wasn't dark enough. Okay. 
<laughs> hey man, what's up? Hey man, you gotta you gotta do whatever it takes to win, you know. Why are we competing if not to win? My night is going okay. Um, you know, playing this game, hanging out with Bert. Holy crap, that was a turn. I should have looked at the mini map. I would have seen that. Dude, that, that DK strat was legit though. At actually at Genesis, right? At that Genesis, I played him game one Falcon in our first set, and I like barely, barely lost. And then I just said screw it and went DK. I had not practiced DK Puff. I hadn't really done that matchup that much at all. I was just like, screw it, I'm doing it. Because it worked. It almost worked that one time at Shine. When I had a when I had a brownie and I had no idea what was going on and I still did well, I was like, okay, we'll try it, we'll try it, and I like destroyed him. <laughs> so dumb. Oh yeah, I definitely have fun with DK. Frey apparently has been, I think he's been having trouble with his computer for a little while. Because uh, after he won M2K's tournament, someone in the Remix Discord was like, congrats to Frey for winning on a toaster. If we don't, I think we still win the cup because we we already got first once. Scar, what's up, dude? Oh, it almost helped me. No. Oh, no. What the heck? No. Sorry, that was your fault. <laughs> Dude, how come I'm the one spinning around? Why is it only me? Cold War Zombies, nice. Freaking dang it. 18. 
Oh, and that person got 20. They got, man. That was whack. All right, Reg. Three, three, three. No, don't like that car. Can we redo Spider Cut? I want to win. I don't know if it matters. Like, I, I don't know what it takes to beat the game, actually. This game's not bad, but, uh... That part was definitely whack. Hitting other cars is not good. Yeah, the sellout emote's great. But not just anybody can have it. If you wanna really show me how much of a sellout I am, it's gonna cost you. Like, why? Why does that have to be a thing in this game? There's so much catching up to do. Ah, they're so far ahead. Crap. Passing on the outside. Like a baller. All right, and then if we can get a good turn up here. Oh yeah. Let's go. 137. Three seconds faster than last time. Alien Isolation. I've heard good things about it. What plat is it? What platform is it? It's 
steam. PS4 and Steam? Okay, I'm interested. Now I just need to wait for it to be free. <laughs> It's like, is it free on Steam or Epic Games? <laughs> oh, so if I break right before I hit someone, then it's okay? Seven ninety nine. Oh damn. God, what was just free on Epic? Oh yeah, uh, Battlefront Two was just free on the Epic Game Store. I have so many games on that platform now that I just haven't touched, but I just grabbed because they were free. Oh, uh, corn, it's too long for you? I don't know if I've... I'm trying to think if I've ever really had a problem with how long a game is. Aside from, like, doing this challenge where, like, obviously I just want some games to end. Like, as far as a game that I got that I wanted to play, I don't know if I've ever been like, it's too long. That's more like it. Repetitive. Yeah, a game can get repetitive. I have won this gold cup. Great car. Emperor challenge. Oh, this one has three. Rome key. Oh, okay. I guess we just keep going. practice let's let's qualify all oh, right this works Now it's different. Uh, that felt pretty good. I don't think we lost much speed there. Now that turn on the other hand. <laughs>
Oh, all three in a row without dying? That's impressive. I have beaten zero of the Ninja Gaidens. Coliseum, this way. In case you guys are ever wondering, the Coliseum is not off of a highway. It's literally like in the middle of the city. I love how they can just call this Rome if they just slap the Colosseum in the middle of it. Like, no regards for what the city actually looks like. Last place, come on! What the heck? One of the hardest games ever made. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden's it's supposed to be up there. Just a notoriously difficult game. Yeah, NARC Nar speedruns a little. Speedrunner and Smasher. No! No! Dude, like, what the hell? Doesn't happen to any other car. You could speed run losing to me. Oh my god. All right, we're. I figured you were both still talking about Ninja Gaiden. Alien Resurrection. You can't win! Dude, I can't. and take a turn and then you get flipped around like this is extreme g2 all over again oh come on Wait, Frederick? It was snowing in Frederick? Damn. Dude, they're smoking me.
We had that one snow in Baltimore so far this season. It was pretty... It sucked because, like, it covered everything, and then it rained, and then everything was just ice. It was miserable. At least in my neighborhood, it, like, really sucks. The one side of the block, like, doesn't get a lot of sun, so it just freezes. And then the ice just sits there, and that side of the block is my side. People are just like slip sliding their way down the sidewalk. Can't you just hit a wall and bounce off like a normal video game car? Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? Alright, maybe we can catch them at the end like we did last time. No! What? What the hell? Oh, there's three laps? Oh, crap. Okay. Look at that. I'm not even choking on the last lap like usual. That would have been an impressive last lap choke. And I've had some good ones. Yeah, okay, if I break before I hit them, apparently that's okay. Dude, this freaking game. New Radicals? I feel like they picked that band just for the name. That's like a meme joke for like the Republican Party having new radicals play at the Democratic inauguration. Yeah, man, don't let go. Got the music in you. I remember that music video. <laughs> I want cars so far. Man. Never recovered. the great chokening. Dude, it was so close! Ah. So annoying. Oh, really? Interesting. What, what, I mean, what else did he write? Maybe we can like actually get a decent qualifying place. Like this is ridiculous. This, I mean, this game's 
Music so far is better than most of the racing games. It's pretty tolerable. It's no, it's no Top Gear Overdrive. Yeah, Top Gear Overdrive. Holy crap. All right. So much for that. That's interesting. Multiple Grammys and Oscars. This guy has Oscars. Damn, we are still in seventh place. I just, I can't see. It's freaking, I, I need to, like, get a universal remote or something for my TV. It's way too dark. Like, there's actually a setting in this game to turn up the brightness a whole bunch but it makes the capture look pretty bad. So I don't want to do that to you guys. And I can't play off the capture, it's too... The, like, however many frames it's delayed just messes with me too much. Dude, there are not many FPS games. Scar, were you around for Quake 2? That was a quick one, though. That was one night. Yeah, man, you missed Quake, too. Yeah, I think I officially don't like this game. Those collisions are just too dumb. Uh, 
Like the fact that it's always only me. Like it's just so stupid. Sarge's Heroes. Yeah, I've heard good things about the Army Men games. Specifically that one. Um, I have not played any of them at all, though. Oh, Scar, uh, when I do the 12-hour stream, I'll be playing some Goldeneye hacks. Yeah, screw you. Uh, I'll be playing Goldfinger. Um... Spy Who Loved Me and Tomorrow Never Dies. Those are all like full, full story mode Goldeneye hacks. Uh, I confirmed that they are all working on my console, so. Hitting the wall is better than that. Come on! Damn it. Um, I don't know about the other ones. They, they might not be completely done. Shadow Man at 160. Yeah, I know. We're like actually getting close to it. Damn it. Yeah, Tomorrow Never Dies, I think, might only have, like, a few missions. Oh, yes, look how bright it is. Thank you, New Zealand. I'm just going to start in last again anyway. Shadow Man should be fun because I've, I've replayed it a couple times, but I like always forget a bunch of stuff. So it, it ends up being like a pretty legit playthrough. But at least like I know things like, you know, what the retractor does and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's easy to get the retractor, but uh, uh, I think most people in their first playthrough, they get it and they just never know what to do with it. Um, it takes it takes a long time and before you actually like learn what you're supposed to do with it through like the events of the game. But if you're like a kid and you're just like spamming things like like we were, we figured it out pretty quickly. 
And having that map in the instruction book, I think, is so freaking useful. Because it says where the retractors are. Gosh, your regress game is after this. And this is not shaping up to be a short one. But I also don't know what what the end of this game is. Like, is it when I get rank one? I have to win every cup? Like, what, what? what's the deal? When do I get the credits? I'm definitely not getting them tonight, so I'll be able to look it up afterwards. Yeah, hey Josh, we're uh, 12 games away from Shadow Man. Which also means we're not that far away from the... Uh, the marathon of battle tanks and gauntlet legends. I mean, I guess you could. Yeah, I really hope this game gets better when I get a better car. What the heck? We got we got an, a car upgrade after like one race. Where's, where's the next one? Actually, I don't think the handling changes that much. I remember correctly. Get out of the grass, you idiot. Damn, I can't, I just can't catch these guys.
No. All right, I'll take third. Screw it. Yeah, Shadow Man is definitely up there for me for most satisfying game completion. Um, Mystical, uh, Legend of the Mystical Ninja is up there for me as well. Just because of like, and Super Metroid. Those are probably my top three that I can like remember. Oh, uh, okay. That's how the ranking works. You can't win! Dude, Neil, I really can't, man. And is she hot? All right, well, I guess I got to check out this new car. All right, so this is what I'm driving. It's 334. Oh, weight is the one that doesn't change. Okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Handling is worse. Don't know if it'll matter. Let's try it. Cup. I just wish I could zoom out a little more. I'm hoping that the difference in acceleration will make up for the mistakes I make because of worse handling. But we'll see, I guess, as we always do. How you doing, Neil? What did you think of the... And uh, I thought they would win. What a dope. What a moron. What did you think of the last Remix tournament? Top eight was pretty good. They're like a bunch of game fives. Oh, they work, Josh. Seventh, not last. Okay. Yeah, I wanted some new channel point things, but I, I'm still like, these are still kind of whatever. I wanted like interesting ones. I have some ideas. I just, it'll take a lot more time than these. 
Uh, yeah, like no one plays Ganon. I like Ganon. I probably would I definitely would have played some Ganon. I would have played some Ganon, I would have played some Young Link, and I would have played some Bowser. I would not have played Ganon against Kirby. I have no desire to do that. I definitely would have played uh, Young Link or Bowser. See, like, why? Okay. Whatever. It's not fun. Why would I play it? Yeah, again, the Falcon sucks too. I don't want to do that. Yeah, sure. Let's let's play against just a better, faster version of my character. That that's that's what I want to do. Nah, Falcon. I'd probably go Bowser. I think Bowser can do pretty well. Young Link can probably do pretty well also, but I don't think I'm good enough. Yeah, one guy's a mile in last. I think he's the one I, I ran. Yeah, I mean, if I if I did Ganon Kirby, I would just get rid of the uh, stages with top plats. Unfortunately, there were three of them, so you could only get rid of two of them. So I'd probably get rid of Yoshi's and Dreamland. And if they really want that plat, then they have to go to Gerudo. But even like. Uh, Freaking Goomba Road might be annoying. The Goomba Road would still be better than the others. I would I wouldn't mind playing Kirby Ganon on a like stadium. So whack. So like the people that were deciding on stages, they they didn't want Dr. Mario because they said it was too similar to Stadium. But then they put in uh, they had Dreamland, Dreamland Moving Plat. Yoshi's Story and Gerudo Valley. I'm like, screw you guys. Yeah, I mean, he should ban Stadium. And that's why you should have, all, like, you should also have the Dr. Mario as an option. Make him ban both if he really doesn't want to play on those.
I think Dr. Mario should have been on the stage list. Gerudo's pretty whack. I think having Gerudo is weird. No, why me? So stupid. Yeah, you get sent backwards, you spin around 180 degrees. Like, this is Extreme D2 all over again. Reminding me how much that game sucked. Yeah, Gerudo is kind of small. I, I don't, I don't know the exact dimensions. Uh, I, I haven't like analyzed that one. Screw it, I'll just play. They're all bunched up so tight. Dude, I really thought those arrows were pointing the other way. They are pointing the other way. drive the course.
Oh my god, this game sucks. Damn it. Why couldn't it just be a good one? So look at that, nothing happened to him. Uh, this is definitely in the bottom third right now of N64 racing games. Like, it looks good. But, like, that doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter. If the game is just miserable to play, then who cares? Ah, oh, thanks, Dale. No, oh, screw you. I am, I am passing you. Just let me do it. No! Oh my god, I hate this game. Why are you so bad? Just garbage. Oh wow, so the squares at the very end. The worst game I've played so far? Probably Madden NFL Football. Or whatever, Madden NFL 64, whatever it's called. That's probably the worst game on this console. Make you spin out. All right, so it's right there. Ugh. No, no practice. Talking about practice? How am I already passing people? What?
Got it that time. Coming up on the square. Oh yeah, man, Neil, I mean, whenever, you know, whenever we actually can. Well, it'll, it'll, it'll happen, don't worry, you'll, you'll get your beat down. It might not be the 20 to nothing that Wookiee was getting, but like Ivan Drago said, you will lose. And like Adrian said, you can't win. This guy is up in my spot. to be better at this beginning part. Didn't feel much better, but I guess it was. Why? What in the world? <laughs> and now this. What a trash game. A trash game. Oh my god, come on. Jared with his uh, double alerts. Thank you, Jared. Twitch, Twitch will refund you.
He failed to win any award. Let's do it. It's freaking hot in here. Uh, I mean, I guess practicing more and getting better qualifying positions would be uh, probably the right play. But who wants to do that? When you can just freaking mash your face against the keyboard until it works. Oh yeah, you can't miss Resident Evil. That's your jam. I think we got a while before Resident Evil though. So what's it, so there's two scenarios. Is it two different games or am I just playing with two different characters? Like what's different? somebody here. No, oh, and they're fine, of course. Both characters. So the game so the game isn't different. You're just playing it with another character. Back boost. All right, so we know we can totally win the third race. Second one was doable. place pretty different okay yeah I mean I don't mind setting this up goal
Oh, he recovered. He recovered pretty quickly. Bunch of ground here. Oh wait, up here is where we need to slow down. Or right before the Coliseum, rather. Dang it. Oh, first is so far ahead. Damn. Spin me around. Wow, did I finally do that right? Alright, so the red ones are bad. I really don't want to run over the red the red ones. The blue ones are okay. Apparently. Like these, these are okay. Right there. Puffy. All right, easy second. Easy second. There's four campaigns? What? Yeah! Yes! Pad Mini! Oh, yes. Pad Mini! I've actually been catching up on South Park. I watched the uh, seasons like 21, 22, 23 over the last, you know, however many days. I missed, I missed so much. I didn't realize though that season 24, they did the pandemic special in September and they haven't had another episode since then. Four different scenarios. Yeah, that's a lot. But you get the credits for beating any of them, right? So there's an A, ser a scenario and a B scenario with each of the two characters, so that's why there's four. Am I understanding that correctly?
I have never played or watched Resident Evil 2, so I, I really like don't know anything about it. Except that there are two characters. Like Leon and someone else. All right, you get credits for any of them, good. I wouldn't mind this game as much if I could just see better. But everything's so freaking dark. Two streams, all right. I don't mind a good two-stream game. Thinking back to Superman. Technically, it was a three-stream game. But really, it was like a four-stream game. <laughs> it was so long. Starting on fifth feels nice. So I do that. God damn it. Oh my god, and then this. Holy crap. What a game. What a game. Ladies and gentlemen. slide. There's no need for that. That's all I had to do. I'd probably still be in here. Get the freaking scrub pack back here. Just let me go by. Man. 
I could just break this in half. All right, Scar, I'll catch you later, man. God damn it. Just let me play the game. I didn't want to do that either. I hate this game. It sucks. Do yourself a favor and never play it. See, what sucks is that for some people, this was the game they grew up playing. And that is just so unfortunate. Holy crap. It just didn't help. You know. See, they didn't spin out when they hit me. This guy's having a hard time though. And this is like, this is why I always am scared to play racing games. Because, like, you just have to, just, there's just so much repetition, you just have to play it over and over and over. And it's like, oh, well, if you don't know this track, like the back of your hand, then you're just gonna lose. As opposed to like a platformer where there's like some leeway or an adventure game where there's a lot of exploring. Like, no, you just learn this track or lose forever.
And then when you finally do learn the track, there's the RNG of the AI. And it's like, oh, now this time they're just gonna, you know, run into you or something dumb. I'd very much like to win this. Yes. Oh, it was that turn. Damn it. I'm like, which turn is this? Where do these guys come from? Get the hell out of here. Yeah, the very end is my only hope. Pass this person and get second. Oh, that's not really good. Oh, never mind. I forgot they slow down so much right there. No! Damn it. Oh, wait, that was the second lap. There's a whole other lap. It's not. It's not a decent 64 racing game. It sucks. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't be deceived, Tom Bagel. The turning and collisions are just like incredibly punishing and it makes it not fun. It looks good though. Like, I give them that. But yeah, it has most of the things that make a racing game not fun. But as looks can do, they are just... There we go. Hey, Sarah, welcome back. I'll take second. I'll take second. <laughs> I don't know, Sarah, so it's hard. It's hard to say because so many of these racing games look the same. You might. It might have been this one, though. Who knows? No, no. There are plenty of good racing games. Like, like, yeah. Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart are good. Um, 
Uh, Wave Race, though, Extreme G, F Zero, those are good. Uh, Top Gear Rally, Multi Racing Championship, those are pretty fun. Um, the Micro Machines game is fun. Uh, there, there are plenty, plenty of good racing games on this console. Unfortunately, there are also plenty of bad ones. Your boss pissing you off? Yeah, that's that's what they do. Bosses are known to do that. And that's because deep down, nobody likes being told what to do. this have like some yeah it was right here look at that lens flare there goes the budget Like struggling to remember the rest of this track. All right, sharp turn coming up. How? How does that even happen? Like, what? That is just insane. I gotta start in freaking last place. Getting a better car would be really nice. Unfortunately, to do that, I have to actually beat people. I don't think I can just like farm an easier cup either. I, it's like I'm just on crack right now. I just did this. I was just on this course. I just did this. Try doing it to me again. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you do the 10 hour shifts. Damn, you can't do anything during your downtime? What the hell? Yeah, I read a lot. Uh, when I was teaching driver's ed, like between lessons, I would read books. So I got a smartphone and then I didn't do that as much. (laughs) 
It is kind of orange creamsicle-y. I'll give you that. Dude, we're really about to get last place. We need to like get fifth this race or better and then like second or so in the next one. All right. We got, we caught up to the scrub pack again. Yeah, there's always someone. Let me get fifth. Are they gonna let me pass this guy? Got the two big turns coming up. Let's go. Let's go. All right, fifth. It suck. We're in third. All right. <laughs> All right, have fun watching a door. It's only slightly worse than uh, watching this, probably. <laughs> so dark. Yo, Chris Kringle, what's up, man? Hey, how did you end up doing in the uh, tournament? You like just missed top eight? Or did you get top eight? Or did you, you lost to Preston to make top eight, didn't you? Is that what it was? Because Preston went curvy or something? I was watching. I lose track though. I like when I, uh, J JJ and I talk about this, how like we'll commentate a top eight and then after it's over, we like forgot, we, we like forgot most of it. It's like um, if you're reading something out loud, like a book or something, you don't retain it as well. At least that's how I feel. Turns coming up. I 
Okay, so yeah, you did lose to Preston. I remember that, because he like went Kirby. And you were like, what the hell? He only went Kirby against me. One forty six, what the hell? Two one, damn. You shouldn't have let him uh oh wait, never mind. He picked Kirby like immediately and you countered with Pika. That's what happened. I remember that. Should have just given him the nest, man. Or the Lucas. I bet he wouldn't know what to do. Lucas is an enigma. Link. No, no, no. Dude, at one car, it's just like up in my spot. I wanted to cut across right there. Dude, I think everyone's punish game, or everyone has a hard time with Lucas's punish game. No one knows, no one knows what to do. <laughs> Only Frey. That's all I was saying, man. Lucas is an enigma. Oh, what? This guy's just like running up on me. Barely made that. Why? Why me? Is what someone would say if they were forced to play this game.
Yeah, I, I do want to see. Uh, I do want to do a tournament with um, regular characters in remix stages, which is actually what New Jersey Quarterly is going to be. Uh, now that now that Frame Perfect is over, I can start with the NJQR announcements. I think that's what we ended up deciding. I'm not sure if we're allowing any variants. I don't remember that. Terrible. They tied. All right, so we got bronze there, bronze there. Let's let's go back here and try and win. All right, we're, we're gonna actually practice. Yeah, I don't remember if we decided on uh, allowing some of the variants or not. We wouldn't allow like J. Kirby, E. Pika, J. Falcon, but um, you know, like J. E. Link, J. Fox, J. Ness, like those would be allowed. Yeah, I Garuda Valley was not my decision. I would have um, I would have had Dr. Mario in its place.
Probably would have kept the stage list and just swapped that. I'd be okay with that. Friggin' part gets me every time. I like mix it up with a different part and then it's just bad. Are these guys going six seconds faster than me? Probably not screwing up that one turn. best but not bad go yeah I did great I didn't lose a single set Yeah, I really didn't feel like uh, playing in a tournament that I was streaming. Because then, like, you guys have to watch all of my matches, you know? And it just, it takes up so much of the stream time. But if you want to see all my matches, nobody wants that. Although you would have you would have gotten to see more Ganon uh, in Young Link and Bowser, all three of which felt very underrepresented. Like, even in the last 
remix tournament, Jaime went Young Link against me. And that was when I was going Falcon, so everyone could see Falcon versus remix characters. Really, I'm doing it all for the people. Almost break too late there. You, yeah, you beat the remix characters and you lost to the original characters. Yeah, I mean, you can look at that two different ways, right? It's either you have a better understanding of how to beat the remix characters, or the person you're playing has a worse understanding of how to play the remix characters. Damn. Or both. Probably a little from column A, a little from column B. I feel like for the most part, it's easier to shut down remix characters right now because people don't have as much of the like neutral knowledge. So if one thing isn't working, they don't really know what to do as far as other options. Like you don't really have a plan B with your remix characters. Uh, probably the exceptions are Ganon and Young Link because they're similar enough. Dark Samus? I don't know. Dark Samus is pretty different than Samus. You have to play very differently, I think. We don't we don't have to talk about it. Yeah, dirty counter pick. <laughs> oh yeah, Vinny, that was rough, man. How you doing? Glad you like the hoodie. You know they they pay us the big bucks when we come when we come stream at Gommel. <laughs> What's a pole bonus? No jokes. But I need to know how to get this bonus. Someone do exclamation mark info and tell me what the poll bonus is. Dude, playing playing Frey is just not fair though. Like, you're getting put into a combo video against Frey's Falco. Like against some people, it looked like Frey was making stuff up like as he went. He's like, oh, let's, let's try this. I haven't tried this before.
why are you spinning out? <laughs> the other speedrunner beats up on you. Those bonus stages, though. Got those unlocked. Oh, nice. You e teamed the fray. Was that... That was the gommel I didn't go to. Oh, I was there? I don't remember fray teaming. I guess I just don't remember fray teaming. Did we play you? I played Frey at one of them in teams. I remember playing against him in teams once. I remember the Court Lorenzo team. I remember that Gama was dumb and did SPK. Garbage rule set. 2018? Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Too many things happen to me at events. I don't remember anything. So I want to, like, come up to the stream setup to, you know, play a match, and I'll, like, ask for their tag, and they're like, dude, you met me at the last time. Like, I don't pay attention. I'm too busy. I barely remember my matches. You did Double Ness. Yeah, okay, I do remember playing against Double Ness. So I guess it was you. Did I go to 2019? Yeah, I guess I... Okay, I went to 2018 and 2019. 2019, I really, like, don't remember. Yeah. So I got, like, this really bad headache, and I kind of just stopped playing. That happened to me at Snowset too, that sucked. Alright, yeah, last place. Remy, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Hey man, anyone that wants to stick around for this, props to you. Although I don't know how much longer I'm gonna play for the night. Jesus. We won the last race. And now I'm in last. I hate the beginning of this track. It really trolls me. You tried to block my style. I know if I had hit that guy, I would have spun out. Because, you know, this game. It's just what it likes to do. Oh, nice. Yeah, Mario Tennis is great. 
I, uh, I really didn't play it until, uh, pretty much until I, until the end of college, and I just had a roommate that, like, destroyed me in it, so I really didn't play it very much at all. Uh, it was mostly at these Smash tournaments, and I just found out that everybody's really bad at it, because <laughs> I just beat everybody. <laughs> And then I became, like, the guy that you have to challenge in Mario Tennis in the Smash community, and I'm not that good. Uh, Fyro is much better than me. But I beat everybody else. Because everybody else sucks. Playing against Fyro in Mario Tennis was like the first time I played against somebody good in Smash Brothers. I was like, oh! Oh my god, why? That tunnel is freaking miserable. The turn is always a lot sharper than I think it's gonna be. I'll take second. I'd like first. Yeah, beginning of this track sucks. It's like, how do I even catch up? Dude's so far ahead. What if there are shortcuts? end of it there it gets really sharp. I think that's what throws me. Damn, I actually got close. Oh yeah, Mario Party. I'm pretty good at Mario Party. Let's see. Okay, I'm ahead by five. That's good. So that means if I get second and he gets first, we tie. So hopefully I just win. We'll practice. We, we want to win this one. We want to win this one. So we'll, we'll practice. Of course, not starting off too well. All right, 
definitely have to break on that one. Not a friendly course. I think I did it. Did we play Mario Party at Snowsa? I know we played Mario Golf. I'm pretty sure there was some Mario Party. Um, I laid the beat down on Kyle Tree because he thought he could beat me in Pokemon Stadium 2 mini games. And luckily the dude's loaded, so he doesn't mind betting some money. I feel like there had to be some Mario Party. I, think, I feel like there were two different TVs with Mario Party going. I might be thinking of a different tournament. Because the one I'm thinking of, Gunner Maniac, was there. And I, he wasn't at Sosa. He was at SmashCon. Maybe I'm just mixing up tournaments now. What in the actual hell? I suck playing Smash. Yeah, that's gross, dude. <laughs> I play so little Smash at Smash tournaments. Dude, I'm gonna be playing Smash this whole tournament. Let's play some other games. Unless you're with LD and he's like, let's play Banjo Tooie mini games. It's like, no, they suck. I think there's like one good one. But for the most part, not good. Yo, hey, Ferrum, what's up? I will read the rest of your message in a bit. Racing games are the hardest ones to read chat with. You need a game like Shadowgate where you don't have to pay attention to the screen that much. Uh, around these hours, yeah, I'd, I'd say most of my streams are uh, around this time slot. Like the, uh, for me, I'm, I'm East Coast, so between like 8 p.m. and like 2 a.m. are the times I'm usually live, but I'm bringing back some of my, my afternoon streams soon. Yo, yeah, Conker's multiplayer is really good, but I've only played it like once or twice, so I'm, I'm probably not very good at it. I might have only actually played it once ever. But I know that it is like a hidden gem multiplayer. Um, excuse me. I really, this game, man. 
why. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's if it's six a.m. where you are. Yeah, that's that's a little rough. My my afternoon streams probably won't be much better for you then. I'll be like really late night. Thanks for the follow, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, hopefully you're able to catch them. And if you're not, I, I put them all uh, on YouTube. Although, this isn't exactly exciting YouTube content. But I, I, I have to document it, so it goes up on the YouTubes. Yeah, all right, this course is rough. Like, I like that I can see, but too many turns. Dude, that spin out was so brutal. Like, I didn't deserve that. Come on. Yeah, Ferrum, you just missed uh, Superman. That was the last game I played. That was a doozy. Uh, I'm, I'm playing through all the games in chronological order. So, going by release date. I, I like it because then I don't have too many long stretches without a good game. Whereas, like, if I went alphabetical, then, well, that'd be bad. And if I went by, like, viewer requests, then I would just have a ton of terrible games at the end, because no one would pick them until the end. like some San Francisco Rush vibes. Or it's like, oh, have fun. The smallest little thing in your car explodes. This is not good, man. Oh yeah, new Tetris. I've never played it, but I know people like it. Pokemon Snap is... Pokemon Snap's alright, but I, I know a lot of people like it. I think the game is crazy overrated. And then, Ray, yeah, Rayman? I've never played Rayman. So that'll either be a fun watch for you or miserable because I won't know what I'm doing. That sucked. Yeah, Tom Bagel, it's it's rough, man. It's rough. Ah, oh, total sport. You're gonna win. 
Damn it, man. Second place. Damn it. All right, well, we, we rank up. We rank up. That's important. I think. Yes. Who was that? Is that Viewpoint? No. Oh, that was Core. Three, three, four, four. Try it. That one's three, four, four. Three, three, four. We'll try it. Oh, this is definitely the first console I'm doing this on, and it's the only one. I am not doing this again. It just ends up like monopolizing my, <clears throat> like my content. So it's like, I feel bad like trying to do anything else because it's like I'm taking away from this, you know? All right, let's go back. Oh, actually we can do a new one. I want to win this one though. So, Ephraim, where, um, where do you live that it's six in the morning? Six hours ahead, so, yeah, all right. Here in Europe. Belgium, nice. Uh, my, one of my grandparents was from Belgium. Well, his family's from Uh, I actually, Belgium is one of the countries I did not go to when I backpacked around Europe. I uh, got to Amsterdam at the end of like a crazy little stint and uh, just needed to chill for a while. <clears throat> so we never like took a trip down to Belgium. We just stayed in Amsterdam for like, you know, five days or whatever. And then went back to uh, like Scotland and England and Ireland and got out of there. We had, we had this URL pass that we wanted to like maximize. And so we went from like Venice to um, freaking, what is the name of that city in Austria? Venice to Austria to Poland to Berlin to Amsterdam in like a week and a half or like a week and then we were like all right we need to chill yeah I, I would have liked to go to Belgium now Amsterdam's great like it was a great city I just really liked it like it was it was a nice place Every, people were nice um just chill can't really ask for a whole lot more. Food was fine, you know. Wasn't like great or anything. I did think it was funny though. Like one of the big things in Amsterdam, as far as like street food goes, is getting like the, the French fries and the cone. And uh, this one, this one French fry place, they had all these different sauces that you could choose from. And one of the ones on the menu was America sauce. And we asked the guy, we are like, what is America sauce? He's like, oh, it's like the, uh, the Big Mac sauce. <laughs> so yeah, America sauce is freaking Big Mac sauce. Thought that was pretty great. Yeah, I know, I heard they're really good in Belgium. 
No, actually, the best French fries we had in the like 13 countries we went to were actually at the Jameson Distillery in um, in Dublin. Not by much or anything, but yeah. But my, I mean, my favorite street food out of the whole trip was obviously the, the Euros in Athens that were like a buck 30, buck 40, and delicious. Good God. Can we just not do that? Cool American Doritos, yeah. All right, so I, I, I do feel the difference in the handling of this car. Go off road like one inch and spin out. Gotta catch this dude first. Donor in Germany? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was in like every country. That was like the constant street food across Europe were the donor kebabs. Another food constant in Europe, at least when we were there, you know, in 2010 was the lack of um, Latin food. There was none anywhere. <laughs> Italy, like Italy, Spain, Greece, England, Ireland, Scotland. Um, for, we were in Berlin, we were in Krakow in Poland, uh, Amsterdam. I think Amsterdam, we might have seen one Mexican place. That was the only one the entire trip. It was so weird. Like coming from like the area of the US we live in and everything, like not having Latin food is like so crazy. We ended up making some for people, uh, people we stayed with in London. Like we just went to the little like street vendor and got like avocados and tomatoes and onions and everything and made enchiladas. Duck medallions, lamps. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, Krakow is okay. It's hard to say it's cool. I mean, it's like you're there and it's it's so obviously devastated by the Holocaust. Like, it's hard to call it like a fun trip. We had some great pierogies. And, you know, we just kind of, like, chilled. Yeah, Josh, we also, like, most places we went, we didn't, like, spend money on food, really. Because we didn't have any. Like, we really didn't have any money. 
So like, I was, I was, I mean, I literally didn't pay 30 cents for hot water in the shower in Greece. And it's not like it didn't just have hot water. It was like, oh, you're not gonna pay? Okay, it's only ice water. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Back off. Yeah, again, like Krakow, I mean, it's, it's still a city. I'm sure there's like a downtown area. It's like, it can be fun and everything. But it's it's hard it's it's hard to be there and ignore the history. <laughs> it's um it's the controls aren't janky, but it's extremely punishing if you um if you hit something. It's like that that's the issue. Yeah, I mean, Tom, you're 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 not super wrong. It, I mean, it's it might be really different now. Like I was there over ten years ago. Um, it's very possible that a lot has changed. Oh man, yeah, the handling really makes a difference. I was not making that turn that easily with the other car. Uh, no, this is much more of a, a sim than an arcade racer. As, like, as far as how punishing mistakes are. Obviously, it looks like an arcade racer with the, the, the way the tracks are and the, you know, like the music and, and all of that stuff but it doesn't handle great. Uh, there are a lot of other games that I would play over this one. But the game looks good. So they did that right. Nope, still have to slow down for that. Okay. And yeah, um, Ephraim, I've, pl I've played a lot of racing games. I'm not bad. I like, I'm, I'm decent at them. There are some that I'm, I'm quite good at, but. Yeah, I mean, the, the car handles better, Tom, so it's like, there's that. And a lot of it just comes down to um, learning the tracks. Like, it's, it's one thing I hate about playing these racing games is you just gotta learn the tracks. And once you do, uh, you just, it's like you magically get better. It's like, oh yeah, I just, you know, played this for like five hours. And now I can beat it. I'd like to win this course though, so I have a little more leeway. 
the next one. Oh my god, I slow down so much. See, like that. Like, it's so stupid. Everything was fine. And then the Fire Nation attacked, and now I'm losing by a lot. I hope Rugrats Scavenger Hunt is good, but I don't have high hopes for it at all. I mean, how good could it possibly be? I heard it's like a board game. So it's probably kind of short. Probably just not that much to it. Like, all that because I just break the tiniest bit late in that one spot. Now I have to survive the beginning of this course again. Oh my god, at least they spun me all the way around. I'm about to murder somebody. It's so annoying though, these guys break in front of me and if I hit them, then I like spin out and they're fine. Yeah, this freaking turn up here, man. Oh, those two guys are... Yeah, they're out there. I feel like the wall bounces are the move. That one wasn't as good. Deep cleansing breaths. <laughs> How you doing, James? Seriously, these games get me so freaking tilted. I would have taken my, my hoodie off already, but I'm not wearing a shirt under this. Damn you, Twitch. So far ahead. All right, we just gotta hold a second. that turn. So close again. Like that one, that one dust up, it cost me so much. Like, look at that first lap, man. 16 seconds slower. New subscriber pool, stream shirtless. Yeah, when I start doing my uh, my workout streams, right? My fitness streams, then I can then I can go shirtless. Search for Reptar. 
Yeah, the, uh, the, the Rugrats game that's up next is a board game. Same deal, I'm up by five. Cooking stream. <laughs> Maybe someday. I love cooking. Uh, the Gran Turismo game is probably better than this. Oh my god, please. Yeah, the beginning of this track is... just gets sharper there at the end. We can do this, guys. Let's end on a win. Right, Bert? Someone pet Bert for good luck. All right, all right, we got it, good. Good work, guys, very important. So I think the Batman thing, I, I gotta I gotta look at it. It uh it like resizes the Burt cam. And I gotta I gotta figure out why. So now if you if someone pets Burt, he's gonna be tiny. Yeah, see? I can't. I can't. We're not doing too hot right now. Ooh. Ooh, that might help, though. That might be the power-up we need. the second lap so a lot of time left
Oh yeah, JP, I have a, a pretty good idea of most of the games I'm going to do for the 12 hour. I tested them all on console. There's two that don't work on console, two Mario ones that I'll probably play on emulator. And then I might play Goldfinger on emulator too, because it runs pretty slow on console. See, I don't know what happens if I tie. Like, if I get second here and that one team wins, uh, we'll both have 35 points. And I think it just gives someone first, like arbitrarily. It's obviously not what we want. We want to win. And it does look like I can just farm cups for points to rank up. As made evident by me earning points the last two races. So that's good news. We could like just farm this cup. Assuming that you get more points for the later ones. I'll have to go back and check the bot. I slowed down. I knew it was getting sharper. Yeah, we're not catching first. Sucks. We were right there, too. Mini clip level? Yeah, a lot of old games did make you lose if you tied. Let's see, let's see who it was. Total score, yeah. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna be tied. Yep, it just makes us second place. That's so annoying. Damn it. Oh, we're so close to the next rank up. Dead. <laughs> Perhaps the rage let you down. Yeah, that sucks, man. We had that. All right, let's um, let's try and go here. Oh wait, it says how many points you get. So three thousand. 15,000. So you get 21,000 for winning. I think we're only 10 off from the next rank. So we'll just we'll just burn through this real quick. Yeah, you're you're right. Um Ephraim. that that's exactly it. Games are just made harder um so they would last longer. <laughs> Sounds like a flash game. How you doing, Tangle? All right, so we should just stomp this. I still probably have to be careful, though. Like, the Novice Cup really is easy. Like, after never touching the game before, I, won I, I got first. Like, on the first try, both races. So the, 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 the ramp up in difficulty comes quickly.
No, all right, you can't just go full speed. Eh, I guess you can. The Coliseum is really freaking cool, though. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Coliseum and the Statue of David. Totally not overrated at all. Oh yeah, and these are two laps, hell yeah. Statue of David just caught me by surprise, because like, I'm not gonna lie, I did not realize it was like 15 feet tall. <laughs> it's like the opposite of when you go see the Mona Lisa or something, and you're like, oh man, I had no idea it was that small. But yeah, Statue of David, it's freaking 15 feet tall. Like Guernica, Guernica's really cool. Um, I will, for Pokemon Stadium, I'll, I'll do rentals. I'll do rentals. The game is crazy easy if you don't use rentals. Like, if I, br I just brought in Pokemon from, like, my game... That'd be bad. Like... Level 100 Mewtwo. Free. Yeah, rental definitely makes it harder. I will definitely be looking at speedruns for Pokemon Stadium. I don't feel like trial and erroring my way through all the rentals. I, like, I know which rentals are good, so it, that, it'll be... That should be fine. Give me my 3,000. Yeah, so we can just farm points here. That's great. Yeah, I mean, probably. Because, I mean, even if you have the right comp, you still have to get a little bit lucky because you need, you need the opponent to pick a certain three Pokemon. And you need things to not crit. So yeah, it's like speedrunner's nightmare. You have like, you double up on RNG. What the hell's going on? Why am I last? Team one, the low level one, like the Pokeball Cup or whatever. Oh, and that's another thing. What is beating the game? Is it just the gym leader castle, or is it all of the cups as well? Like, what gets you the credits? That is important. Alright, 
fifth. Predetermined? What? What do you mean? No! Oh my god, Tom! It's all your fault! No! Look away for one second. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. We can do this. get at least second. We might be able to like pull out something crazy. Because we can gain a lot of ground on them on um, the very last turn. Because they slow down a lot. But not when that happens. Freaking game, man. <laughs> For a throwaway comment. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, sweet. We still won. Whew. All right, we're now rank 25. Yay. Let's, let's see here. That was viewpoint. Yeah! Yeah! Five handling. We're not friends. I love how we just keep, like, that's this is the game. You just go to whatever team has a better car. What a game. Gotta look out for the game cubes. Okay. So we'll go. We still have silver and emperor. I think we I think we try and win it. Let's practice first, though. It's been a while. Dude. Controls have not changed. Still not great. Play this game. 
Yeah, yeah, Boston, I did make that. Uh, it was a combination of Adobe After Effects and Cinema 4D. After Effects, I still remember how to do a lot of this stuff. Cinema 4D, I've basically forgotten everything. Remix is sick, dude. And you think about it, it's been a while. Well, I mean, unless you ignore Mad Piano, it's been a while since we got a new character in Remix, so it's bound to be something soon. Like the last one was Bowser and that was in September. How can you ignore that piano? Easily. You ignore Mad Piano by looking at tournaments. Ah, but I guess you could say that about Lucas too. Sorry, Lucas. That's the turn that always gets me. Your EverDrive never worked? Did you like get a lemon? Oh, I stopped paying attention. That sucks. The EverDrive was like, this guy already has every game. We don't need to work. <laughs> it knew. <laughs> Every I've got there is like, I'm excessive. Plastic SD card holder is broken. Huh. Isn't it like a little piece of metal? Mine's, mine's I think, a piece of metal. I, I mean, it seems like an easy fix, assuming you know how to solder. If you don't know how to solder, then it's not an easy fix. Hi, Bert. If that's all it is, just the thing that holds the SD card in place, yeah, that should be a, a simple soldering fix. I'd have to like be there and see it to know more, but it doesn't seem like it'd be difficult. It's like a, it seems like a small mechanical failure. Yeah, it, it sounds like something simple. Again, 
simple depending on your level of expertise. Yo, why was I so slow? Dang it. See, oh yeah, the build your own ever drive. I saw that thing. I do not want to do that. Oh yeah, you should be able to. All right, birds on the couch then. all these chumps. Yeah, I've done some soldering for like controllers and consoles. It's like easy stuff. Oh yeah, that's right, we got a new car at the end of the last stream. Like, why is it doing Why me? Cool. Great game. Yeah, you just need to reattach the ASD card holder. That's all. So you probably just want a, someone else to take a picture of theirs that is not broken. And then just, you know, make yours look like that. Yeah, I hit them and they're fine. Just absolute insanity. Yeah, I think I did 70 and I hadn't played it in forever and it took me like seven hours. Yeah, Kosher, I think that's the way to go. Just find one that works, you know, take the shell off and just make yours look like that. Probably a really simple uh, job. Yeah, that, that part's kind of important. You kind of need to hold the SD card in place. Yeah, 
Yeah, I bet the next rematch, remix patch is gonna be dope. Although, you had the melee mod come out with Wolf. Which honestly doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like they did that much to change him from Fox. Like, they didn't give him, like, new animations, right? Like, he's still... It's really just, like, Fox animations, aside from, like, laser and specials, right? Or no, I guess Fair looked... Fair was different. Oh, no, he does have some custom animations. Never mind. Taunt and specials and fair. But like up air is the same. And down is down air the same? I know Nair is the same, I saw that. Dare is good on Wolf. Yeah, I saw up tilt also and down smash. Yeah, I was a little disappointed when I saw that so many of the animations were the same. But I mean, it's a it's a good it's a really good first step. I mean, you look at like the first version of Ganon in Remix, and like he was really just. Falcon with a different fare, right? And different attributes. As far as like custom animations and stuff, that was, I think that was pretty much it. Oh, we're, yeah, we're passing, yeah. At the very end, let's go. Project Plus Ganon is perfect. Oh yeah, Volleyball actually looks really cool. <laughs> volleyball lo does look cool. I give them that. All right, that went pretty well. Slow characters usually are not the best, you're right, but I mean, you look at traditional fighters and the slower characters that become that are, you know, that are just grapplers, they have things to make up for their their slowness. Um, and then they are usually can still be competitive. That's the issue with Smash for the most part is it it hasn't really done that until Ultimate. But even then some of the you know, like some of these slower characters still just aren't good. Oh yeah, that thing. files from Onski. Yeah. Yo, Geo, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Oh no. 
All right, we're practicing. Oh, that was the... Again, this level just sucks on my TV. It's too dark. You need that universal remote. Or a Galaxy S5. GT, GT2 and GT1? Wait, there were Gran Turismo games? Oh, sure. Thank you, man. Oh, wait. They were just GT. Hold on. I'm trying to think if I played any of those. Cars. Oh, okay. Yeah, I uh, I have a lot of a lot of cars to unlock. Thanks, thanks, Coach. I appreciate it, man. Oh hell yeah, Rugrats. <laughs> no, no, Scar. It's not Pog. It's not Pog Champ anymore. It's it's Dog Champ. We need to use Dog Johnson emotes. Yeah, Gia, this is definitely not my favorite racing game so far. But I think I'll like it more when I unlock better cars and it handles better. I mean, that's, it's always going to make a racing game better. All right, let's try and get one good lap. See what we need to do for this one good lap. What's up, Purple? Thanks for coming in. What were you? Were you playing some Smash? It's a very exciting game to come in. <laughs> Hope you're doing all right, man. Yeah, I haven't played Smash in a while either. Uh, I'll be playing some next Friday for sure. For the, uh, the 12 hour. Alright, 142. Where are we streaming? P plus. You playing playing Wolf? The new melee. Dude, like instantly people are like, is this gonna be legal? Is this gonna be legal? Like, ah, you guys have to deal with it now. 
Suckers. <laughs> I have never play, played P Plus or Project M. Actually, I think I played Project M once, like when it first came out. Because uh, my brothers had it. I came home from college and they were like, yo, they made Brawl and that suck. I don't know if I actually played it though. I might have just like heard them talk about it. Falcon and P plus. Nice. Yeah, I don't have all that melee tech skill. Because that's I never played the game like that. It was really funny though, um what's his name? Mando? When he came to stay with me in New York. Um we played melee and I and I beat him the first game we played, it was hilarious. He's like wave dashing everywhere, you know, like doing all the fox stuff. And I'm just like playing my, you know, 2002 chic. Just dash attacking and <laughs> shield grabbing. It was pretty funny. Yeah, there's no Kirby up tilt to save you in this game. I don't think I've ever done a wave dash, like, functionally. Like, I've done one, but it's, it's never served a purpose. Yo, ZX, what's up, man? Welcome in. Yo, these raids. Hope you're having a good night. But uh what were you what were you streaming, dude? Oh crap, I forgot. The turn. Ah, oh, get wrecked, idiot. Yes. Now, as much as I love new people you know, popping in to see some retro stuff. This is not the game we <laughs> want to be showcasing, but it's what we got. Uh, this game, it's not great. Uh, it's a little grindy, but um, it's getting better because the cars are getting better. So it just, it plays it's playing a little bit better. When it first started, whew, man, it was uh, not great. <laughs> That's happened with a lot of games, though. My, my initial reaction is a little harsh. Very rarely have I had a, a positive reaction early on and then changed it to a negative one. Oh my god, this is only lap two. Killing me. Oh yeah, so I looked up a little bit more about this game, and it looks like, kind of like Pokemon Stadium, where when you beat, like, version one, there's like a version two afterwards. But the thing is, and I thought I saw this, after the final race of what they call GT1, um, it says 
you've completed World Driver Championship or something like that. So it tells you you beat the game. So I think that might be good enough. Because otherwise you essentially beat the game twice. Um, does it say that from other racing games? It does in the sense that the, uh, the visuals are pretty good. Uh, the visuals are pretty good. The soundtrack isn't, the soundtrack isn't terrible. Um, just the, uh, early on in, in championship mode, uh, the cars suck. So your actual, like, experience playing the game is not great. Um, unlike some other racing games that have like a championship mode, this one you have you improve your car as you go. Um, other ones, it might just be something like like a difficulty spike as you go. But this one, your car sucks when you start. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting though is that um, as you play through championship mode, you like rank up as you earn points. And as you rank up, different teams start offering you like contracts to come race for them. And they're like, yeah, come, come, come use our car. Like our car is the best or whatever. And so you look at these different teams and, and the cars that they have and just end up picking the one that you like the most. And you just like flip flop between teams. It's kind of funny. So it's, it's cool that they you know, added that to make the game a little more interesting. Also, we need we need some of our uh, I need some of my old school guys in here that were that were around for Flying Dragon because I saw there's a race and there's there's one race with like 20 laps to it so definitely PTSD flashbacks to uh, 11 health bar guy yeah 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 um, soundtrack is not Top Gear Overdrive. Good job, Christian. You're already following. <laughs> Congrats. Oh, we're, we're in a good place. We're in a good place to win this. I say that, but we're going to let's screw this up. Uh, ZX, what were you playing, man? Or what were you streaming since, you know, streaming isn't all games. Right? Everyone's Everyone's excited for the, uh, the Dark Horse cooking stream. All right, I remember that turn. Thank you though, Christian. I appreciate the desire to follow twice. Blindfolded Mario 64? What? How the hell did you even do that? Are you like that good at the game? GameCube demo of Peach's Castle. What does that even mean? Blindfold his strategies. Yeah, I mean, that's hilarious. It's like a party trick. It's like a, it's like when I go to a tournament and I bet someone that I could beat them in Killer Instinct Gold without looking at the TV. Sometimes people take the bet. Rarely, though, because most people are like, oh, I've never played that game, so probably. <laughs> like, damn. Right, famous last words. Okay. Yeah, that's intense. Yeah, you just, you use like certain abilities that 
like you know exactly where it'll put you and that kind of stuff. I mean, that's like if you were playing blindfold and smash, right? What would you do, right? You you roll a whole bunch until you're like pretty sure you're at the edge, and then you know where you are, and then like you have a pretty good feel of like where your dashes will put you, and kind of go from there. Not doing great. People do 16 and 70. That is crazy. How different are the uh, the runs from like, these guys are doing blindfold speed runs. Like how different is the speed run blindfolded from a viewer standpoint? Are they like completely different strats? Or is it mostly the same strats, but like adjusted to for consistency while blindfolded? Seventh. Ooh, we did not have a good. Yeah, Bert's here. Bert is here. Curled up on the couch. All right, we need to not suck. Second place has 17 points though, so we have a massive lead. Oh yeah, the camera thing. Forgot about that. Okay. I knew, I knew there was something I wanted to do today. All right, I fixed the camera. The Batman thing just messes it up, so we're turning off the Batman thing. That's really cool, ZX. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to check one of those out one time. Is that like a category on speedrun.com? Because that would be pretty cool. Wow, this car is just so much better than the one we were using at the end of the last stream. It really just makes life easier. Not yet, okay. I wasn't sure like how popular the uh, the category was. If it'll if it had it enough of a following. That's really cool though. Posty. What's up, dude? Posty, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. I feel like I haven't seen you online in a while. No. Maybe we just, maybe I just miss you. I mean, I've said miss you, but maybe, I, yeah, I've just missed your time slots. I was asking about blindfolded in general. Like blindfolded, blindfolded runs. Penguin percent? Is that like just doing the the penguin star as fast as possible? Or which penguin star? The baby penguin or the race? You streamed yesterday? Oh yeah, I guess I just missed it. There are some days where I just don't have Twitch open because I'm doing a bunch of other stuff. It's always weird. I'm like, but then I open it up and I'm like, oh, all these people are alive. I forgot. All right, yeah, we can get second here. 
Okay, it'll be fine. But we get more points for first. And points are good. We want those points. So uh, points, what that gives us, um, that's how we gain ranks. So we started out at like rank 30 or rank 29 or whatever. And every rank, um, we get offered a new car by one of these teams. I don't think we're getting this. It's a pretty straight shot. But yeah, not enough. Oh wait, that was the second lap. I thought it was the third. Oh yeah, I do the same thing, Posty, and that's like, that, it's like that's how you know you're a casual streamer, <laughs> right? When you're just like, ah, I, don't, I don't feel like it, <laughs> and then you just don't. That's how we know. We're not, we're not big time yet. Like there's been a, a few nights the last couple of weeks that I, I w was going to stream and I didn't, uh, so I could get some other stuff done. That was like time sensitive. Guys all over me. I hate canceling things. I like things like schedules. Blindfold Mario GDQ. Yeah, I heard about that. I did not catch it, though. Yeah, Scar, like, I don't know, man. So, like, I feel like YouTube is better as far as, like, gaining a following and getting people to find you and that kind of, like, YouTube has much better discoverability than Twitch. Twitch has none, pretty much. There we go, rank up. She is beautiful. Wait, so we ranked up, but we didn't get a new car? That sucks. We're, who are we racing for right now? Viewpoint? We're using this. Wait, hold on. That's 455. It's definitely the best car so far. All right, so gold, gold, gold. Now we gotta go here. Do we though? Let's try this one. Three laps. Yeah, having a goal is like pretty, pretty crucial. And then yeah, sticking to a sticking to a schedule for something that's not a job is tough. In general, whether it's like a workout schedule or, or anything. It's tough. If there's nothing like holding you accountable, then it's really hard. <laughs> Let's 
Yeah, the, the YouTube live stream experience is definitely not as good. I agree, Scar. Doing both is probably the best. Like stream to Twitch and then upload to YouTube. That's probably the best combo right now. Did it just lie to me? Where's this turn? All right. Oh yeah, mini map. Yeah, this course is so dark. On my TV, I'm basically just looking at the mini map. Ah, too much. Also, I don't think there are shortcuts in this game, which is kind of not that fun. Like, come on. You're going to be an arcade racer and not have shortcuts? have to win with a team to get the best car. Okay. I, yeah, I thought when you rank up, other teams are just like, yo, come over here and try this car. This car is pretty good though. I'm liking it. Alright, big turn, big turn. Yes, let me jump over the whole map. No, the, the, even better than that was like San Francisco Rush when you could like jump over something and then hit that button, that like reset button, and it would like teleport you sometimes to like an advantageous position. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think we're gonna get a good qualifying slot. The second rush didn't let me do that as much, but the first one, there are some crazy ones. Like there are some races I, I like couldn't have won without doing that. Seven. Oh uh, yeah, you need a you need a cart racer, Posty. So, a, a fun kart racer, uh, Extreme G. It's like futuristic and has like electronic music and stuff, um, but it still has like weapons, like item pickups and stuff, and it's really interesting. Uh, handles really well. I, I think it's a great game. I think it's one of the best racing games on the console.
But yeah, not, not as many people know about it because, you know, it's not Mario Kart and it's not Diddy Kong Racing. Got past people. Yo. Get out of the dirt. No. We were doing okay. Might have actually been better. Oh, Just can't see. Can't see anything in this place. Much better lab. Holy crap, 13 seconds. Oh, and, and everyone's bunched up up here. We can totally catch up. I'm glad this uh, this racing game doesn't have the cars take damage. That's a really not fun mechanic also. Looking at you, Rush. Slam the wall strands. Yeah, man. Like, why, why would I put in all the effort to take a turn? Oh, that's funny, uh, Geo. Oh, 
Oh, no, not V Replay. Fast Lap 135. Yeah, it seems like there's definitely a lot in the game. But another downside, you are racing in the, on the same few tracks over and over with like small differences. So that is not great. Like, there's been nothing different about this track yet. We're still waiting. I don't think there is going to be anything different. Just looking at the mini map. Yeah, that turn still sucks. No, there's a wall there, uh, Posty. Oh yeah, Geo, you probably know this better than anyone then. Are there shortcuts? Are there shortcuts in the game? Nope, all right, didn't think so. Got to win fair and square. Yeah, right here, Posty. It's, it's just a wall. Because <laughs> I've thought about it. Yeah, like this race is exactly the same. And starting out in third is so much nicer. All right, guys, calm down.
<laughs> You're supposed to be part of pearls, right? What's up, dude? How you doing? You still are. You're here. Quick beam, thank you for the follow. No, no, no. Quick beam, what did you do? Damn, we actually lost position. We never pass that person in first. We don't have the secrets yet. Get off the freaking wall. What is this, 1080? got harder. Take that turn. All right, we gotta get it. We gotta get back in second. No, what? Game's too punishing. Dang, we're not getting second. They're right there. Cash them. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh. Oh, okay, they're just dominating. Why is it always so dark? What is wrong with these devs? <laughs> Stop it. Here's a fun feature you can't see. I found the advisor for the uh, last season of Game of Thrones.
This isn't what Lisbon looked like when I... Sun tried coming out. All right, now it's just blinding us. Really, it's just such a big difference between the TV and the capture. Made the mistake of looking at the mini map. Oh, nice. That works. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad, quick. Yeah, and the soundtrack for a racing game is important. You spend a lot of time kind of like not super active. Yeah, I mean, uh, Gio, there, there are a lot of uh, games like this where, you, you know, there's, like, qualifiers and stuff. Maybe not a lot, but I, I've, played, I've played a bunch. It feels like it. Or, yeah, you can practice before you have your qualifying race. That determines your, your seeding for the, the actual race. Holy crap, third? I'll take it. And we had a, a bad uh, crash. Okay. 
heck off. Pass on that. Yes! Yes! Has many! Sarasol! Sarasol, what's up? Thank you so much. How are you doing? You're uh, just back on the Assassin's Creed grind, right? any of you are Assassin's Creed fans, just check out Sarah Cell. She's been playing a lot of Valhalla. Oh my god, I just lost track of where I was. Alright, we're back. got Excalibur. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> like the actual like sort of legend. Dude, what the hell just happened? CZG, what's up, man? Dude, all those cars just blown by me. That was the CTG raid. Yo, dude, what are you playing? Welcome in, everyone. We were in first for a few seconds. The hall went downhill from there. After this race, I'm about to adjust the brightness on, on the capture card so you guys can see what I see. This level is like borderline unplayable. Yo, CZ, that's CZG. CTG using his own sub. <laughs> Take, what's up, dude? Take, the legend. Wait, CG, you, you're playing Remix, right? I, I, was, I was eating dinner and I saw you tweet. Come on. We can do it. Gonna be a little little weavy path here. Got it. Left, right, left, right. And then we turn and then another left. We're ready for it. And then we slow down.
Hell yeah. Let's go. Look at that last lap. So much faster. Oh, you're playing with low. Nice. Did he did he give you the uh, the Falco business? Yeah, not even close to enough to uh, to win. But we got second. What is the pole bonus, Geo? What does that mean? Oh, you're doing, you're having an online tournament? Hell yeah, that's awesome. I think I'm gonna start hosting a tournament, a remix tournament. Um, what is the pole bonus? How do I and how do I get it? Like, I know pole position, like, but like I was, I spent a lot of time in first. Do you have to qualify in first? Is that it? Is that what the pole bonus is? Yeah, okay, qualify first. Shut up. You probably win that one. Check out this Orchid Cup. Yeah, it's extra rank points, I know. You're gonna host a remix tournament with Falcon Band? <laughs> Not that many, like, in the tournaments, I feel like not that many people have gone Falcon, but like, Dogs did. But then he went Pika. Also, like, Pika was, Pika's the problem. Wario, Kiyoshi, Sekirei, Karaba, Wanger. That's awesome. That's so cool that they're all playing. Hey, Joji. I want to host a tournament with Wario, Kiyoshi, Sekirei, Karaba, Wanger. <laughs> all right. CCG, what the heck? <laughs> We're gonna be listening to this for a while. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> CTG is going to be the reason I get a different sub alert. Enjoy your new subs, everybody. Be sure to thank CTG. He's crazy. We got one more, yeah. <laughs> Q-Lex the God. Right, I think this is the last one. Ooh, all right, that's a tricky turn. So, Lo, you just, you just want to ban Falcon because you're sick of people going Falcon against you, right? Oh, hey, Taki, what's up? CCG's trying to start his own hype train. Yeah, I like the sub alert. Like, it's great. Like, the Donkey Kong Country bonus music. It's a little long, though. It's a little long. So if you have crazy people like TTG, like throwing 10 subs in a row or something, 
It gets it gets dangerous. Yes, yeah, course is tough. Subtrain timer. Yeah, I don't have a timer on the subtrain. Oh, actually, it's turned off. The train. Now it's on. There's Sub Zero. He's he's falling. My, my, my train, my train lasts a very long time now. The, um, I don't, I'm not sure about what the timer is for the hype train. Um, I, I, I don't, I can never remember. It's, it's five, it's five events over a certain amount of time. And I can never remember what that time is. It's not much. It's, it's, it's like five minutes or something. All right, let's just. See, this course is nice and bright. I can see things. I like it. <laughs> now Lo gets one. See, she's done. Is that it? Yeah. CG, thank you so much, man. I very much appreciate it. Uh, 12 hour stream, uh, I'm pretty sure is going to be next Friday. So a week from now, we will be uh, in the last few hours of our 12 hour stream. Um, I was gonna start at noon, but um, I have a meeting now at like one. So I'll probably start at like 1.30, 2 o'clock. So we'll go, yeah, we'll go from like 2 to 2. Which is good. It'll give me a little bit more time in the morning to like get some work done and get ready. That turns crazy. Oh, damn, we were like not doing too bad. Not too bad. Oh, no, I forgot to remove that. CG, we actually, we hit that goal. We hit that goal last week. I got to take it off. Battletoads, Double Dragon. Dude, uh, if you want good, some good Double Dragon music, look up any song from Super Double Dragon. That game is great and great soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, it's the, tw the 24 hour is the next one. I gotta, I gotta get rid of the, uh, the 12 one since we did hit it uh, last week. Uh, I even, I went through and tested all of the, like, top recommended ROM hacks um, to make sure I had working versions of them all. And I got them all to work on console except for the ones that aren't supposed to, like uh, Last Impact, like the, some of the Mario ones. Um, Goldfinger definitely runs a little slow on console, so I might play that on emulator. GoldenEye X I did not get to work on console. I don't know if it's supposed to. So I might just have a bad ROM um, for that one, but I, I don't think I'm going to play that one. It's a Perfect Dark uh, hack, and I haven't played Perfect Dark yet, so probably not going to do it. Same with, like, um, I think I think there's like a good Majora's Mask hack out there I'm not gonna play because I haven't played Majora's Mask yet. It's gonna be like Mario hacks, Goldeneye hacks, um, Ocarina, Banjo-Kazooie, there's at least one Mario Kart one, 
Um, I might mess around with this Pokemon Stadium Elite uh, just to play around with like overpowered comps. Um, no! No! Why? 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 This only happens in the race. This never happens in the qualifier. It's so stupid. Dude, you know what? We're just... Wait. We're starting to screw you. So dumb. Wait, Mega Man X Corrupted? No, can you DM that to me? <laughs> yeah, Goldfinger is pretty cool. It's a, a complete hack of Goldeneye with a, a completely new uh, one-player mode. Like, all new missions and everything. So, definitely interested in that. I've been interested in that for a long time, but I, I always wanted to stream it. And the Ocarina ones are also like completely like original. There's a there's one called like Star Fox 64 Survival. That is not a Star Fox hack. It is actually an Ocarina hack, but you play as Fox. It's like like a roguelike almost. So it's supposed to be I guess be like Star Fox Adventures, but it's just with the Ocarina engine. So pretty cool. And yeah, some of the Mario ones, like Last Impact, are insane. Some of the Banjo-Kazooie ones are pretty insane. So it should be lots of fun. I'm not playing the hacks that are like, play as Luigi, you know? Like, or like, uh, you know, the Diddy Kong Racing ones, where it's like, play as Link, play as Yoshi. Like, I don't care. We'll play Remix, of course. So I'll, I'll see if I can get some people for net play. Dude, what is I'm like on crack? Uh, it'd be it'd be Friday. Uh, what, Anton? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know when I would play Remix. I'd have to figure that out. But, uh, yeah. That's the Friday is the day. I might play Remix multiple times. Who knows? And some of these, uh, oh, I know you'll be there. Some of these ocarina hacks, I think, are like, you know, four hours long. So it's like, I could play the whole hack. Like, not all of them are like Last Impact, where it's like, or Goldfinger, where it, it takes like, you know, the same amount of time to complete it as it does the original game. But I don't, I don't think I'll be finishing any of them. Maybe, maybe one of the banjo hacks I'll finish because I think those are only like one full level. But even that, I'm, I'm still not totally sure. I need to do some research. Plan out my schedule. Who needs to make time for like breaks and eating and stuff? I need to figure out when I'm gonna play all these games. Who needs bathroom?
I got 12 hours out going to the bathroom. Easy. <laughs> Sometimes. But like eight of the eight of the twelve are like sleeping. I don't know if that counts. Get out of the grass. There we go. So Lo, have you like switched over all of your stuff to level with Kevin? Not sure if you're still around. No, I just fixed him. No, he was actually like spinning around. But I couldn't avoid it. I had to save him. Two days close to your birthday. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Congrats. How old will you be? Dead. <laughs> dead. No. I'm not dead. Not yet. Oh my god. That back boost. Woo. Somehow. Somehow we survived that. You can't win! Yes, I can. I can win. You're a loser! Dude, CG, the best is uh, that someone did the, the Hank Hill thing during your tournament set. <laughs> Which is on YouTube now, by the way. You're a loser! I had, to, I had to turn off so many of the uh, Channel Point Redemption things when I was doing the tournament. So like, let's see, what do, what do we want to keep? We kept we kept the toasty. Toasty. I don't know if we kept much else. Why am I bouncing? Mm. Toasty's great. And it's such a good picture for it, too. Yeah, you and Epad. What's up, Chimera? How you doing, man? Yeah, qualifying first is tough, but yeah, you get a nice bonus for it. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna start hosting like a bi-weekly uh, remix tournament on Fridays. Uh, freaking Lisbon in the dark. So dumb. Oh, Taki, yeah. thanks for the follow. <laughs> All right, all right. Let me let, let me show you guys what I'm what I'm dealing with here. Configure video. Um. Yeah, this is actually pretty close. 
Yeah, I'd say like right here. This is like what I'm working with right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's about, that's about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it there for you. We'll see how you do in this race. No, resolution just does that. And he had normie. <laughs> All right. There is like a gamma boost thing in the, uh, the main options that I could adjust, but it makes the screen really bright. So I might, I might mess with that. Um, and then leave the capture really dark. So yeah, you see why I'm not a fan of these dark levels now. I really need that, uh, that universal remote. Freaking Toshiba. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll put it back to you guys. Yeah, the CRC is really dark and it hasn't, it hasn't messed with me too much until until this game there's just too many too many dark courses all right this is just that same That's a dark CRT. It is, man. Yeah, I, I need a I need a remote. I need a remote that lets me access the you know menu or whatever. Because there is no menu button on this TV. <laughs> yeah, dude. When TVs force you to use a remote. I know, like, and I thought I had a remote for this TV. I don't know where it went. Yo, what's up, Lime? Is it Lime? Yeah. It is Lime. That spot so difficult. No, we are not qualifying. Well, what's up, Neil? It's lime. It's slime. I got it, Mr. T slime. Damn, dude, that that crushed us right there. Mr. T slime. Any predictions? Uh, any predictions for this this game, Mr. T? Yeah, yeah, Boston. It's it's always so annoying trying to find a remote at like a tournament. I remember Shears. <laughs> Shears is so mad when the the Galaxy stopped putting the RF blaster in their uh, phone. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, Neil. Uh, they've been posting about this tournament for like months. Isn't this the the tournament for NAC? Isn't this the NAC Memorial Tournament? 
I don't know about streams or anything like that. It's South America is worse about organizing a tournament stream than Japan is. They'll get some some Facebook live streams of friendlies. They're they're good at that and money matches. Yeah, few things will get me to care about a post less than seeing someone went live. <laughs> like, yeah, all right, not interested in this Facebook post. Get out of my way. All right, that wasn't so bad. It's gotta pass a few more people. Yeah, yeah, it has many. Yo, yeah, Neil, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Dude, CGG, Neil's trying to get his own hype train going. That was two events very quickly. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look up the hype train thing. I don't like uh, I don't like giving out bad information. Yeah, yeah, it has many. James, it has many. how's it going, man? I finally get to catch you in this stream. That's all the ads would give you? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I've gone like months where Twitch wouldn't give me anything. I stopped trying for a while. I, I bet I can, uh, I bet I can grab a few now. I have, I think, twice gotten the elusive 100-bit ad before. Pretty nice. Dude. Dude, stop it. Stop it. Just let me play. Oh my God. No. I'm being gate kept. Like seriously, what the hell was that, man? This is why I refuse to call this game good. Stuff like that happens. And you're just like, wow, what a what a great what a great feature. Let's make it so the, the smallest little mistake will just flip your car around and now you lose. Someone played Extreme G2. And we're like, this seems like a great idea. Just like didn't turn there. Cool. Dude, I, I just I can't win right now. This is just insane. See, like things like this, they make me wish I had an infinite supply of like burner controllers. Cause I just want I just want to like 
physically break it in half. It makes me so angry. A dice roll app? <laughs> Yo, James, thanks, man. Oh, I would break many. The only, the only things, the only games that have, have really made me rage like that where I, like, I know that I, I could if I didn't care about my control, just, just break things. Like, I just want to break something. Um, playing Dragon Ball Fighters online, and um, and playing racing games, playing some of these bad racing games on N sixty four. Like I've been playing World of Warcraft, you know, for like fifteen years. Nothing in the game has ever made me as angry as some of the stuff in the games that I've mentioned. Just infuriating. I actually, my, my PlayStation controller that I used to play Fighters, I did almost break it. I heard there was an audible crack and uh, it stopped working. <laughs> I was like, oh crap. And um, it, it, it eventually started working again. So that was good. Like I, I might have cracked the uh, the motherboard on the controller. Holy crap, dude! It just killed the freaking ball. Body harvest made you raise quit. Dude, that game's so good. Uh, that 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 can be a very frustrating game, though. Body Harvest. Like sometimes those freaking things just decide to one shot you from like a mile away. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, James, did you did you see? Uh, were you around for my playthrough of Body Harvest? When I freaking soft locked myself at one of the checkpoints, and I had to replay an entire level. That was a that was a cool feature. Dude, I was so mad. So like, there was one level, I don't remember, it's like like the tundra or like Russia or something, I don't know. But um, you know, I'm playing through the level, being really careful. And then I like make all this progress and I'm like kind of nervous about dying. So I go back to like the, the previous save spot and I save before I like approach this next area or objective. And in doing that, it made the next objective unobtainable. So I had to start the level over. It was so dumb. And actually after that, after I realized I had to restart it, I like looked up the speedrun strat for the level so I could like skip some stuff. But yeah, it was whack. I remember what place did I qualify? Obviously not first. One of these days, one of these days I'll get a first place qualifying spot. Or not, actually, probably not.
Thank you for the sub, James. Appreciate it, man. It's good to see you. You guys are you're building a solid a solid base leading into the uh, the twelve hour stream. A solid base to uh, try and reach the twenty four. Just to be clear that that would be a completely separate stream. I would not just add twelve onto the. Holy crap! What in the hell is this game? And that guy just shoves me into the wall. Like, incredible. Incredible. Paper Mario, I haven't played any Paper Mario games, so I am like avoiding all spoilers. Like, I haven't played the first one, so I'll do that first. And then, I'll be honest, I will probably not play the other ones for a long time. So, after that, we'll see. But I want to play the first one first. It sucks, because there's this one... Ah, what happened? Uh, there's this one YouTuber whose videos I really like. He made a Paper Mario video, and I can't watch it. That was the game. I thought it was about to freeze. Uh, usually when you start getting audio like that, like the game's about to freeze. Okay, we did not. We did not spin around that time. That's good. No, 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 stop it. Stop, stop. Switch will now freeze. What the heck? What the heck, man? We gotta finish this race. <laughs> Silent. <laughs> no! No, we needed the music! We needed the music! <laughs> no! There it is. Hey, and it, and it froze. Great game, great game. Thank goodness this is a controller pack game. I called it though, I called it. Yes, guys, this is a good timing. Come on, EverDrive. There we go. I know, Bird, it was scary. And we're back. <laughs> That was a that was that was a fun little intermission there. Demons are entering. Yeah, that was that was brutal. <laughs> I need I need to go back and clip that whole sequence. To demon corrupting audio to muting to crash. To freeze. <laughs> what a freaking combo. Clip. 
clip of the week. I feel like I'm forgetting that turn. Okay, that's I was forgetting that turn. Dude, why does that get me so bad? Car just decides to start bouncing there. Oh, catch you later, CGG. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for everything. <laughs> yes, yeah, Ked, this, this is about how it's going. You, you got the gist of it. Yeah, see, like, that lap was trash compared to my qualifier, but that's because I had to deal with all the other cars. So I guess that makes sense. Like, this lap will probably be much better. And now, see, originally, we were like, oh, the soundtrack's uh, pretty decent. It's like the same few songs over and over because it's the same few tracks over and over. Not a whole lot of variety in this game. Five seconds better. Mm -hmm. 
Some of that is just not having to start from standstill though. Welcome to racing. Splits are faster. Yo, what is this plane doing? God, what was it? Um, Top Gear Rally? It might have been. There was one course where a plane would like crash on you sometimes. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was either Top Gear Rally or Multi Racing Championship. It was one of those two. I'm confident. How many more games left? Only 148. After this one. This is the literal halfway mark, is this game. Easy clap. Yeah, yeah. We're getting there. Racing game number 100. Yeah. Actually... If you do exclamation mark progress, progress, you could see exactly which number racing game this is. I know there's like 70 or so sports games out of 296. Um, and that's me counting the wrestling games as fighting games and not sports games. Um, and that was the, the most were sports. So racing is under 70. but I don't remember how many there are. <laughs> Meanwhile, there are only two RTS games. Only. Can you believe that? 70 sports games, two RTS games. by this amazing lens flare. Wow, great work, graphics department. That is what this game needed. Not better lighting, but a lens flare to blind you. Actually, dude, that was a really good laugh. That's like the best lap I've ever had. <laughs> this is racing game number 30. That's it. Uh, Command and Conquer, is it on the YouTube? I uploaded it. I don't know if I've published it. I need to, uh, I need to go and I need to go through and, and catch back up with those. It's definitely uploaded though. Cause I just uploaded Superman today. So. I'm all caught up on my uploads. I just need to publish stuff. What was good with Iggy's Wrecking Balls? Literally nothing. The game is not good. <laughs> it just wasn't fun, man. I don't, it might be better playing against other people. Playing against the CPU sucked.
Damn, I raced like the smoothest lap I ever had and it put me in fourth. It's not a good sign. You should not be looking forward to uh, Command and Conquer on YouTube. Like, the game is good. Command and Conquer is good. But playing it on this console is not because it goes so much slower. It's crazy if you look up, like, a PC run of it and compare it to my gameplay on N64. StarCraft is going to be wild, though, because StarCraft 64 includes Brood Wars. So that is six campaigns I have to beat. Like, we are going to be on that game for a long time. And it's not like I can fall back on my, my memory of the campaign because I barely remember anything as far as like strategies goes. Strategy goes. Strategies go. But yeah. Like that last Terran mission, I remember you do like the, the backdoor strat where you like take out a couple turrets and then sneak in with, uh, with ghosts on a dropship and you nuke that laser. But like, that's it. That's all I remember. Why don't I remember this part? Third lap, I'm just slowing down there. No need to throw it all away in the last 15 seconds of the last lap. You're a huge Command and Conquer fan? Yeah, I mean, the, again, the game's good. But uh, on 64, it just runs so slow. If you're a huge fan of the series, then you'll you'll watch it. Like, why, why are they? Why is it doing this? Like, like, seriously, hours, hours are added to the run just because. I mean, the last mission, the final mission, I was like trying to, you know, comb the map for the last, that like last unit or two that I missed and it just took forever. slow down that's how you win races ladies and gentlemen just slow down yeah dude it was it was definitely a struggle like finding the right strat like took a while 
on each on like each level. It was yeah, it was, it was a struggle, and like not saving often enough definitely messed me up a few times. Like halfway through, I'm like, oh yeah, I should just save all the time. Yeah, Tom, that that freaking lens flare, right? Black Forest. Like the ham? Alright, we practicing. Oh, this is a very straightforward map. Just looking at the mini map. There's like, yeah, like two or three sharp turns. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm looking at the mini map. <laughs> Black, Black Forest Boar's Head. I do miss some of those, uh, getting some of those sandwiches from the corner store in uh, New York. Little baby laps. Oh, I, I'm gonna have to like be really on point because these laps are so short. Yeah, I really gotta slow down. Earlier, I don't have nearly as much time to like catch up to uh, the computer. Yeah, so that part, I just... just... Oh, it oh, oh, on Twitch, it won't let you watch it. Okay. Yeah, I, I gotta start, I gotta start pumping out those uh, YouTube videos. I, I like forgot that I hadn't published in a while. What was annoying was uh getting the render together for uh command and holy crap, park. Cause like I like the programs I have, you know, like Sony Vegas or, or Adobe Premiere, they don't, they're not letting me render projects over like 18 hours or something. So what I have to do is play, like put all the videos in a playlist and then play it and record that playlist in real time on like the laptop I use. So it's like if I used to, you know, it takes 20 hours to record it. So if I screw up, I have to start over. All right, let's actually try. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Wow, even earlier than that. Yeah, it sucks. It happened with like some of the really long ones, like Ocarina. I think Turok 2 I ended up uploading in two parts because I didn't do this strat. No, I'm already screwed. Okay.
Not too shabby. Yeah, let's do it. That guy was just driving in the grass. He didn't even slow down. I didn't look at the standings to see like what place I need to win the uh, to win the whole thing. Really sure that. to slow down so much that I can catch up. Oh, but now, now I have no one to run into up here. I have to slow down all my own. You're watching me at a 160 pixel. Yeah, it's it's bad. I'll uh, I'll I'll get that up. I'll get that up soon. Uh, definitely in the next week. Definitely in the next week. It just depends on how, how far back it is. Easy win, easy win. A new record. Oh, look at that, I was, I was freaking crushing everyone. Wasn't even close. Sheesh. Rank up. See, like, I'm getting, I'm getting new offers. Oh, that's a, that's a whole new team, right? All right, let's, let's check this out. So we've been riding viewpoint with this. It's four, five, five. Four five four? No, I don't want that. And it's lighter, which scares me. I think. See, here we go. Easy, right? Five six six. Total score is quite good. Yeah, it seems like it. What's the? How much does weight affect things? Like, is that is that important? Yeah, I'm, uh, handling is definitely the most important thing for me. See you, dude. Ooh. 
Do we go back and get gold? Does it matter? Does it even matter? Actually, does it, Geo? Do I have to get gold and everything? Yeah, getting first is 15. Eight. Oh, it's more. It's more tracks. Bro. And it's four laps! I feel the difference in handling. Oh, okay, this is that other course, but that. wall slam. Not that. pretty long. Four laps is pretty long. Yeah, gee, I was wondering about um, how much the weight of the car matters and um, I was also wondering about uh, if I if I need to get first in every cup. Yeah, that course before us was so short, it was great. I definitely couldn't make turns like that before. Oh no, it messed me up again. Okay. That one part is a big troll. The more laps there are, it probably 
helps me in the end, probably makes it easier for me to win a race. So actually, I might not even have to like practice that much. Yeah, I couldn't make turns like that before. Okay. If you unlock the invitational event, that's the way? Okay. How do you unlock that? Do you just beat the other ones? Or like you get a certain rank and then you unlock the invitational? I guess I'll see. Uh, not this time. Not getting me this time. Some tro oh, okay. So you just you have to, okay. You have to podium, and then you win the invitational, or do you also just have to get on the podium for that? Like, why does is, why is that have to happen? It just taps me. We're just hitting people. That's the meta. So 
what this game has become. Oh, get, get out of here. It's not that. Okay, that was like the cleanest turn of all time. I'll never be able to do that again. <laughs> yes. This person so far ahead. Oh, my God, and they're just widening the gap. I think I slow down too much up here. I've been hitting the brakes and stuff and I didn't need to do anything. getting close. I'm like right there. We're coming for you. Just wasn't enough. Yes! 
Yes, it was! Yes! What a win! Woo! Let's look at this. <laughs> Four hundredths of a second. Hell yeah. Sorry, old team viewpoint. Yeah, um, I haven't, like, turn-based RPGs are not something I've played a lot of, um, but I've heard good things about Ogre Battle. Dude, what a freaking race, man. Yeah, drink. Okay, it's a starting the same way. Oh. This is backwards. No, it's not. My car... So I guess since the car is lighter, it bounces more. Because that one spot just there... It did not... But yeah, dude, I can't believe I clutched that either. That was actually crazy. It's funny. I clutched it at the very end to beat my former team. And why did I beat them? Because I had a better car than they could give me. Sorry, Viewpoint. That's up there with like some of the, the the like clutch wins I had playing the rush games where I would just like fly from out of nowhere and win it. Oh, this is a different path. This part's different. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that little bounce there didn't happen in the other car. So it's either because I'm going faster or I'm lighter or both. All right, Deshi. Good seeing you as always. Have a good night. 
I think I might I might call it after this this cup. I'm gonna finish out this cup. Not really in the mood to like super grind out some racing games. All right, yeah, that was totally the mood. Just freaking knock them out. I'll probably be able to do that. So there's a big slowdown after this turn. Oh, got me. All right. This is bad. Should have just run the race. Oh, and this isn't the first race either. Oh, I might have just screwed everything up. Right, we'll catch them. They're all in a little pack. Grass, no, 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 bad. One bump was so good though. Thought I could replicate it. Should have known better than the trusted physics of this game. Ah, uh, the opponents will start getting better cars. Dang. So I guess one one option would be to go back and do older cups and just get points and rank up until you can get a better car, right? That's one way to combat the uh, increasing difficulty. Just grind it out like an RPG. Just get better stats and better gear. We don't want to do that. Oh, come on, don't do that. Yeah, you just farm. Yep. And it's not even like the farm the easiest ones, because the easiest ones don't give as many points. Like I could go back and farm the one right before this. Like that wasn't that wasn't hard at all. I got first place in all of them. All the other races. And one of the races was super short. But the novice cup does only have two courses. Hmm. So there is a time factor. Yeah, having four laps is definitely 
annoying because the races are long, but it makes it a lot easier to catch up if you're behind. Do I hit the red or do I hit the grass? Yeah, this car is so much better. <laughs> you tell it just turns like that. That were like difficult before. That one's still not great. Got the weird little bendy thing. Yeah, that's what's up. You just, if you can pass the opponents, like in the areas where they slow down a lot, good God, why? Like that is just so stupid. Come on. So stupid. It's actually incredible that I got second. Of course. No. I just haven't played here in a while. And yeah, it's reversed. Or a oh, 
Okay. Qualifies to a three. Got two or four first tries. She'll be able to pull this off. Uh, Gia, are you into other racing games on the console? I gotta figure if you really like this one, there's there are more. favorite genre. So what are your, what are your favorite uh, racing games on N64? I have played many. My favorites are probably, so far, out of the ones I've played, Wave Race, Extreme G, Diddy Kong Racing. Hell yeah, first. Top Gear Overdrive. That was definitely not our favorite on stream. <laughs> Did not. Top Gear Rally, I thought was so much better than Top Gear Overdrive. Um, granted, I, again, I only played against the computer, so if it was like fun multiplayer, then I missed out on that. It's my first first place, my first poll bonus, baby's first poll bonus. Yeah, Top Gear Overdrive, we were not a fan of on this stream. Is Top Gear Overdrive the one where, like, we upgraded the car so much that it was, like, too fast by the end? Or was that Rush 2? Or was that both? Because that definitely happened in one of those games. Like, the car was so good at the end that, like, the game couldn't handle it. Might have been both of them, because I remember like glitching through the floor, like it was crazy. Okay, so it was overdrive, yeah. Like we'd be driving straight and then just like go through the floor. game just literally couldn't handle us. Be better prepared on that turn since there's dirt right there. It just like really messes us up. If you hit dirt like that while turning in this game, it just destroys you. And grass. Destruction Derby, no, I haven't gotten to it. Uh, Geo, if you do exclamation mark progress, um, it'll pull up a Google Doc of all the games I've played and the order I'm going to play everything in, along with a bunch of other stuff. But uh, you'll be able to look up and see when I'm going to play Destruction Derby. Because uh, I'm playing all the games in chronological order by release date. So that's 
there is a set order for all 296 games. Like that turn is insane when you first play this course because your car can't turn for crap. But it's not nearly as crazy of a turn. Now. There you go. Settle. Settle. Have you, um, have you played Extreme G? Like, my back wheels were in the dirt. Come on. Is this car? Oh, actually, it might be. It, it's a race car. It's going to be rear or four wheel drive, of course. Yeah, dude, if you haven't played Extreme G and you like racing games on N64, you got to play it. The sequel was not, was not as good. Only a slight improvement in the visuals, in my opinion, and then everything else is worse. Yeah, you definitely should play it again. I think it's great. And it's easy to pick up and play. Like, it's not... It doesn't take a while to learn. Like, you can play with the, some of the stock bikes, and it's not that bad. Obviously, you can just put in the code and unlock all the best ones and have fun with that. Like, it's still fun. But actually the best one sometimes, it just like goes too fast. If you like do like a double boost or something, it's kind of wild. Yeah, Extreme G is really good. I, I mean, obviously people like F-Zero. Um, I think it's a little overhyped. And yeah, Diddy Kong Racing is actually really good. Um, if you want like a different kind of racing game, uh, the Micro Machines or the Hot Wheels, Micro Machines 64 Turbo. Uh, that was pretty fun. Um, I've heard good things about the Mickey Mouse racing game, but I haven't played it yet. Mickey Speedway. Um, yeah, I haven't played it yet, so can't can't fully vouch for it. I like how neither of us said Mario Kart. Good job. That's how I know you're a true N64 racing game connoisseur. Oh my god, there's another lap. Hot Wheels is another racing game, you're right. It's supposed to be good, I think. Uh, another one that people always hype up is Beetle Adventure Racing. And, I don't know, I thought it was okay. There's like all this extra stuff in the game for you to like go explore and find, but like I'm not interested in that, you know? Like that's there in Diddy Kong Racing too, but they actually like make it part of the game and you actually have to go explore to get like all the silver coins and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, this course backwards is so much better. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Who killed me? Boston. But I'm alive. Is that Step Brothers? <laughs> but I'm alive, bro.
You had to do it to me. That's fair. You, you owe me a death or two, for sure. Top speed record. Smoking them. 13 points ahead. All right, we're going straight to qualify. Oh, we got the pole bonus that last time. Yeah, I don't know that much about racing. Oh my God, all right. Well, we're, we're backwards. We are backwards. I'll get the hang of it, but it's definitely gonna mess me up for this qualifier. Whoa, okay. Hard to see, hard to see. Oh, the lens flares in a different spot. I actually can't see. <laughs> oh, that was, that was brutal. Dude, they're killing me here. The stage just does not want you to see, like, ever. Oh my god, I got third? All right, so I don't have to win this. I actually don't need to do super well. I probably get like third, fourth, and be fine. I'm ahead by 13 points. First place gets 15. Second place gets 10. Third place gets what, seven? Fourth gets five, I don't know. Forget the breakdown. Yeah, definitely don't need much. Yeah, getting a good car like this, and then now we're in these longer races, we're definitely in safer territory as far as like being able to beat the game, or being able to like complete these circuits. I don't know about beating the game. Oh, of course they're fine. Oh yeah, lens flare time. Maybe they put their sunglasses on.
then you gotta quickly take them off because it's dark here. No. We catch up, we catch up. Gives us something to do for the next three laps. Yeah, I have a lot of time. I definitely can come back. They have a huge gap though. That is a large, large gap. I might need to actually learn how to do that turn. No, no! Dude, I don't know, man. It's, uh, it's, now it's looking kind of grim. They're like right there. It's crazy because not only does the land slayer like blind you, but because the, the course has been so dark, it actually is bright like to your eyes. At least for me. Alright, final lap. We're in six. We could gain at least one place here. That would be large.
Ouch. How many restarts do I have? None. You don't get restarts, do you? Yeah, frame rate feels good. I, I, the visuals and everything are, are actually pretty good in this game. Viewpoint guy. Oh, no. Oh, wait. That's perfect. I was ahead by 13. Now I'm ahead by one, right? Oh, never mind. They, they weren't in second. Let's go. Easy clap. Whoa, dude! My boys have put a way too far. All right, let's let's check this out. Sarasaw, we did it. All right, so Speedcraft got the stallion leveled up. Five, six, five. I don't think we're gonna do that. And five, five, seven. It's tempting. Ooh, man, that actually is really tempting. Yeah. So we lose a little acceleration, but we gain handling and weight. Which is pretty huge, right? What car were we? We were here. Yeah, we lose acceleration, we gain handling, we gain weight. I think I, I think I go for it. I think I like that. Yeah, and it's pink. Yeah. It seems like the way I like it. I like it. Z is to change colors. Thank you. I, I actually like this color scheme, but good to know. Hell yeah. Oh, this, this, see, they're so nice in Brazil. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Gold, baby. Oh wait, how do we unlock the next one? What the heck? What do we have to do? Do you have to get all golds? Crap. Does anybody know? Oh, gee. What's up, man? Oh, crap. I hit practice. Uh, we need, we need to know... We need to know how to unlock the next cup. those tunes. Oh, Bert got up. He's on the move. Uh, this game is not great. It's gotten better as I've gotten better cars, though. It started out kind of rough. And it definitely takes me a minute whenever I come back to it. So ideally, I would finish it tonight. So I, I would just never have to play it again. But obviously, things are now looking good. Yeah, Bert's there. Getting his scratch on. Where, where are you going?
Or don't leave us. You're the only reason people are here. Yeah, you. Be gooder. Yeah, I didn't know if like it would unlock when I achieved a certain rank or if it would unlock when I got a certain number of like wins. Because if it's rank up, then it actually might be faster to do the most recent cup. Oh, cool. Dude, did I just miss Bert, like, scoot on his butt in a circle? One of the funniest things in the world. When dog butt scoots. Oh yeah, we got this new car. I don't think we've gotten to really use it yet. can't do that. Just let me hit you. Oh, get wrecked. Um, no, I think ru one of the Rush games is really long. Uh, Top Gear Overdrive just felt really long. I don't know if it actually was. But I think one of the Rush games was the longest. Sked. Racing games have been kind of long in general. Although there were a few short ones, but overall they're usually pretty long. Yeah, the cruising games are not long, like Wave Race, Extreme G, um, Mario Kart. Those are those are quick. Um, granted, they might no even even if you're not good at the game, they're still quick. Like you can still just get good. This is a long one though. There's just a lot of races. No! I had to sneeze. What am I gonna do? Pause the game? Oh, it's been going alright, Sked. Just refinance my house. So, you know, really exciting stuff. How about yourself? Anything more exciting than that?
You know me. Always on that real world stuff. Oh, you, you, you guys got a storm? Yeah, they they said it was gonna snow here, and we've got like the tiniest little dust thing so far. So we're waiting to see if anything else develops. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd say if you go through my recommendations, the yeses are all like pretty solid, but some of them might be a little niche. Like uh, if it's a puzzle game, you know, like not everybody likes puzzle games, I get it. Um, if you want like a good, mindless, fun game though, I'd recommend that you probably haven't played or heard of. I would play Star Soldier Vanishing Earth. That was a fun one. Just old school, like, 2D arcade shooter. Yeah, like, again, if you, if you like you know, like the scrolling 2D shooters, then you can't go wrong with it. It's, it was fun. And it like, it, there are like a few levels where there are like little secrets to them where you can like unlock a different route. It was, pre it was pretty fun. I liked it. If you, uh, if you want a co-op shooter, you should check out Knife Edge Nose Gunner. I played that with both of my brothers. Was, we had fun. I think it's like a. I think it's three player. I don't think it's up to four. I think it might be. It might max out at three player. We had fun with that though. And it's not a long game. I was able to adjust settings on my TV, so hopefully this is going to be a little bit better. I might have to adjust them again. It might be too saturated. Yeah, if you like Tetris, Tetrisphere is pretty freaking cool. I am not much of a Tetris guy. Never was, but Tetris is pretty cool. That's like where am I? Yeah, I think TDs. I think it's too saturated. I'll worry about that another time. Ah, oh, bummer, Boston. Yeah, you, you, you getting like a storm up there too? Uh, 
Oh, Skid, if you want a if you want a good uh, like Tetris style game, you should play Wet Tricks. Wet Tricks is cool. That's a really good one to do like a head-to-head -head score battle with. Yeah, there are not a whole lot of Wetrix videos out there. So I wanted to make sure I, I, I put one or two out there because it's a cool game. Apparently there's like this old high scores page. It's not like a GeoCities page, but um, crap, I forget what it was. But there's like an old page with like, you know, world record high scores and stuff. Someone said Matt's was really good at it. The mysterious Matt's. Oh no. I was not paying attention. A good basketball game on N64? I don't think it exists. Like, hang time is fun to play with friends. Playing against the CPU. I think there was like one game I recommended though. One basketball game that I thought was good. I don't remember which one it was though. I feel bad now. I'm sorry, basketball game. Dude, playing this course, this course just feels, some, feels weird. It's like I just forgot everything. NBA Jam 99 is bad. Yeah, because it's not NBA Jam. Like, it's not actually an NBA Jam game. They just took the name. NBA Hang Time is what NBA Jam became. Hang Glider, is this Pilot Wings? Yeah, Showtime and Hang Time. But yeah, playing against the CPU and Hang Time was miserable. It was like really bad rubber banding. And I, I did not have fun. No! Chill out. But yeah, I'd have to look at my recommendations again to see which which basketball game I, I liked. But actually, I think there may have only been one. Back. That's a big gap though. Oh man. Uh, I don't know if I played Showtime. You'd have to check my list. Like, I'll be honest, like, pretty much all of the basketball games blend together for me. They're so similar. Come back. It might be too much. I think it is. We tried. Right there, though. Mm. 
Not like that one, uh, that one race where we like super clutched it last time. One by five hundredths of a second. Dude, I really had to go hit that wall right there. Dang. Yeah, dude. You know why there's four NBA games in a row? Because they all came out on the same day. Ouch, that was rough. I'm down by four. So if I win this, then I, then I win. All right, we're practicing. <laughs> Next snows of basketball. Dude, people are in trouble next to basketball. It had been many, many years since I had last played. And by the end, I was definitely figuring out how to shoot again. Next to basketball, it will only have been a couple of years. One like really big turn here. Got just whoa. Oh, the heat. Yeah, I can see the heat being bad for some people. Uh, easy for me to be more used to it. Not everyone knows how to like deal with that or be prepared for it. Alex and I were a little worried about some people. Yeah, uh, Mario Golf, like, wait, how do you get the credits in Mario Golf? Is it just beating one tournament? All right, that was a 140. I don't know, I don't know how you get the credits in Mario Golf. I've, I've hundred percent of that game twice. Oh yeah, I mean, it can get it can get that hot in Maryland for sure. But it also can get much much colder than it ever does in LA. A lot of the a lot of us like mid-Atlantic states uh, kind of see like every type of weather. Yeah, I, I really don't know how to get the credits in Mario Golf. I don't know if it's like, you know, like beat every tournament, like beat the final tournament, or unlock all the characters. Like, I, I don't know. Or not unlock all the characters, but like beat all of the challenge a character thing. I sure hope so, Sked. Might have, to, might have to look that up. Because, yeah, Mario Golf is no joke. That is a, a serious grind, and you want, like, the good characters. Otherwise, it's kind of impossible. Stop me there. That was weird. 
Oh, second. We were so close. Beating the last tournament? Okay. See, the next... The next issue is... How, how good of a character do you need to uh, to actually beat the last tournament like without too much trouble you know like I don't think I'm doing it with you know Harry but maybe I am I don't know Maybe if I just, you know, get gooder. Dude, slow down so much. Floor hockey? I love hockey. Dude, I played hockey. <laughs> I would love that. This is my nightmare. How did that happen? How does that happen? What the hell, man? I'm just not allowed to have any fun. Get me out of this turn. Plum. That's one of like the Game Boy characters. That's not even in the normal game. Right? Dude, I would, oh man. I would play on uh, like rollerblades. That'd be fun. Still need skates, but yeah. Renting out an ice rink is very expensive. <laughs> that's, why, uh, that's why hockey is like the most expensive youth sport. Or, you know, it's up there. Um, it's more expensive than tennis and golf. But it's for sure up there. Equipment and ice time. I still have my, my stick. I still have a hockey stick. Dude, I, I bet I'm terrible on skates now. I don't even want to think about it. Like, it's been well over a decade. But I just don't have that like stability in my ankles anymore. I do need to win this race. I think if I had hit him, I would have spun out. That would have been real bad. Nice. See, yeah, I played a ton of street hockey. Super fun. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We just did all that work coming back. a lot of sports growing up um, 
like I played baseball and basketball at like you know a pretty freaking low level. Um, I played hockey, ran track, and then I played a lot of frisbee. Never really, never got into soccer, other than like you know playing at recess and PE and stuff. And uh, I never got into football at all, in any capacity, watching it, playing it at all, until like the end of college. I started, you know, watching it more. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right, we needed that. Yup, called it. All right, so we didn't get a rank up. Yeah, it didn't get a rank up. Oh, but hey, new cup. Yeah, four races, four laps. Yikes. Yeah, I, I never played soccer, but like I was always an athlete, so like I could play it. Dude, what is this track? This is a new track. Not the music, of course, but... These turns are brutal. Okay. And then freaking hairpin. Zurich doesn't mess around. Oh yeah, just hey uh, everybody, don't forget you can uh, you can sign up for uh, M2K's next tournament and still <clears throat> without having to resub if your sub if your previous sub is still active. So you can take advantage. Really, every sub gets you like entry to two tournaments. Yeah. 
Actually, did that way better in practice? How often are the tournaments? It's monthly. Uh, the last one was like last Friday, like the 15th. And the next one is February 20 something. Guy bowing his head. Now I'm gonna have to look at it. Smash for 10 hours a day. I, I never did that. Golden I play a lot of time. Oh wow, you're right. You're right, it does look like someone bowing. They're like bending at the waist. That is funny. Big slow down here. Direct blue car. Attention. I was looking at OG's emote. That's not fair. Like, I just want to freaking deck someone, but if I do it, if I hit them, I spin out. If they hit me, I spin out. Balanced, fair and balanced.
Like what in the hell? Right now the car just doesn't know it. Like this, this crap just makes me so angry. Oh, there's five laps. Holy crap. Five times. OG, how goes? How are things in the Resident Evil world? Fifteenth place, hell yeah! Yeah, I, I saw that at the end of uh, the stream the other night. Next stop, top ten. Man, if you like, if you're feeling it, if you're feeling it, then just do it. You know, if you're like really itching to do more, then you're not gonna burn yourself out. Burnout comes when you start like forcing it on yourself. But yeah, if you're kind of tired and you don't think you'll do well, then that's also fair. So you don't just like want to slam the wall over and over again. Unless that's, you know, a glitch that you need to do. taking that one turn just like max speed and hitting the wall and seeing what happens is it even slowing down to like 40 miles an hour and still like not making the turn This place is so far ahead.
Look at them. They're so far ahead. Jeez. Oh wait, we were just gonna gun it. Which I think is the move. That turn, not so much. Take a second. Ooh, full degen. Nap into late night stream. True combo. I don't know, man. Even if you're not like PBing or whatever, just doing the runs probably helps, right? Just to get runs in. just to get that consistency. All right, this is not a new track. But I think it's been a hot minute since we were here. Is, is it like a super optimized run? That's so fun. Not a whole lot of wiggle room, huh? Okay. Yeah, if it's like a super tight optimized run like that, then I mean, that's just hard to stream in general and like, you know, be fun. So you have to be so focused. Like the reason some of these streamers are able to do that is because of just how many times they've done the run. I mean, you know, it's like an athlete being able to make shots with the defender in their face versus in practice. For the most part, you just, you do it so many times. 
Wow, I almost made that thing. Slam. How far away are you from world record? Five years. Yeah, see, like, I have no interest in running something that's, like, that's that optimized. Unless I'm just doing it for fun. Like, if I'm, like, legit trying to go for a record, I'm not going to go for anything that's, that's that tight. Yeah, there you go. Like, it's just good times you're happy with. Like, it's like I never, like, grind it out in practice to be, like, the best Smash player, you know? I was like, I, I'll, I'll play, and if I get good, then I get good. Oh, dude, right off the start? What a troll. This game, man. Just right off the start, they just tapped me into last place. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Yeah, you, you want to keep it fun. Like some of these, like, Super Metroid speed speedrunners and like Mario 64. It's like, dude, how how are you just like casually having this conversation and reading chat while you're doing some of this crap? It's like their their runs are just so technical. Five freaking laps. Not like that. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of that tech, you're, you're right. But I'm not even talking about the, the, the long jump. Like, it's like some of these like off screen, like wall jump things that they do. And like, you know, all the stuff in Super Metroid, like the really, really specific um, sh like shine sparks they have to hit. Why? Like, why, 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 why? I get spun in a freaking circle. Actually, if it were circle, it'd be better. But it's always 180.
Like, it's just so stupid. And I'm back at last. Screw this game, man. Hey, Saracel. Hope you're doing all right. Hope your game treats you better than mine. Look at that. Yeah, you're at work. No, no, it's I'm pushing, but nothing. Screw you, we're taking this turn. So far behind. Being around the other cars at this part sucks. There's like a very specific line I'm trying to take, and they they go so slow through it. That's what screwed me up the last on the previous lap. Yeah, dude, it's freaking cold. Um, Minus 42, what the hell? Fahrenheit? <laughs> Where the hell are you? I'm gonna assume that is not Fahrenheit. That is still very cold. I just watched uh, an episode of Snowpiercer, so my, my concept of um, cold temperatures is a little skewed right now. Slow down to like 85 there. Gotta hit the wall. Go. One to beat. Actually, this was the course where I had that crazy comeback and uh, I passed the person at the last second and won by 500. It was this course. Oh, still hit the wall. So we can do it on this last lap. If this lap is as good as the one before it, then we win. That's a turn I actually want to do. Right. Because it was. Okay. Alright, alright. That could have gone bad. But we're good.
gotta get ahead. It's not gonna happen. Oh, it is. We just did it. Okay. That one spot was uh, was gonna get dicey. Well, you know, it was just our best lap ever. Yo, Sans, what's up? Yeah, Mario Kart's a little different. A little different. No items, no fun. My car is called the Rage because that's what you want to do when you play this. All right, so we're ahead by fives. So we need to win. We need to win. Oh, wait, there's, there are four races, not three. I forgot. Rome. We're back in Rome. How are you, Sans? This is not even close to a candidate for best racing. It's also not really a candidate for worst. It's it's very middle of the road. I'm doing okay. Um, today was, you know, not super eventful. I'm gonna go sign some papers. Oh, oh! It's a different, it's a different route. No, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, it's a whole new route. Yeah, I'm just kind of chilling. Uh, wanted to knock out some more time in this game. I gotta call someone about some video editing tomorrow. Some like, some real estate company wants to make like, you know, like Facebook ad videos. So, might get some work. Yeah, jobs are jobs, for sure. I've uh, I've definitely done worse. Uh, edits for money. Dude, I did a bunch for this this one like top ten channel. And it was like all these like top ten scary videos. And dude it was so bad. The script was just awful. And then uh they when I would ask them like okay, there's this, you're talking about this video, like, where's the video, you know, for me to showcase. They would always link me to this other YouTube channel that they were just blatantly ripping off. And at the time I was like, all right, I guess I'm just doing this. But after a while I was like, dude, I'm, I'm
It was pretty funny, though. It's like, oh, you're just unabashedly ripping off this other channel. But, like, if that other channel would do, like, a top 15, then we would just do, like, a top 5, you know? Welcome to the world of YouTube. We don't have a budget for the other 10. Now, I was getting paid per video, not per hour. So they could have been longer. No, they were all like four minute videos. I tried looking for it the other day. I couldn't find the channel. Maybe they spent hundreds of dollars. Classic content creation blunder. Spend too much money on something that you shouldn't spend money on. Like at the beginning of your career. It's like when like a brand new streamer goes out and like buys a ton of equipment and they're streaming to like one person. And they don't like they're not like on YouTube. Good God. There's like, oh, if I just stream, then eventually people will tune in. It's like, yeah, it's not quite how that works. Also, no one cares that you have a $500 mic. See, that crap like that is why I just can't say this is a good game. Like, it's just not, that's not fun. Yeah, my tire touched the dirt for a split second. Now I'm in last place. Cool. Cool game. Yeah, exactly like that. It's like, uh, we like hear, heard rumors about how much money like the Smash GG team was spending at tournaments on like crazy expensive like Airbnbs and stuff like that. Yeah, they're just blowing all this money. and it actually straightens them out and saves them. And by love, I need, I need it. Freaking did it again. Dude, we're freaking losing this race. for winning this circuit. This will just finish it and get some points. Maybe we'll be able to get like four. And 
unless I just have two godlike laps in a row. Maybe I do it. Maybe I just do it. Alright, where's my, my turn of death? This. This freaking turn. Turn ended me twice. Yeah, man, those, those, those two laps where I messed up that turn really, really screwed things up. Should be titled Car Driver. Now you drive the world. It's a championship of you driving the world. I freaking, all right. I thought that was gonna be a lot worse than it was. We recovered, we got lucky. I'd rather be lucky than good, always. Dirt's not too bad. You know, all things considered. Really could have won that. If we just didn't have one of those spin outs, we win this race. Actually, we just need to win. Frank 18. I don't know how 
much they would have changed. Oh, they made it easier. Okay. Hell yeah. Well, they made that turn easier. I don't know about the rest of it. the new that new turn again I wish there was more music in this game for sure with how many races you have to do and like how many laps you have to do and everything like definitely can Feels good.
First place. We got the pole bonus. All right, so that means that we can win this with, uh, hopefully we don't get wrecked by the CPUs. Yeah, Podge, it's, uh, it's a racing game. It's an arcade racer. It's long. You've seen one, you've seen most of them. Unfortunately, that's just, that's just how the cookie crumbles with these. There are many, many racing games that I would play over games like this. Luckily, we have like some just really crazy punishing mechanics to spice things up every once in a while. <laughs> like losing control and spinning 180 degrees. I like forgot what I was doing there. How are you doing, Mr. Official? Poe Jr. Is it Poe Jr. official? Or is it Podger? <laughs> oh, come on. Are you, uh, are you much of an N64 fan? To be honest, if you like, if you like N64 racing games, I can recommend a bunch. <laughs> oh man. See, that's, that is, uh, one nice thing about not really being part of the, uh, like the Xbox Live era, is I never really got stuck with a, with a tag that I made when I was a teenager. Or a kid, you know, like a little kid. Uh, my favorites are Wave Race, um, Extreme G, Diddy Kong Racing, uh, F-Zero is pretty good, and then there are a bunch of others that are, like, good games. Um, if you type exclamation mark progress in chat, you can see, uh, what games I've played and which ones I liked. So you could like control F racing and just check all the racing games. But my favorite is Wave Race. I like it as like a pure racing game. You know, there are no items or speed boosts or power ups or anything. Um, and it just has like really unique physics and great soundtrack and like really good handling. Stream G is really fun. Uh, it has all those things except for it does have items. 
Very different aesthetic though. This game's handling gets better as you get better cars, but you still have some pretty whack physics going on sometimes. Yeah, I had, a, I had a few people pop in and out that uh, played this one a lot growing up. Oh, crap. There's almost no hills. Yeah, there aren't a lot of hills. That is a good observation. Really, in all of the courses, there aren't many hills. Um, There are like, you know, like steady inclines and declines, but no like, nothing that you're like catching air off of or anything like that. I mean, this game looks pretty good. All like the visuals are actually pretty good. It definitely looks better on my CRT than it does on this capture for whatever reason. Oh my god, there's still one more lap. The game's killing me. Ultimate driving machine. Ooh. All right, so we got two offers. 
one from viewpoint. Oh, that's looks pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh wait, that's. Oh, this one's better. Correct. Yeah, make make your car faster. Yeah, like Yeah, it's sorry. This the new car is lighter. So that scares me a little. I don't know how much that'll affect things. Oh, we got we got invited to the invitational. Fifteen laps. What? Oh, it's only one race. All right, we practice. Oh, and it's a Lisbon. Oh, but it's Lisbon backwards. I wish this car was heavier. I don't know if I... Definitely don't like how it feels initially. I mean, 15 laps, I, I just I just send it, right? Yeah, so Extreme G2, um, they improved visuals a little bit, but there's some, you still have frame rate issues. Um, the music isn't as good, the items aren't as fun, and there, the game itself is just, like kind of jank sometimes or like there were a lot of instances where I would clip a wall or something like ride like ride up a wall and this happens a lot in that game just because how fast paced it is and I would like catch a clipping and then just spin 180 degrees like it just like it wasn't as as good of a game the first one is just better. Unfortunately, like I really like the game, and I would have loved for the sequel to be good, but it just wasn't. Dude, this car is like trolling. Yeah, you know, I didn't think Beetle Adventure Racing was where it was uh, as good as everyone said it was. It was okay. Yeah, I kind of wish the car was a little heavier. I feel like I can feel the difference. I legit might go back and use the crappier car. Oh, we got, yeah. 
That was a big boy turn. Lisbon, where the sun is in your eyes somewhere. Dang. I like this track the other way. Last place, fifth place, all right. We can do this. Dude, if all I have to do to win this, or all I have to do to beat this game is win this, we're, we're 15 laps away. Which is gonna take a while. Cause hold on. If each yeah, if each lap takes two minutes, we're gonna be racing this track for the next half an hour. Buckle in everybody. Oh no. Dude, the sun. Dude, way too much of the budget went into this one flare. still right there. Dude, where's freaking Lord Kami when I need him, man? He remembers. He remembers 11 health bars on Flying Dragon. 15 laps. I don't even want to think about what might be in the second half of this game in GT2. Unless it's just harder. I think I hit this itch on my forehead. It's a racing game, I can't stop. I can't just pause the game.
just wouldn't get out of the grass. Three out of fifteen. One fifth of the way done, everybody. And this is how an eight hour game turns into a nine hour game. Oh, they're like right behind me. Maybe I just slow down a little bit before that. go. The gap is opening. Dude, still couldn't do that. Close to the inside. Alright, we're getting this one this time though. Oh no. Wasn't ready for that. What a turn. What a turn. Did this guy learn how to play? Oh no, someone's right behind me. Dang. My amazing 
driving. It wasn't amazing enough. Got to do better in that, that last third. I thought I was really far ahead a lap ago. Oh my god, we're not even halfway. <laughs> yeah. Beats. Beats moving beats. Yo, I we could use some new beats for sure. Right now we're listening to this one song on repeat for a half an hour. How you doing, Beats? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Oh, oh wait, it didn't work. Authentication ticket had expired. It's funny because I almost checked that before I started streaming and I was like, that's eh, probably fine. nice yeah like he I don't know exactly what's going on on Friday I also I don't know if Josh would go just because he works and I don't know because also because of his job I don't know if he wants to like be around that many people but as of now I'm, I was still planning on doing my 12 hour stream on Friday, but I could do it Saturday. And then go to MAP for a bit. This guy is way too close to me after all this time. I do not like it. Like, 
Like you'd think if I'm just slightly gaining on him every lap, I'd be decently ahead. But that is not what's happening. Actually, yeah, my laps have gotten worse. I think my best one was two minutes. So yeah, actually, I've been doing a little worse. Gotta step it up. Got a lot better that turn. JP, you see how many freaking laps I gotta do, man? Yeah, guys, so close. No way. Like, I have pretty bad final lap chokesies. This would just. It needs to not be here. <laughs> Final lap chokesies on a 15 lap race. Please no. Just, like have not gotten better at that stretch. Yo, Scar, what's up, dude? Scar, do you remember that fighting game I played, Flying Dragon, or one of the guys had 11 health bars? This is the racing game version of that. Oh my God, it's just right there. Yeah, dude, 15. It's the fi it's like the final invitational. So yeah, they just, it's one race and it's 15 laps. No, no. Instead of, you know, whatever. That, like uh, the last circuit I did was four races and they were four laps each, or five. So this is actually shorter when you think of it that way. Recovery, me. Let's, let's open that gap back up. Let's open that gap back up. 
That's not how we do it. All right, yeah, that was a, that was a really bad mistake. Can't be making that. Yeah, dude, I am freaking out. Because, like, that one mistake. I mean, you've seen how, how this game works, man. That one mistake could cost me this entire freaking 15 lap race. That would, oh, God. Soul crushing is what it would be. Soul rushing. Just not paying attention there. We recovered. That was weird. Dude, that was like my best lap in a while. That was a fear lap. That lap was fear. Yeah, like I get the idea, right? Instead of having like, like a legit final circuit, it's like, let's just have one huge race, yeah. Like I get, I, I could see having that conversation. But 15 laps, a half an hour long, that's that's a little much. I think they may they may have overdone it. And it's not even like it's a unique track, right? This is a track that I've played a bunch of times. So that, another missed opportunity for sure. No, 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 no. Yeah, out of there. Jesus. It's a freaking game, man. Oh yeah, definitely lazy. Definitely. It just sucks that this one car is like glued to me.
Actually, that's probably the best of her taking that turn. Oh, but then. Then I forget what I'm doing there. Wasn't great, but we made it. Oh, can you imagine speed running this? Like this track is the one you want the record on, and you just have to do 15 laps like perfectly <laughs> in a row. I guess we'll see what we get after this race, too. Damn, that guy's still right there. Last lap was decent, also, 202. There's no, there's no two minute lap. Need like a 159 is really open up a gap. Ooh, that really well. All it took is 12 laps. Finally get that turn. Dude, all these like little adjustments I have to make while skating. You guys can't see it because uh, I don't have a an input viewer. But it's like I have to keep changing the direction the tires are in to like maintain the skid and then not spin out and then maintain and then not spin out. It's like kind of like actual driving. Let's see, that was a two minute, two minute lap. Not this one. Yikes. That last, that last lap was good. If we can turn this one into like a 202, that'd be good. And then we'll, the last lap will bust it for a 159. All that worrying will have been for nothing. Slow down there to make sure I didn't spin out. That's that's the real enemy, right? If I like do a 180 and I have to recover, because now I don't have a lap to play with anymore. This is it. Here we go. 
Final lap chokesies. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. Making mistakes I haven't made in 20 minutes. Person's not that far away. Wow, I really did have to use the brakes there. No. Dude, we're trying, we're trying so hard to throw it. We're trying so hard to throw it right now. Yo, I will look and see who you are as soon as I can. Thank you so much for the host for the raid. We are on lap freaking 15 of this race. And we are, we are throwing it. We are throwing it. People of Earth, give me your energy. <laughs> we can do it. We're so close. The finish line's right there. Yes. guy next door what's up thank you so much man oh guys uh, guy next door is another member of the 8th there we go thanks so much for uh, coming through oh and he's got the dragon for the dragon ball oh, yes yes half an hour that race took a half an hour Rank 16, continue. Hold on. Hold on. Man, didn't even get a new music track for this. Oh, hell yeah, Mega Man 4. Mega Man 4 or Mega Man X4? Both are good. Winner! Oh, NES, nice, nice. Congratulations, you are the GT2 World Driver Champion. A whole new challenge waits for you. So I guess I'm not done. No. There are no credits. Does anyone know if you get credits for uh, finishing GT1? But yeah, I gotta, dude, I gotta keep playing. Oh my god, I thought we would be done. I really did. I really did. This is gonna be like one of the longest games. All right, you gotta check out these new teams. Yo, I don't like that at all. No. No, these cars are so light. I don't think I like that. Wait, do I have to pick a new one? 
Can I just keep racing with the car I have? Super serious. Yeah, so, uh, Poacher, there's, there's no, there are no credits, but when you beat Invitational on, in GT1, uh, it says you finished the game. It says you have finished World Driver Championship. So unfortunately, dude, uh, as much as it pains me, I have to keep going. Wow, I was not expecting this. Mm. And it's five laps. Killing me. Killing me. I know, dude. Oh, man. This just kind of hurts my soul. This is when you all turn on me. This is when you all go, I'm not watching you anymore. <laughs> Sorry, man. You're about to play 10 more hours of the same racing game. Ah. And we were so close to Rugrats. And Bass Fisher and Mario Golf. Mario Golf's gonna be a long game, so at least we will finally have a, uh, a time where I'm playing a good game for a long time. Although Mario Golf can get pretty frustrating. So there, there will be some raging. <laughs> no, no, no. No editing. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, uh, guy next door, how many of you uh, race on Mondays? And how long have you been doing that? Oh, damn. All right, so qualifying is a waste of time. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip the qualifying races for the next couple tracks. Four to six people. Oh, nice. Do you do you like have it set up where everybody's um, game is being displayed, or do you got like you just do your own thing and then everyone's in like Discord? All right, what's that? Like? You have all of them showing your stream. That's sick, dude. My computer. Unless, I could probably do them all as browser sources. I could probably do that. As long as everyone is streaming, I could pull their Twitch channels as browser sources. Yeah, Slobs is... I hate Slobs, dude. 
it just never ran well for me. Yo, get off my butt. Sure, we still want to win if we can. I, I just blew by everyone at the start, so I thought I was in the clear, but apparently not. Sucks though, I'm not gonna get a new car for a while if I stick with this one. No, okay. Yo, that guy is crushing me. What? Yeah, one car is destroying everyone. Yeah, I have not. So I'm doing all the games in chronological order. So I just haven't gotten to Mega Man 64 yet. Uh, I've never played it. I really don't know anything about the game. Except that I'm sure it's nothing like a Mega Man game. Because that's what happened to 2D games in the 3D era. They were like, no, 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 we can't make it a 2D platformer with, you know, 3D graphics. It has to be a 3D adventure game. Ignore Mischief Makers. All right, Scar, man. I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. And trust me, I know that game. You try uploading a 27-hour ocarina run. faster. Okay, yeah, I knocked three seconds off my time. Jeez. Definitely. 
definitely could have been doing this better. Then somebody tried to get cute. Could have been somebody. I freaking had it, man. Gross. Lassiter. That's a lot of points I need. I don't think we've done Sydney before. I think this is a new track. Yo, look at this mini map. Oh, what the hell? No, not practice. Talking about practice?
feels like it's so much louder than today. Thank you so much, E-Pad. Appreciate it, man. Good stuff in the uh, the last remix tournament, also, man. Did you uh, did you sign up for February one? Better do it before your uh, your sub runs out. Your M2K sub. Oh, you just did today? Nice. First place. First place. Thank you so much, Ethan. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I think... Uh, uh, I was actually talking about Frame Perfect, the Mewtwo King tournament. Uh, since it's a sub-tournament, like, you know, you the way you enter is you sub to him. Well, they released the bracket for the next one. So if you're still subbed, you can sign up. Just trying to save everybody a little money so they can spend it on me. No. <laughs> Dude, what? Why are they so much faster? Calm down. Them all just being straight up faster than me doesn't feel very fair. Get out of my way. Yeah, M2K is great. Like, I get, I get both sides of it, right? Like, one, he really loves Smash. He really loves video games. Um, he puts a lot of time into them, um, blah, blah, blah. But I, and I also get that he's trying to make a living off of it. So he's, he's trying to like find all the different ways he can make money and everything. I know that turns a lot of people off, but dude, he's trying to, he's trying to make it. Yo, Chris, what's up? Chris, uh, we discovered that we're not even halfway done with the game, so, yep. Unless I can beat the second half faster than the first half. Which would be pretty great. And yeah, that is what it is, right? Like. Uh, it's for me. It was weird because the 64 community, I guess, just isn't familiar with sub tournaments like that. Is a pretty popular thing in the ultimate community, or at least it was. Because um, you had guys like like Nairo and Fatality and uh, Maester and MK Leo. Like, everybody had a sub-tournament weekly at one point uh, last year. And it became, like, pretty oversaturated, so a lot of them switched from weeklies to bi-weeklies or to monthlies, or they just stopped doing them. But there were a lot of them for a while. Like, if you were a really good online Ultimate player, you could clean up. Like, that dude, Sonics, was just, like, winning them all. He, the dude would win, like, multiple tournaments a week. He's making money. Yeah, you, you gotta respect the hustle. Now, the only thing M2K does that, like, bugs me sometimes is when he posts videos in the community Facebook group that, like, nobody there really needs to see. Like, here are my thoughts on Bowser. It's like, uh, oh, man. We don't, we don't need that. He's not the only one that does that in that group, but it's like... 
I don't want to delete them because, like, I kind of look like a jerk if I do that. But it's like, this is not really... We don't, we don't need that here. I don't need to see somebody play the new remix character with their friend or their brother or whatever. And I don't need to hear a non-competitive 64 players thoughts on a new remix character. Like, that doesn't do anything for us. But most of the most of the people that play our game are casual players, so actually there probably are more people that want to see it than don't. So in the end, I lose. And my point of view doesn't matter. That's one thing I had to point out to the remix team a bunch, like early on, um, is that most of the people that play the game are casual players. So you can't like strictly cater to the competitive community. Sweetness! Thank you so much, man. The Drift King. Yeah, I've gotten a lot better at it. It was made easier by getting a better car, but I've definitely gotten better at it. Thank you so much for the sub, man. I really appreciate it. So I'm still trying to decide, guys, if I am going to do the 12-hour stream this upcoming Friday or Saturday. And originally, I was going to do Friday, but then I was like, like Saturday makes sense because more people are home and can like pop in and out all day, you know? So I might, I might do Saturday. And I also have like a meeting on Friday, so then I don't have to push the stream later. Yeah, a lot of people are home every day. I, I, I realize that, of course. But a lot of people are working again, or, or you know, in school or taking classes, you know, something, something like that. Okay, this guy is uh, persistent. Oh no! I knew that would happen eventually. I knew I'd take that turn too wide, and that was not as disastrous as I was envisioning it to be, so that's good. But easily my worst lap, except for maybe, the, except for the first one probably. But yeah, once you get a good car in this, you do a lot more like feathering, gas and brake to get like nice smooth turns and stuff like that. Ugh, couldn't get that one. Yo, Chimera, what's up, dude? Yeah, Chimera, you gotta tell me when the next uh, good summoning event is. I got a bunch of crystals to burn. I know there was an event this past weekend, but it didn't seem like a very good one. Alright, here we go. Home stretch. Home stretch, boys. We got the scary turn coming up. So we'll. Be extra careful. We have less scary turn. And punch it. Let's go first place. Ooh, oh. But uh, Swedish, thank you again for the sub. Really appreciate it. 
Wait, huh? What, what should there be more of, Chris Pringle? Say they pay for entry but didn't want to sub to a channel. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, sub turnies are, and it's not like the the people entering don't get anything. Like, it's a uh, like there's a pot, right? Like, the money is going into a pot. Like with Mewtwo King, like all these people are subbing, and he is giving away more money than, not necessarily more money than he's getting. I don't know. It's it's certainly comparable. Rome. Oh, we're in Rome. More 64 content. I uh, I do have plans for some more 64 content. So you'll see it when it comes out. I've got some ideas cooking. All right, we're playing. All right, we're going forwards, which is good. Not great, not great. Oh yeah, this stupid turn. Just forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, not just turnies. No, I'm not. I'm not talking. I'm actually not talking about the tournament. I've, I have said several times though that I, I I'm going to start having tournaments, but I'm not talking about that. I have other plans for content. Stuff, content that doesn't actually exist yet for our game, as far as I know. I can just take that at 100 now, that turn. Dude, I had to slow down so much for that turn. Uh, when I first started playing. I slow down here. Yeah, there are no character guides, right? It's kind of crazy. You gotta think though, like, what would you want in a character guide? Like, what would that table of contents look like? Cause you gotta start out with like basics. But how in depth would it go? Like, I, I don't know. Like if I if I made like an everything you need to know about Captain Falcon video, like what would be in that? You know, frame data of every every attack, basic combos, basic strategies. Do you even talk about like general tech or is it all character specific stuff? Like, and how, yeah, how in depth are you getting? Like, are we talking about like slanted stick jumps to platforms? Like, with, with, you know? So to like flesh it all out, it's like, it's uh, not necessarily a simple undertaking. Ooh. Oh, you made it look better. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I've definitely been there. It's like, I need to clean up this emote. It's, it's like pixels, you know? But when you know the problem is there, it, like you can't unsee it. And then you're like, well, if I see it, then how many of these other people know that there's a problem? 
I am proud of you, OG. Alright, we kind of crushed this lap. But we're in last. What? I thought we did so well. What was the qualifying time? I didn't even look. How are we so bad? <laughs> oh, man. That, see, like, that should be a clip. I need, I need to freaking clip my own stuff. Found out how to do transparency on your own. Good job. Oh, are there like good melee tutorials about characters? I legit assume that there actually was nothing like good or consistent. As far as character guides go. That's still bugging me. Oh, dude. Messed up. There's some really good character guides. Can you DM me one? I'd like to see how they're structured. I even cut the, you know, corner. Oh, no. Yeah, Facebook or, or Discord or whatever is fine. I feel like there's not a ton of good ultimate content like that. Maybe there is. Instead of like looking for actual good content like that for Ultimate, people would just like look up whatever is zero in a video on. You know, guys, guys like guys like M2K are the ones that would make like a real video, like talking about frame data and stuff. I was actually turning back around. Dude, I can't stand that crap. I'm so mad right now. So mad right now. That's cool that they're a good melee one. And yeah, I mean, we, we have like nothing, we have nothing as far as character guides go, and we just have like that one video series of advanced tips or whatever. That like Nate L or whoever made, who made those? Is that the name? Or am I getting it mixed up with someone else? What's my N64 setup? Uh, so I play on, I just play on a console. Uh, I'm using an EverDrive for many of the games. And 
I have the Ultra HDMI mod, which I got a long time ago now, years and years ago, um, outputting HDMI to a capture card. And the console is outputting its, its you know, native S-Video signal to my CRT. I've got a nice uh, Toshiba CRT on my desk. I like it. It's like a it's like a 20 22 incher that does um, component. So if I ever do like an RGB upgrade, I'll be able to uh, use component on this TV, which would be nice. Um, Ultra HDMI is like pretty dope. I don't know because I don't have another capture card to test this. I don't know if it's the HDMI mod that's giving me color issues or if it's my capture card because um, the colors just don't feel accurate on the capture. There's a green, like a green tint and I really can't get rid of it. So, um, I don't know. But Ultra HDMI is pretty sick. Although that was like, that was before RetroTank like existed. That I got the uh, Ultra HDMI. So, if I were doing it right now, I would definitely go RetroTank. <laughs> way cheaper. Um, I also have a Frame Meister that I got for uh, streaming Melee. Um, when I was, when I streamed that at a few events. Crap. And obviously I don't use it anymore. It's just collecting dust. Maybe someday it'll just be worth a lot of money and I'll be able to sell it. I mean, I guess it's already probably, it's like a $400 piece of equipment. So it ain't cheap. I almost got a free one. Oh, it was so close. Because the one I ordered, like, didn't, come in the mail and they were like okay we're sending you another one and then the original did show up they like both came at the same time and I like had to give one back I was like no they knew they knew I got it it couldn't be sneaky oh, they were so close So close here. Like, I might be able to, like, bust something right here. Nope, nope, nope. I hit that wall. Oh, but wait. But wait. But wait. No! Oh, wait, there's another lap. That wasn't, that wasn't the fifth lap. Oh. We're still in this. We just need to be safe. need to take it easy on these turns. Alright, good job. Dude, five laps is crazy. Not even, not even Super Mario Kart was that crazy. They did four. scary. I hit the back too hard. Thought I was going to spin. There it 
they like right on me? I just need to do this last, these last two turns decently. Like that, decent. Nothing crazy. All right, that wasn't decent. Woo! Look at that 146 there. Hell yeah. Keeping my rank up. Oh, nothing? Why is it so light? I'm scared of that. Like, is that even good? The Mystic. It must be good. I guess lighter is better. Answer. McLeod. Scorpion. That's what I'm using. Okay. I get it now. DM me on Discord. All right, thanks, man. All right, let's 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 check out one more. I don't like the sound of this. So are these just the same? Yeah. Same cups. Grand Town Gold Cup. Alright, let's try let's try the spider. I'm not excited for five freaking laps. I guess we'll just try qualifying. 136. I'm not going to get close to that. Okay. And then there's this big turn here. Alright, it's not going to be a good one. Considering we have like 10 seconds to finish. To get first. Woo! 
Ooh, yeah. Last. No, not replay. Yeah, they see like they correct so well. Right, where's that crazy time? Found it. All right, this is the first race. We're just going in. Stop. Try that again. Let's try that again. Same position, fifth. Famous Tucker cool guy. A moose. Oh, come on. Thanks for the follow, man. Trucker. Famous trucker. I'm glad such a famous, cool person to follow me. Dude, they are so far ahead. What? What? That turn, man. I just can't remember it. Yeah, this is, this is looking rough. Let's we'll see how this race goes. I might, I might call it tonight. This would be a good starting point next stream. Wow. 
you just can't catch a break. They are like a, a mile ahead. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? That's crazy. Meanwhile, I'm just battling these idiots. The, the loser pack. Dude, this is crazy. It's like they're taking a shortcut. They're so far ahead. Like we finally made that turn of that hitting wall. best lap by a lot. Yeah. It was. That wasn't great. And they're just as far ahead. Actually, First place is even farther ahead. Try taking a little less off of it this time. Grab a new car. 
wonder if it'll make a difference. That was rough. Oh, it's the bowing, the bowing mini map. since I played this course. Probably should have done the qualifier. The M2K remix. Yeah, so... So, M2K and Domo reached out to me and said they wanted to do... Uh, a remix tier list and if I would help. And I said, instead of getting me to help, what you should do is get Frey, Jaime, and Kiro in a room together and just talk about it and see what the three of them can come up with together. So they did that. So hopefully, it's interesting. I do know that there's gonna be, it won't necessarily, like the original characters won't necessarily be in the same order as they would be in the original game due to how, you know, how they play against the remix characters. As an example, I'm not saying this is how it's going to happen, but let's say Yoshi just dominates every remix character, but Kirby doesn't. Or maybe Kirby moves down and Yoshi moves up, like something like that. So it is something to consider uh, before people have like first reaction blow-ups. But yeah, so that's that's how uh, the tier list is made. It was made by those basically three people. Because obviously you can't put you can't put Kiro in a room alone with his own opinions, because then you just, you never know what is going to come out. I don't even know what's happening right now. I am 100% Pika's still the best with a gap. Like, Remix hasn't changed that. I mean, well, that's the thing. You have 
voices of reason in there, like Jaime and Frey, to like balance it out a little bit. So I'm very confident that Pika will still be the unanimous number one. I do think Wario is going to get put a little bit higher than he maybe deserves, but what you gonna do? Yeah, I'm just not playing this tracker at all. I might not get last, I might I might catch up by the end. One or two people. Oh yeah, the turn that I'm not supposed to bother trying to make. Forgot. Coming for you, people in last. First and last, uh, yeah, I agree. I don't think that really changes. I mean, that does depend on who you think is last. I think that's still decently debated. Like, I really think Last should be Luigi. Okay, most people, okay. Like, when you just look at, like, tournaments and stuff over the last couple of years, it's, it's gotta be. Oh, there's another lap, oh my god. Oh yeah, Lucas is still better than Luigi, I think. Even before the incoming buffs. Maybe. Oh, come on. Like, how does that, how does that interaction result in that? It just doesn't make any sense. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. That makes sense. Yep, yep, yep. Spoilers? I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't matter how much you buff Lucas. Better nerf Bowser recovery. Wow. 
why. What's so broken about it? The hitboxes aren't that crazy. I mean, yeah, it's sure they beat Falcon down air, but so does everything. It breaks the mold of other characters. How so? Please explain. Zero points. We're just gonna get this race over with and then stop. Damn, 10 hours. Oh, so you're saying it shouldn't go as far because he's a heavy? Yoshi's heavy, his recovery goes super far. Yeah, but his jump is, is, I mean, his jump is better than most characters' recoveries. Let's be, let's be real. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Dead. <laughs> Actually felt okay. familiar. Oh, yeah. This is the really short one. We've, we've been here once before. But we, we went the other way around. Yeah, wow. Okay. Just forgot about it. Yeah, so the thing about, like, you know, breaking... Jesus Christ. The thing about breaking the mold a little bit is if you don't, then you're just making more bad characters. So it's like, do you really want that? Do you want these new characters to still just be bad? Holy crap. Even when I win, I can't win. Jesus Christ, what a terrible game. Shit, 
Yeah, I mean, well, that you can you can get away with some things when you're also like the fastest character in the game and you combo to death off grab. Uh, I'll see which one I like. Sorry, Miguel. Miguel's a nice guy, though. All right, one super serious. Let's go in Spider Cup. How are you doing, Gio? I can't get over how <clears throat> ridiculous this whole situation is. Alright, he did not have a good two turns there. Oh yeah, Gia, there's no uh there's no like trick to getting a better start, is there? Like in other racing games. Just wanna make sure I'm not like missing out on something. I didn't think so.
Alright. Making moves. The only way is just to be better, yep. Yeah, I mean, a lot of racing games are like that. It's like, oh, you wanna, you wanna be it? Well, you just have to get better. This one, though, to be fair, you can advance quite a bit by just grinding lower level stuff and then getting a faster car. So you can kind of cheat the system a little bit, but I don't feel like spending the time required for that. All right, you know what, we're actually we're gonna start over. We're gonna try and get a better, uh, better qualifying spot. sucks is what? I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot. Twisted Edge. I, you know, I only played the game like that one time, so it's hard to remember the soundtrack. Um, and like this soundtrack is fine, but unfortunately it only has like two or three songs. So we are just kind of stuck listening to the same thing like forever. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Oh, oh, what's up Destry? Yeah, uh, this, this game's not great. I get the appeal. Not not my uh, not my kind of game, but I get it. It's like a decently technical uh, racing game. You know, at the higher difficulties. This guy's not letting me turn. I don't have a good feeling about this turn. All right, we did it. And then this freaking turn of death up here. I crush that qualifying lap.
Oh yeah, I mean the soundtrack definitely has that vibe to it. For sure. Oh yeah, yeah, you mean uh, by catch it's just you mean like rubber banding or something? Yeah, I don't think there really is. I think like these guys are set to kind of get a certain time and if left to their own devices, that's what they'll get. like a good time. They're still just gaining on me. Catching this one guy. He's like, crap, that guy learned how to drive. Never mind, I just humped right into a wall for no reason. Yeah, this is a sad boy stream. How's it going, Chris? Oh, dude. Last lap, my turn was so much better. Look at first and second, man. that one turned down now, so that's good. And then we're still forgetting this turn exists. Like, you, it just spirals out of control. Like, this game is so stupid with stuff like this. So obviously, we're not getting second or first. 
So he's got to hold on to third here. Yeah, that one part, we definitely got that part down. And then, yeah, we just forget about this turn every time. Uh, excuse me. I need a Super Saiyan. Why is it not working? I will fix. Unless I do that. Nope, even if I do that. Yeah, dude, I think you got scammed. Big scam. <laughs> he just didn't like Chris Kringles? Dude, what's going on with the internet? Dude, it's just you, Chris. It's <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, no, I think it. I think it worked streetwise, but I think it got like confused. I had studio mode up for a second. There you go, Chris. Yeah, it's so weird. <clears throat> How you doing, Zinthus? Yeah, it, it can't like combine things. I don't. It, it it can only like, you know, be part of a queue. Yeah, 
there's that one crazy tank right here where we just say screw it and slam it over. Probably pay attention there. Alright, we got one forty seven. Feel good about that. Yeah, qualifying is 146. Sweet. So we can beat that. What am I doing? I do hate this game sometimes. Oh, this is race two out of three. It's not race one. They all barely slowed down for that thing. System is rigged against you. Yeah, it must be. That's kind of crazy. I wonder why Twitch would do such a thing. It's because you went Pika in the uh, remix tournament. is just getting you back.
catch these guys. Alright, second. Alright, second. I don't know if we can do first. First one's pretty out there. Should have played Kirby. Yeah, yeah, Kirby did off. Quapples had been there. Could have had some Kirby dittos. We need quaffles and sombrero. Thank you so much, man. Hope you're doing all right. Enjoying the sweet tunes of uh, World Driver Championship. You were right there. Oh, CTG. Oh, hey, man. Uh, so I looked up the hype train stuff. Uh, the way it works is uh, it's a certain number of events, individual events, within a five-minute period, right? So I have mine set to three, so it's very easy to trigger. Um, but that's how, that's how it works. It's uh, individual events within five minutes, and an individual event is a sub, a gift sub, or a cheer of at least 100 bits. Like, in Defa just sub, so if, like, two people cheered 100 bits, then it would trigger a hype train. And I believe in Defa would be the conductor since he started it. I think that's how it all works. And I stopped paying attention for a second. CTG, you should have spent all your all your sub all your sub money on GameStop. Could have had could have turned into so many more subs. Known that the memers would take over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these guys, uh, me and my brothers know, are like millionaires now. <laughs> It's crazy.
Let's go. Um, M MT, I'm not, it's unclear whether or not it can be from one person. I mean, if anyone has 300 bits, they could test it right now and just do three 100 bit cheers. But like, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, no pole bonus for this. Uh, which track is this? Black Forest, Arkansas. R? Arkansas? No, the R is reverse and the A is, I don't know. The A is A, normal. It's the baby track. It's Baby Park. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, he's doing it. He's testing it. Oh, I guess not. I guess not. I guess not. Big sad. No, no solo hype train. Yeah, yeah, has many. You just did a fourth one and a fifth one just for fun. Yeah, yeah, has many. Has did forty two. Yeah, yeah, has many. Oh, I can't even do the gift sub with freaking. <coughs> With uh, whatever it's called, quest mode. Sorry, CTG. We'll make it happen on Saturday. JP will get in there. Someone else will get in there. It'll be it'll be easy. I probably uh, I probably have watched enough ads on the. Uh, on the, the league Twitch to get a hundred, uh, a hundred bits. <laughs> I'll cheer myself. second. Saturday is the 12 hour stream MCW where I'm playing a whole bunch of ROM hacks. Including Smash Remix. I will play Remix. Save him, Chris. Save him. Until we can guarantee the train. Oh, come on, guys! Freaking garbage game, man. There's not, there's not that much time to, like, catch up to people on this course. The laps are so short. I don't know if I can do it. I, I definitely, and I haven't like mastered the turns or anything. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this out and then restart. Jesus Christ. What's wrong with this game? Twenty-four hour stream goal. Twenty-four hour stream would be pretty crazy. 
I have to like kind of decide how I want to run that. Like, do I want to do? See, if I if I like was doing this challenge where I, I could like cherry pick which games I want to play, then a 20, 24 hour stream could be cool because I could just see like how many of these games can I beat in 24 hours. But if I just go with what I'm on, it might suck. could like kind of plan it around when I'm on a decent game so at least I could beat like one good game. It would be cool to do the 24 hour stream when I have like Gone of Legends or something up. So like, I'll have people over. All right, we're on the fifth lap now. Restart race. Yeah, and for uh, on Saturday, I'll be playing remix, so we'll see. We'll see who wants to play. Probably try and get you know a few different people to uh, swing by. No, no, no. Majora's Mask, yeah. Playing one game for 24 hours though, especially a game I've never played before, might be a little rough. Uh, just because if I like hit a wall, I won't be able to like sleep on it and, and come back, you know, like when I'm feeling better. I'll just keep slamming my head against the wall. Like, I did Ocarina in 27 hours. Who, who knows, like, if I would have beaten it quicker or if it would have taken longer if I had done tried doing it, like, all in one stream. Hard to say. Getting that like recharge of just going to sleep and coming back the next day, it's definitely helped me a few times. Especially on like some of the puzzle games or whatever. Some of the racing games too. Yeah, it would be guaranteed a good game. And there was there would definitely be some backseating. People can't help themselves. I, 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 I noticed that with uh, Ocarina. People could not help themselves. Holy crap. 
It's like spoiling spoiling a net play tournament, man. Can I get out in front? Yeah. What am I doing? Dude, why do I hate this track so much? I'm using all my restarts. Now that I know they I have restarts. Alright, so that didn't work. It's like we trolled that one guy. <laughs> they got wrecked. OG, what's up, dude? Hope you are well. At least you don't have to play this game. Nice to get second. This track is absolutely no fun allowed. the whole thing. Probably gonna get second now. Oh, there's another lap! Dead. <laughs> Five laps is too many, man. I 
don't think any amount of powering up is going to change uh, the outcome of this race. Well, I could restart. Could restart. Yeah, the game physics are really rough, uh, Gio. Really rough. Uh-uh-uh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh-uh-uh. Like, I just want to run into the wall. Just let me do it, you stupid, stupid game. Just, it's just insane. I just wanted to do that. Like, just let me do that. Garbage game. See, here I go. As long as I can deal with this beginning part. Which is a little, a little tricky. Got that. Do that. And then you just keep going. Let me just do this a few more times. They're all right there, though. Like, the second I make any mistake, I'm. That was, that should have been bad. That should have been bad. They're coming for me. They're coming for me. Alright, one more time. I can't. Stop that. That scared me. That was loud. <laughs> Come on. I just need to limp to the finish line. Yeah. Yeah. Eighth reset is the charm. <laughs> oh man, that sucked. Woo. Yeah. Thirteen. I'm gonna 
new car? Ooh, yes. Alright, let's see. Ah, uh, the game does last in this game. Alright, let's look at Nevo. Nevo? Nevo. Five laps is too much. Dude, Chris, you weren't here for the, uh, the 15 lapper. Irish pride. Yeah, so the, uh, the, like, final invitational of the first half of this game... Uh, it was one race and it was 15 laps long. It took a half an hour. <laughs> yes, JFC is correct. Like in the here, like now it's five laps, four tracks. So I, I do. 20 laps, and then there's the qualifier, like, and then I generally have to, like, practice for a lap because I haven't seen the course before. Yeah, it's, it, this is, this game is no joke as far as just how much there is. fast here. Oh. I was like, the road keeps going straight but the mini-map. The mini-map has a turn. Yeah, yeah, all the all the cars are based in real ones. I figured that much. 
Uh, so, it's an okay game. I'm really not a fan of some of the physics. But, the, like, overall concept of the game, like, okay, cool. Um, you know, you're like this guy and you're hopping from team to team, competing, whatever. Uh, the graphics are pretty good. The soundtrack would be good if they had more than like one song. Like, they're off to a good start. And then they just stopped making music. I'm not sure which character from this game needs to be in Smash Remix, though. That's the real question. Because all these teams, you know, they, have, they all have owners. Some of them are maybe interesting. Hard to say, though. Who's the Captain Falcon? I don't know if they're... Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll go with the American team owner. I think that's... He, he's, he's, got, he's pretty interesting. I think he's like a former actor, like former movie star that just got into racing and like started his own team. So at least he's like interesting. Forget his name. Oh, man. <laughs> no, see, I don't know. The April Fool's thing. I had, man, I had, I had some really good ideas. I can't think of them off the top of my head. There's a secret card named the Falcon Interceptor, but it needs 100%. Oh, okay. That's the car I need when I when I go back and do my uh, my 100% speed run. The Falcon Interceptor. Also, I don't like that I can't uh, zoom out. This is like my only camera angle, except for first person. And I usually like playing racing games uh, a little zoomed out. Yeah, we just need a Remus character for every game. There needs to be 296 characters in Smash Remus. Dude, what the actual hell is wrong with this game? 
Oh, here, I'll find... Uh, how do I go back? There we go. It's this guy. Uh... This guy. Skip Keller. <laughs> no, going one has to play like a Falcon clone. No. It's like sometimes I can drive over the blue, the little blue like barrier thingy, and it's fine. And other times, it's a freaking disaster. Look at that, first place. I could race, you know, alone. Got that pole position. Dude, what? This game's so dumb. That's what I get for trying to read Chris Kringle's message. That like split second, I had one tire go in the snow. They all catch up to me. Or the one, the one catches up to me. And bumps me. Yeah, everybody passes me. All right, Goku. I see Goku and Smash. Yep, that's all we need.
Oh man, I got saved there. One sixty nine. That, we're actually not that far behind. It's just about finding the time, like where are we gonna make up? Because apparently on the straightaway, everyone's faster than us. Dude, that's just so annoying. Like, in a way, it's more annoying than getting hit with items. They, like, they write themselves so easily. So annoying. They're all right there. We saw two laps, jeez. It's so annoying, it's even like if I practice and I get it down, I can still just get like spun out by one of these idiots running into me.
<laughs> and Kid Goku and no Goku. No, you just like only add like kid trunks. Only chow suit. I was right there, I'm in front of him, he hits me, it sends me in the wall. Give me a <laughs> I just get a power up on every final lap. game <sighs> future trunks for the sword yeah This game might break me. I'm gonna be a different person after I finish this game. That's the thing, I will finish it, like, at some point. I'm just gonna hate, like, every minute of At second by point one three. Dumb game is dumb. Bird, come here. Yep. 
for it like that. Then I hit them and it puts me in a wall. I just want to feel like for two freaking seconds this game is fair and reasonable. It's just not. Yeah, it is, it's like, it is like my car is light compared to theirs, but it, that's been happening the whole time from like the very first car to now. The difference between when they hit me and when I hit them is just ridiculous. Small miracle, I didn't spin out there. Tried. They tried to do me dirty right there. There's a lot of speed in that turn. Or, you know, leading up to it.
Still couldn't get it. My laps keep getting better. But I guess so do theirs. But I cannot catch that person. Meanwhile, there's this whole freaking pack behind me. Person in first is just special. Oh my god, there's another lap after this. Felt like the final lap. Your biggest frustration, I just saw the word corrupt, so I'm assuming you're talking about the uh, controller pack. Yeah, that would piss me off. Because there is a lot of time that goes into this game. And you can't like, I don't know if you can restore it with like codes, if they're like cheats. But either way, oh, that'd be so annoying. Yeah, I mean, I basically, like, I have a memory card in this controller, and it just doesn't come out. I am way too scared of, like, yeah, corrupting the data. Never catch that car in first. It's pretty bad. Last lap. Yeah, true. At least with the emulator, yeah, it's way easier to save. Good call. All right, yeah, let's... Gotta just try and finish this circuit. This cup. 
get some more points, rank up, get a better car. Playing a lot of racing games at this point. So I'd like to think I'm not bad at them, but geez, this one is just.
just a weird stretch right there. Close again. Some intense uh, race. This new update just came out. What? Talking okay, about. No. Not a new version. Once again, first place. Way out there. At least compared to the rest of us.
end up facing that way. In what world does it make any sense? Chimera. That last restart. Yeah, I. Oh, the car in front of me like didn't even slow down. Just crushes that turn. Deal just played perfect the whole time.
pass on the outside. Yeah, first place just gets farther ahead because I keep slowing down. Oh my god. What is wrong with this game? Geo. I don't know, man. It's just so bad. Just so stupid and bad. I gotta finish it. If I don't get top three in the circuit, then it's like all for nothing. I need those points. These guys are right there. I don't think I can catch them. Yeah, it does. It looks like you are actually an insane person to enjoy playing.
Come on. Just garbage. Slap it. Dude, Gio, if you can beat this game, you can beat any game. <laughs> I'm confident. If you can beat this game, you have the skills and the patience to beat any game. At least any game that's on this list.
Yeah, the handling's taking a little getting used to. Holy crap, get off. So that's just that's just the thing. It doesn't matter which car I have. Alright, well that's good to know. Here, get some points. Yeah, well, I need a break. Yeah, I know, the issue is the AI crashing into me, for sure. For sure. It's like, and the fact that if I do make one mistake, then I just lose. So I just have to be perfect for, you know, five laps. I was seven seconds ahead here. Yeah, with no, I, with no mistake. Yeah, so I just, I, I just have to get better. Getting better takes time, though. Too much time. I want to win now. Rate we're going, this is gonna be like the longest game I ever played. I need the interceptor. Falcon interceptor. At least Falcon is S tier in this game.
Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is, like, if you know, people get this game, you expect it to last a while. So you make the you make it hard. And I get that. But it shouldn't be hard because of jank. Let's think that's why this game is hard. It's not because like Oh, the, the other cars are faster. It's just because, like, you have to be perfect. But a lot of people like games like that. I'm so much faster than them, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, the game's never going to end, Josh, because it's just so stupid. It's got, like, it's seriously going to take me forever. Like, now that the races are longer, it's just even more punishing because I have to not make a mistake for five laps in a row instead of three laps in a row. Like, I went back to an easier uh, circuit to farm some points. I'm like a mile ahead of everybody. So dumb. That's crazy, I don't have to slow down.
if I had played better, I probably could have lapped someone. That was Definitely, if I got in those minute 26 laps, Definitely would have laughed somewhere. Actually, the combo of winning and get, having the pole bonus is pretty nice. A lot of points. Oh yeah, we can stop that. Hey Sarah Cell. I can't believe this is going to be like a 20 hour game. Insane. I always say, man, racing games scare me the most. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is definitely gonna be the longest and most difficult racing game so far. The racing games in general, they're always the scariest for like a first time playthrough because they can be hard and you just have to like get good.
Maybe this one, this one car is really close to me. Back off, dude. Look at where our third place is. Why are you making this the thing? Yeah, I like I like Top Gear Rally. I did not like Top Gear Overdrive. Um, I got I get Top Gear Rally and Multi Racing Championship mixed up a little bit sometimes, but they I think I played them kind of close to each other. They're both pretty good. Top Gear Overdrive had a little too much, like, jank. So I wasn't a huge fan of it. Overdrive felt a lot more like a rush game, which I really don't like. Racing games with good controls and physics. Like, I'm not asking for much. Why I like the the racing games that I like. They're just more fun to play. Oh my god. Still two laps. You, oh, you like the overdrive soundtrack. We were not fans of it. Like, I like 90s rock as much as anybody, but it was not a good soundtrack. And the quality was just terrible. I think Top Gear Overdrive is a, an example of a game that I probably would, have, would, probably would have liked if I had like grown up playing it with other people. But playing against the computer in like the circuit mode sucked. That was when I was just like teleporting through the floor and stuff. Like, not good. Stone, yeah. <laughs> Happening. Get out of my way. 
Destruction Derby? Yeah, I, I have never played it. Hopefully it's fun. Yeah, I would hope you can destroy your opponents. Being able to destroy your opponents has made some of these racing games more tolerable. And easier. Like, that's how I beat at zero. Because whoever was, like, in second, I could just blow them up. And then I'd be, like, way in the lead. Yeah, I'll just imagine they're from it. <laughs> Dude, look at that second line. Yeah. Rank 12. No, oh, I don't want to practice. Yeah, Poger, it's rough, man. We started out pretty strong. You know, we picked a new car, beat a circuit, and then the next circuit, like, I was just getting stomped. Like, I would be qualifying first, first place, and then, like, the CPUs would just crash into me, and then I'd be in last place when I actually had the race. So it's like, I have the fastest times, but then they just knock me out. Yeah, like, the, the visuals in this game are actually pretty good. Like, they're really good for a racing game, but this, this era, like, this is good. It's just the physics of the game uh, are kind of driving me crazy. But if you get frustrated, you can always just do what I'm doing now, which is you go back to some of the easier circuits and you farm points and you rank up and then you uh, get new cars and then you're faster and better. And then it's easier to win. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing now, and hoping it works. Except I qualified in third. I did not qualify in first. Dang. Cruising USA style controls. I mean, the, the actual controls are, you know, the same. You, Choice to move A to accelerate, B to brake. It's the physics. Um, like when you, if you're in a turn and like one tire touches off road, you spin out and then you just lose. Um, if the other cars run into you, generally, it like you like spin out and you lose. So that is where I've been running into trouble. Once I get to the race with the other cars, um, problems arise. And Poser, it's funny, there's like a couple courses I played on tonight that had hills. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, a lot of these courses are flat. Like this snowy course I'll play on a little bit later. There's some hills. Oh my god, I can't believe it. 
Okay. So I gotta do five freaking laps of this. See now, like again, I'm doing an easier circuit, so I have there's no real like risk of me losing this, um, just because my car is so much faster. I was a little disappointed in qualifying first there. You get a nice uh, point bonus when you qualify first. Like if I mess up one of these turns and I end up in the dirt, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to do that. Yeah, has anyone in chat played uh, Rugrats Scavenger Hunt? I've heard it's uh, kind of like a board game, like Mario Party style. Like, do you play mini games like Mario Party? Okay. All right, maybe that's fun. I don't know, Mario Party took me forever because to beat it, I have to like win on every board and then I had to like farm stars forever. Because to unlock the final board, you had to like earn a certain number of stars. So I just had to go and I just had to keep playing over and over and over and farm stars. It's uh... Yeah, Mario Party's great, Gio, I agree. Um, my circle of people, we're, we're big fans of Mario Party 2. Um, I played a lot of 3 in college. Um, there are parts of each of them I like more than the other, but Mario Party 1 just isn't as good. Oh, whoops. He's driving in the dirt now. If you're driving straight, it's fine. It just, you just go as slow as anything. And yeah, of course, Mario Party is better with a bunch of people. Uh, when we played in college, we would turn it into a 2v2. So you would team up with someone, and uh, at the end, you would combine your stars and your coins, and one of the teams would win. So that, that made it a lot more interesting. And you didn't have to deal with drama, like, you know, one person getting totally screwed by, like, everyone stealing from them or something like that because there were teams, so you knew who you were stealing from every time. I think it's the best way to play Mario Party. Happen anyone this this race? This turn like destroyed me a lot of times because of that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Diddy Kong Racing is so good. I didn't play that as much um, with friends. I don't know why. Like, I played it a lot with, like, myself and, like, my brother and stuff. But I, I feel like that wasn't a game that we played that much. Pro probably because it's only two-player. So I didn't play it as much with uh, other people. Played a lot more four-player games. Like a bomber, like Bomberman and Goldeneye and Mario Kart. Oh, it's 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 pure, Fluffy. It's definitely pure. Pure crap. That's what this game is. Got him. How you doing, Fluffy? Welcome in. Oh yeah, it, it is. Uh, like, I mean, let's be real. The emulator looks a lot better most of the time. Like all these Smash Brothers tournaments we've been running. Oh man, it's so nice having them on emulator. Just, it looks so much better. Consistent frame rate, better, better graphics. Like it just looks better. But I do enjoy playing on a CRT. Some games on emulator are pretty whack if you don't have like just the right plug-in settings. They like weird errors. Like visual errors. Oh man, we are gonna lap someone. Yeah, right. Um, no, Poetry, that's not necessarily true. You can get a retro tank, which is, uh, a really good upscaler, like a line doubler that outputs great quality. Um, and um, if you're just concerned about your capture quality, if, if you want to play on like a monitor or something, um, actually RetroTink is good for that too. And the um, the uh, Super 64, the HDMI adapter, those are both good. Yes. Give me a better car. Let's go. All right, nothing new from Nevo. Oh yeah, we tried that one. We didn't like it. This is what we've been rocking. Oh, it's lighter. Okay. I was like, oh, excuse me. Acceleration down, what? But it's lighter. The McLeod! This, this has better handling. We have to go for it, even though the other one's called McLeod. Even though. That hurts. Um, That's weird, Gio. Uh, the first thing I ever used was an old Elgato when we did the uh, S-Video.
All right, let's let's go back to the endurance cup. Yeah, I know. Um, I know. Diddy Kong Racing had co-op mode with the uh, if you typed in was it Mirror Image, um, but it was, it was still only two player. But yeah, I've I've, I've played a lot of it. We got that handling, and it's lighter, which apparently is better. I mean, it makes sense. Holy crap, I feel fast. Here's some hills for you, Poger. job on this car keeps throwing me off because of the uh that like big orange triangle on the top i keep thinking it's like a like a marker like there's some marker on there like pointing oh baby this car can turn See, like, we qualified by a mile at first, but then, that's weird that it doesn't work. Uh, Elgato is not great. I am not a fan of Elgato. <laughs> Anyone that's uh, spent some time watching me knows I don't like them, because their stuff just, like, doesn't work sometimes. I don't know. I hate it. But yeah, it should work with RCA, but you need... I don't know, the Elgato we had, it just had um, the, like, 9-pin S-Video. So we had, like, a converter cable. I forgot what I was doing for a sec. But yeah, um, if you look up Retro Tank or... Um, or Super 64. Those are two products that will let you output HDMI. Um, so that might be easier to capture. Uh, the difference is the Super 64 plugs into the back of your console and then outputs HDMI. So the only thing you'll be able to get out of your console is HDMI. Um, but it, you don't have to like plug it into an outlet or anything. You just plug it in the back of your console, and boom, that's it. Um, but what that means is you then would have to split the HDMI signal out of the back if you wanted to capture it and like play it on a monitor. What the RetroTink lets you do is so you plug the RCA cables into the retro tank and then it outputs HDMI. So what this would let you do is split the RCA cables out of the back of the console instead of having to split HDMI. So it, it, a lot, it comes down to kind of personal preference. Also the retro tank requires an external power source. You do have to plug it into an outlet. So. It just depends on what you're trying to do and if you want to play on a CRT and that kind of stuff. Both are good products. 
So do, those are the two cheapest good options. There are other things that are cheaper, but are not good. So I would generally stay away from them. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, getting stuff for Brazil. That yeah, it's a good call. It's expensive. Um, but yeah, there there are other products that will convert. Like you said you have one that does only does 720, which I mean, if you're streaming and stuff, it's fine. You don't you don't need to upscale your uh, your N64 to 1080. Like, I'm only streaming at 720 anyway. Like, okay. Um, but yeah, a lot of it depends on if you want to play. So like if you want to play on the monitor, then some of those uh, cheaper products will introduce uh, a lot more delay and it makes it pretty not fun to play. But if you're only recording, if you're only using that connection to record stuff, then it's you know, whatever. Then delay isn't as important, but might be whack depending on how you're doing your audio. Dude, what am I doing? I'm just not even paying attention. Also, this car is legit. <laughs> this was a great decision. So, for those of you that weren't here, when I was playing this before, it was a serious struggle. So going back and farming those points to get a better car. Oh man. What a good move. It only, you know, took a half an hour. Well, that's what I get for talking. That's what I get. You know, dumb stuff like that. That was the kind of gap I opened up. Jeez. And that was a great example of why I don't really like this game. These little mistakes that end up just being brutal. World Driver Championship has a has a better punish game than uh, most Smash characters. But I'm confident we can still win. I just need these next two laps to not be bad. Just like a druid up. That was instant car though, dude. You haven't uh, you haven't seen me play enough racing games to know that uh, I definitely have that karma is very real and also um, I am significantly worse on the last lap. I'm like the most anti-clutch person sometimes. I've had some good moments, don't get me wrong. Man, have I botched it on lap three? A lot. Although now I guess it's lap five. Oh, freaking nose issue. Can't pause. Keep racing. How did I pause to scratch my nose?
snow. God, I'm, I'm driving so lazy now. Last lap, let's do this. Yeah, and some of these turns are so much easier with this car, too. I think cars don't take damage in this game because then this would just be like unplayable. <laughs> Yo, Hoger, that spin out was scary, man. Oh yeah, Gio, if you end up wanting the Super 64 instead of the uh, um, Retro Tank, uh, I think I have a like a discount link on if you scroll down. God, I can even do that turn. Woo. All right, I have to actually slow down. It's like a joke. seconds.
punch it. Uh, Geo, did you check out Extreme G yet? Wondering if you tried playing Extreme G yet, the racing game. Uh, it's one of my top recommendations for N64 racing games. Yeah, no problem. I was just asking because then we could talk about it. Uh, Star Wars Racer was okay. It was okay. Um, I kind of liked it. To win, I felt... I, I, I felt like, in the end, to win, you really had to, like, you had to know the shortcuts. Like, if I... If, if I didn't know the shortcuts, I would just, like, get crushed. Also, it, I, I didn't like the whole system where, like, you had certain parts that would, like, get destroyed, and then you would lose them, and then, like, you had to... I, I like, I didn't fully understand that whole system. Like, you bought upgrades, but then, like, they could fall apart, and you could lose them. Because at one point, I spent, like, all this money on, like, the best engine. And then it was just gone one, like, out of nowhere. So I really didn't like that. But overall, I thought it was, like, a pretty good racing game. I ended up liking it more than I thought I would.
need to get through that turn. This is only lap two. Killing me. Yeah, like, again, the, the music is fine, but it is the same music over and over. I don't know how many songs there are, but there can't be more than three. But it's fine. Tony Hawk menu music, yeah. I saw Tony Hawk tweeted out that uh, he did a 700 today, or 720 today for like the first time in years. He was like, it might be, might be the last one I ever do. It's like getting old. like, oh, well, my, my dislocated finger doesn't let me grip the board as well. Can't jump as high. Can't spin as fast. Like, or no, he can't spin as well. So he has to get more air than he used to. Uh, he's just like, yeah, dude, I don't know. It might be the last one. It's crazy to think about, like, as an athlete, it's like, oh yeah, that's, he's thinking back like, what was the last 900 he did? You know, what was the last of this trick he did? But at some point he's gonna hit all of those. It's like, oh, all right, that was the last 720. This is the last 540. This is the last hand plant. Uh, the most ex the most expensive N64 game I own, uh, Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. It's, you can see it in the camera on top of my Super Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, but, I mean, it's the same in any sport, though. Like, you look back, at least, but, like, your last whatever is probably all just going to be in your last season. I mean, Tony Hawk retired a long time ago. 
from competition. So everything he's doing is just for fun. But it would be like a football player or like a baseball player or something, you know, like this is the last time I ever hit a home run anywhere, you know? Like this is the last time I throw a football. This is the last time I could throw the ball for you. What the hell is this car doing right next to me? Bro. I'm supposed to win this, don't you know? Oh, I might, I might have to ignore chat until this race is over. I didn't know they were so close. Actually, just this stretch right here. You gotta be careful. Easy to lose control. There we go. That was the scariest part, but there's still room to screw up. Always, always room to screw up. Confirm we are on the last lap. Almost there, almost there. Hell yeah. Let's go. Favre probably still could throw it deep, but like after that one really good throw, his arm is probably shot. I mean, probably the same with baseball players, right? Like, they might have, like, one or two good throws left in, like, the day or the week or whatever, and then it's like, yeah, it hurts. I'm done. <laughs> I mean, look at Drew Brees, right? He probably has, like one, like, one good throw in him, like, early on in a game. Which version of this Lisbon A? Okay. Might not have thrown a 40 yard pass this season. I bet he did. I bet he did. You're going to look that up now, though. <laughs> that would be pretty impressive if he didn't throw one. I would be surprised if he did not throw one. Oh, this is A. Okay. This is. Oh, right. Because we had been doing this course backwards the last time we played it. Just got so used to that. I forgot that this was actually the right way. Plus visuals. There's some more hills for you, Poger. First place. <laughs> I knew you would. You couldn't you couldn't resist a good stat. Whoa, did I did that just say 141.99? How? 59? Can't say 99. I feel like I just qualified by a hundredth of a second, though. Or got first by a hundredth of a second. Let's go. Oh, come on. 
Dude. See, like that. Stuff like that is why this game is jank. Time trials? I got time trials down. But then the actual race comes and the computers are like, get off my lawn. And they just bully me. And crap like that happens. Alright, if all this room to catch up. He threw at least one for 52 yards. Yeah, but how much of that was in the air, right? Like an eight yard slant. And they just took it to the house. Top of a couple of those collisions. It's rare. We like it. Love to see it. Hug that inside. And then we pass on the outside. Get back in this race with good drive. Said good drive. Passing is so hard for me. It's easy for them. They just like tap me and send me the shadow roll. When I when I actually get a good hit on them, I can't capitalize off of it. By that stretch there. Huge. All right, that was bad. Four. 
Two more. Let's go. Oh yeah, I know, man. I know. It's okay though. Gotta open up that gap. on the lap there. I like going this direction. I don't really like going the other direction as much. There are a couple turns going the other way that are just harder. More annoying. This way. Just destroyed it. Look how easy it seemed. Yeah, yeah. Look at that last lap. Woo. Blistering. Country. We're up by 15. We don't need to win the next race. We just need to score one point. So that's good news. We're in Rome. All right. <laughs> Diamond hands. Yeah. Did you did you jump on this, uh, Mr. Hunk Melee? And if so, when? When did you jump on it? Two eighty. Okay. So you got in at like what, like middle of the, or early today? Four tickets to the Tendi store. I, dude, I love like how much of a freaking meme this all is. It's just too funny. To yesterday, to today, nice. Like, it's just so funny that, like, 
this hedge fund is losing billions of dollars and a bunch of nerds on Reddit are literally making millions. Are you, uh, are you gonna get in on any of these other ones that people think might be next? Like the AMC or Blackberry or whatever? Yeah. AMC's tempting, right? It just, it's, it's such a bummer to like, it was like five bucks the other day. You really could have, yeah, I mean, you, you would have like quadrupled your money today. It would have been nice to dump like a grand into AMC and come out of the day, easy five grand. Could lose a thousand tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, you really could lose like a big chunk uh, in the next couple days if things don't play out the way people, the way some people are predicting. Or it could play out the way. Some people are predicting, and on Monday, you'll make thousands. Just gotta hold strong. A lot of people are like, it can hit 5,000 on Monday. It's like, what? Actually insane. nice because I get more points, but I don't need to win this race. There. Yeah, I mean, the power of internet memes apparently is very real. It has won elections. It has destroyed the hedge fund. <laughs> you do not want to mess with the internet and their memes. second place. Ooh. 
Yeah, slow down, so much. Yeah. There's another lap. Oh my god, how many times am I gonna do that? It's not three laps, it's five. You're probably till yeah yeah 69 420. Dude. I think that's like I mean that's when that's people's cutoff, right? There's so many people that are like it's like, when will you, when will you sell? It's like, if it gets here, definitely. I'll get another OP car after this. my car, eh? Let's see. Alright, so we're with Sage. Oh, this is just better. Yup. What color do we want? I like this one. Oh, what a nice guy. Couldn't resist, eh? Where 
Where'd the audio go? Is there usually not audio there? Oh my god, we've only beaten three cups. Driver's challenge. Oh, it's so many. So many. We go ring of fire. Yo, HRG, what's up, man? Yeah, Gio, finally. Progress. How you doing, HRG? How's life in Final Fantasy been treating you? Not a thing. It feels good to, you know, not be getting anything sometimes. I feel like lately, a lot of people are kind of tired of not doing anything. I'm a big fan. But I know it's not for everyone. We're doing this course backwards. Oh, dude, this car's in seventh gear. God, we could have been in first. Yeah, Gio, you helped. You definitely helped. Um, I wouldn't have like. It would have taken me a little bit longer to realize I need to use the new cars, even though the stats are worse. I would have been like farming points to get the. Yeah, it would have sucked. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, they're all like, they're like based on real cars, but they're not. Yeah, I guess if you're really into cars, there's going to be like specific things that you will notice about each one. If you're part of the, uh, the pro racing Brazilian community like Gio, you know. Yeah, wasn't it actually, isn't there a game, a racing game that got a Brazil exclusive release or something like that? Yeah, I'm really beating every game. I'm halfway done. Well, this game is halfway. And since I'm halfway done with this game, then I guess I'm like really halfway done. But no, this is this is game 148 out of 296. So after I beat it, I will have beaten half of the games. It'll be a good feeling. Ass. won't blow out my ears and yours uh yeah so there are there are some games that don't have an end like arcade games um but with an arcade game you can at least do something like beat the high score right um there's a casino game golden nugget 64 you just gamble there's no there's no end to it um so i just played every table game and won at least one hand. You know, like, I won at least one bet in all the games. Like, you could set other, like, crazy goals for yourself in it, like, uh, make a certain amount of money or whatever, but that would just be, that would ju be just as arbitrary. There's no beating that game. It's, like, literally endless. 
I guess at some point you make so much money that the game stops counting that high. But and then um, I don't know much about Harvest Moon, but apparently that one is a little weird as far as having an end. But there are speed runs of it, so there are like certain milestones that people consider close enough to an end to count it for a speed run. What am I doing? Oh. Yeah, the ones that really don't have like a, an end that you can see that you can like, I guess would be some of these arcade games, but again, you just beat the high score and then any like reasonable person would probably agree that yeah you need the game. Uh, like Wet Tricks, Wet Tricks had challenge mode, so I did that. Sports games, you know, they have like a championship at the end, some kind of postseason, some kind of tournament. Uh, except for NBA Hang Time, which just has like arcade mode. So what I did there, because uh, if you play arcade mode, it'll it'll go until you beat every team once, right? Like once you've beaten every team, then there's like some like super all-star team that unlocks and you beat them and then it's like, you know, you beat the game. Um, I'm trying to think of any other weird ones we've come across. I think that's pretty much it so far. Yeah, I don't know much about Harvest Moon. I would have to look up the speedrun to see like what they consider you know, being This is only the first race of this cup. We got three more after it. front wheel on the sidewalk there, I thought it was going to spin out.
just garbage. Just garbage. Like, I finally didn't put my back wheels in the dirt there. And it just ruined everything. Alright, and it should be able to still get set. like right there too. But I know I'm not gonna be able to make up that much because I need those stuff like that. So I'll get second. Yeah, I mean, Paper Mario and Ogre Battle are definitely gonna take some time. Like, RPGs are gonna take a while. That is to be expected, though. Definitely to be expected. See. I haven't played this track in a while. Yeah, I've, I've never played or watched Paper Mario, so that'll, it'll all be totally new for me, which should be pretty fun. Like, I love Mario RPG, so I'm assuming I'll, I'll at least like this game. I've heard it's similar. the time now. Oh, 
whole lot of spots for me to like lose a ton of traction and spin out. Like there are walls that I can run into, sure. Uh, do I know how to play chess? Yes, I know how. Um, I knew I know how to play chess well enough to beat like some of like when I was a teacher I could beat some of my you know students in high school. I mean to be fair I could beat all of them but they weren't like good. I'm I'm very much a novice. I don't really know like strategies or anything like that. And I know how to play the game. <laughs> Saw that Panda Global is having a, uh, a chess tournament. Take that, big chess. Oh no, that's not where I got my name from. Uh, Dark Horse is just like a. You know, it's a it's a sports term for like the the underdog. Someone unexpected that could you know win something. This section is such a troll, it like, looks like I have to make all these turns, but really I can like almost go straight through it. I have not played Destruction Derby yet. Um, if you type in exclamation mark progress, you can see all the games that I've played and all the games that I will play in what order. Because um, I'm going in chronological order. So I'll get there eventually. Thanks, Gio. But yeah, I'll, I'll get there eventually. Uh, you're the second person in this chat right now to ask about slash recommend Destruction Derby. Must be a popular one. I have never seen it or played it. this track with other cars and they like couldn't make some of these turns that I can make with this car going like twice as fast. The power creep is real. I think this is the first car where I've actually liked playing the game so far. Like it handles well enough that I, I like I like playing. There's still the whack physics where sometimes you just like completely lose control of the car. But this is the first time this is like I feel powerful now. Ooh, so close to hitting that wall. And that was 
That was some, that was some driving. That was some driving. Another lap to go. Oh, I don't actually have to win the last race. You just have to like podium. You just have to get top three. But I want to win. Make it that far, you know. All that time. So many races. Like, I wonder how many laps I will have driven at the end of this game. Practice laps, qualifying laps, restarts. It's insane. Not gonna lie, I hear this song in my head now. Like, walking around the house, taking a shower. Like, th I hear this music now. It is, it is burned into my brain. Yeah, I like this car a lot. Uh, this track is also pretty easy. This track's really easy to navigate, so not a whole lot of places for me to screw up. Oh, you were talking about Destruction Derby. Oh, okay. Dude, if I win, if, if I get first place in this cup, Ninth, rank nine. All right, it's a bold move. Picking qualifier first. I have not played this track yet today, but I do remember a lot of it. But there's going to be one section. I don't, know, I don't know which path we're going to take. And it's a scary section. I think we might be taking... Yep, yeah, alright. Taking an easy path.
Oh, we crushed it. All right. Easy, easy. Yeah, I, Meerkat, a lot of arcade racers look the same. I totally get where you're coming from. Uh, this game looks way better than Cruising USA, though. Way better. Like if you if you you, you got to side by side them, and you'll see like just a massive difference. SSD. They were sponsored by Solid State Drives all the way back in '99. Even that part is like a lot harder. Uh, it was a lot harder the last time we played this track. Just with whatever like, car we had. Uh, this is a very, yeah, this is probably one of the better performing racers. Like, it, it feels, you know, the visuals and everything feel good. They look good. There's not really any slowdown to speak of. They didn't go crazy with the, uh, the, like draw distance like it's 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 good um, the issue with this game comes with the physics and how punishing it is uh, sometimes like sometimes you hit like you hit another car and you just you just lose you know you, you spin around 180 degrees and that's it your race is over um, or you're going around a turn and you like hit a speck of grass or dirt and that's it, you, you spin out. Um, but it's also, it's taken a while to get to the point where like, I'm a lot more comfortable with the game because I got a good car. It's taken this long. Because um, that's, that's how the championship mode works is you, know, you rank, you, you race, you earn points, you rank up, and then you can get you know, a new car. Um, and yeah, it, it took it took a while. You can cheese it by like farming <clears throat> the easier circuits for points, but the easier circuits don't give you as many points. So blah blah blah. You get it. There have been moments where I absolutely hated this game, but. Getting, getting the better cars and everything, it just makes it so much more bearable. Yes, yeah, like real cars. That's the thing, like, even if you're not good, you can still unlock everything because you could just farm the easier cups. It'll just take a lot longer. Well, who knows? It might not take as much time as you getting good. Just depends on how good you are. Yeah, I mean, it's not like that structure is not bad design like it's good it's, it's especially good for the you know single player championship mode like because it's, it's it's supposed to be long it's not like mario kart you know like play a circuit you have three difficulties and that's it and then once you beat the first you know, you like play through all the circuits or whatever and you beat the invitational, then it's like, congratulations, you've unlocked part two. So I'm in part two right now.
My favorite N64 game is probably GoldenEye. I love GoldenEye. GoldenEye, Smash Brothers, Wave Race. Um, those are those are probably my top. They just won't ever really get old for me. Like the gameplay, the music, um, and it, like it's, I just really like those games. Um, yeah, I've only I've only played Ocarina of Time once. Uh, it was on stream. I can't like say it's one of my favorite games ever, but it was very good. It's a very good game. Um, I think it's hard to pick a game you didn't grow up with, like as your favorite. I don't know. Yeah, those, those are probably my favorite games. Uh, if you do exclamation progress and you pull up my uh, my doc, you can also see it has my recommendations for games. So you can see like which games I recommend the most to people. There are some games that like I really like, but I, I didn't. I still didn't like highly recommend them because. I just, I don't think, like, everybody needs to play, you know, like, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Like, I love it, and, like, Killer Instinct Gold, but, like, I don't think everyone needs to play those games. But some of them, I do. Uh, oh, you, you you like the N64 one better than the GameCube one? I actually, it's funny, for as much as I loved Wave Race, did not get the one on GameCube. Never, I've never played it. Blue Storm. Sometimes the sequel just didn't do it, even on the same console. Like, Extreme G, love that game. But the sequel, didn't like it. They changed some of the things that made it made the original good, and then they made added some things that made it worse. Night remaster, yeah, that would be sick. Well, I mean, the Perfect Dark remaster, they like just announced that, right? That's like a brand new thing. Not sub eight reset. You shut up. No, I'm excited on Saturday for the 12 hour stream playing uh, Goldfinger and Spy Who Loved Me because those are like Gold Knight remakes. So that should be pretty fun. Black Forest. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I know what you mean. Um, I, I would love to see it. Uh, and someone was making it. I don't know if you if you knew about the uh, oh crap. What was it called? Goldeneye Forever or something. I don't remember what it was called, but someone was working. They were building the entire thing in Unreal Engine, and it looked fantastic. Uh, but they got they got DMCA. They they had they got cease and desist. Got DMCA. 
Uh, they got they got served with the cease and desist, so they they just changed it. They're still making the game, but they're changing the assets so it's not just like a complete copy. Start the qualifier. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're we're starting in last. Oh my god! Yeah, I just like don't even know where I am. Oh, this is that one that I was stuck on forever last time. Goldeneye 25. Yes, thank you. Goldeneye 25. Goldeneye 25. It looks so cool, man. And, and I had my name in it. <laughs> it was like uh, a certain number of people that responded fast enough. Um, you would put your name in Russian in the uh, the dossier that you get um, in the bunker two, two. But yeah, but yeah, it, it looks so great. But yeah, it's it is no longer Gold Knight Twenty Five. It's like Spies Never Die or something like that. That's like the project name. But it's just one guy doing everything except for the music. There was another guy doing the music. So yeah, pretty crazy. All right, so since I did not win all of the races up to this point, I actually didn't see the standings. So I'm not ahead by a minimum of 15. Crap, does anyone see the scores? This sucks, I have to like go slow. See like that. I am the only one that flips around. Everybody else is fine. And that is a huge reason why I don't really like this game. That crap. I do have one reset, so I'm gonna play this, learn the course a little bit better, and then we'll, we'll reset. Right, I have a reset? Yes. That's a big right turn. It's the dirt, man. Like, once you're in it, your car just, like, loses its freaking mind if you just touch it. It's so lame. See this part's easy. And you get this one crazy turn here. And this change. And yeah, 
turn's absurd. Alright, and you really can't touch that. Making slow turns. Alright, yeah, that one we're gonna have to figure out. Grass isn't as bad as dirt. Dirt is like, it might as well be ice. See, like, barely touch with my back wheel. The car loses its mind. Meerkat, you see Panda Global uh, stole your stole your thunder, man. Chess tournament. Steals your thunder. Oh, we can like actually make this turn in this car. Oh, but then yeah, we got some. your thumbnail idea? I mean, how many views does your video have? What are, what are the odds they actually found your video? I was like, yep. That's what I'm doing. Zero percent. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they were one of those 35. All right, let's see if we can get one good lap. All right, I don't really have to slow down in this first, like, third of the course. We're just chilling in seven. We can do this. Yeah, I mean, publish two subscribers and you have hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers. You'll get a lot of views in the first few minutes.
Stay on the road. Okay. All right. All right. He stayed on the road. He stayed on the road. He sacrificed a lot of speed. I feel like I hit them. I'm just boosting them. They never lose control. OP. So I'm winning by a minimum of 10 points right now. If I get third, I'll get seven. All right, I need at least third, I think, to guarantee I win. Because I don't know what the standings are. a bad move on my part. Probably should have paid attention to that. No! Spin out. See what I mean? It's like actually insane. Even when I win, I can't win. Save that. Yeah, pretty sure third place would guarantee a win for me. But I'm about a mile behind third place. So it is not looking good for our hero to guarantee victory. We are so far behind. Oh man. Okay, if I had just played like that, it would have been fine. That's all I had to do. Car, you can do it. Hmm. 
No! Dude, that is so lame. I did not touch that dirt. I was actually gaining ground, too. Felt like I could have made a play in third. Not now, though. Now, there would have to be some catastrophic failure. It's okay, like, second place. I still get points and everything. It just sucks that I spent this much time on it and I didn't get it. Because I got freaking second in the first race. And I could have just redone it. Like Plaza's engine sounds like there's someone close by. There's actually no one. All right, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, everybody. Yeah, building an audience is hard. Trust me, I, I know. Yeah, of course. Of course. They were the ones. It's so annoying. Sorry, we still we still ranked up. It's still progress. Let's check it out. All right, so this one. Oh, okay, this one's just better. Just better. All right, yeah, it's getting late. I think that's gonna be my last one. Let's go see. See. I think we stick with this car. Silver. We'll get some practice in. Gotta make sure we remember how to play the game. Yo, what's up, man? Doing okay, it's, uh, it's been a while. I got a little busy after the 12 hour stream. I haven't been back and this stuff. Uh, 
back. <laughs> yeah, it's not like that. Oh, it's so much faster. Dude, it's so whack. try and like slide into them on the side. I had it, I had it. It's gonna be good. Maybe. Alright, that worked out. 
extra help. down a hundred miles an hour it's still a bit Yeah, it's a shame that like, you know, I was doing the ROM hack stream on my last stream, but like, ROM hack racing games, it's like not that interesting because it's usually just, oh, they added some new tracks, you know? Like, the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z cart is pretty fun, and then they just released uh, a new version of Mario Kart and up. Which looks pretty good. But yeah, it's still, it's still just a few tracks. It's not like other ROM hacks, but there's like a whole new story. Like all this stuff. It's a racing game. You can't change that much about it. And still have it the same game. Back tires caught that snow for a second. Yeah, Gio, I think I think I think you got this one. This car is just too good. That and I like kinda of learned how to play. not be a fun YouTube watch. <laughs> Gotta have some masochistic viewers that go back and watch this whole video. The races are so long. Five laps. I mean, it's no 15. Damn. Oh, you know what? I, I know. I know what this is. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. It should be normal now. Um, I forgot during my last stream I was getting a, uh, like a buzzing. And so I turned on the, uh, the noise suppression filter. But I can't use that filter when I'm playing console. Um, so now there might still be that buzzing. I can't tell because I have the game audio on.
Yeah, yeah, with that filter on, the game audio sounds like it's like underwater or something. It's weird. Thank you for telling me. I would have never... Just like I drew it. Just like I drew it. Hurt. For a second, I thought it was gonna like perfectly spin me the right way, and then it was just like, no, here. Curved being curved, yeah, right? Sometimes the blue ones are okay. And sometimes they are dead. And yeah, I'm not I'm not worried. I would have to like have my most colossal screw up. Go straight to qualify. Damn the pole bonus. Easy.
fantastic. Pass on the outside. Don't push me. So many laps to go. Oh yeah, dude, I messed them up on that turn. Nice. I finally won one of those. such a big hill. I don't have to break that much there because it slows me down just going up the hill. I think that's the move instead of slowing down. <laughs> That's thing, even though like I'm winning these races, I mean winning them faster is still better. Oh. So much for that. Got a little got a little excited on that turn. Lots 
Back about the streamer, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, geez, that one lap, man. 20 seconds. Messed up. Oh, of course, we're losing now. Yeah, this game, man, this game. Still qualifying first. Wake you up when you get the rug rat. Yeah. Even if I like keep winning, I still don't think we'll get the rug rats. And I think that there's like this game just takes that long. Like it's just long. You know, when when a when a cup has five tracks in it, each track is five laps and each lap is 40. Like, 
gonna be a minute. And then you get to the Invitational and it's 15 laps. Yeah, I mean, I want to finish this just because, like, being stuck on any one game for a long time is kind of rough. At least this is the easy version where I don't have to deal with that long turn. I mean, even if like, I'm having fun being stuck on one game for a long time, it's, yeah, it's kind of rough. Because it'll usually get tedious. You know, like, yeah, Mario Party's fun, but having to play it for 20 hours is not the best. Because it, it was just really repetitive. As opposed to, like, Ocarina taking you know, 27 hours, where it was like, at least there was new stuff happening all the time because you're like going to do templates and that kind of stuff. It's a racing game. Even if it wasn't like this and I was getting like new tracks all the time, it's still not but This is like the same five tracks, really just like reversed, mirrored, like Slightly different path here or there, like an A version and a B version. Definitely not much going on. Damn, that really didn't do anything. It's alright though, we got time. Thread the needle and not hit one of those cars at a weird angle and set me straight. How are you doing, Chris Kringle? so much smash stuff lately. It's driving me crazy. I just I want the new I want a new remix patch so bad. Soon. Yeah dude I'm a bully. That's that stuff.
Actually, sometimes you have to turn right right there. That turn sucks. Fourth lap, and I'm so gonna be fifth. <laughs> You exclusive access. Wait, Chris Green, are you not a playtester? Oh, I, I thought I assumed you were. You're not important, dude. There, trust me, it's not about being important. There are there are playtesters in the group that are people I've never heard of that are not really like in the community per se, but they'll just like grind dumb stuff and like find a bunch of bugs and like ends up being helpful. And then there are a bunch of playtesters that just don't do anything. But like, you know, if you were to tell Frey like, hey, I'd like to be a playtester, like I'm down to like, sit there and grind stuff and look for bugs for you guys and that kind of stuff, and you were actually going to do it, then they'd be happy to give it to you. Yeah, it's not really my thing either, but um, I have gotten really interested in like frame data. I tweeted out, I, I've spent more time in training mode in the last week than I have like in my entire life. And it was just doing like frame counting and stuff. It wasn't, it's not like I'm out there doing combos. And yeah, and it's not even like playtesting isn't even about grinding in training mode. Sometimes it's like we need to like we need people to play with CPUs and items on on this stage and like that kind of stuff. Cuz you're just trying to find crashes. Right? Like that's that's what a lot of the testing comes down to is just trying to find crashes. You know, it's like, "Oh, when Kirby absorbs this person and uses their power, it crashes." Like, <laughs> or when this character uses this item, like, this happens. Like, it's, it's about, like, finding weird stuff like that. And the only, like, the only realistic way we're going to find stuff like that is if we have a, a bunch of people just doing whatever. Oh, 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 we go this way. That's There are a ton of bugs that people have found that I would have never found. <laughs> Just because of the interactions that cause them. So 
Because like when I'm testing, I'm so focused on like a few things that I'll forget like, oh yeah, I need to test like these characters and this interaction. Get CPUs in there. Oh yeah, I gotta play one player mode. Like I, there are all these things I forget about. I will say that the next patch is seriously going to like, just play it. I'm so excited. Yeah, that part sucks. I guess we did it better than all that, so. Oh, man. I wonder if anybody played any of the uh, Rob Hatch on Saturday. I was bored today. I went back and did a few more levels of, uh, Star Fox Survival. I want to see what happens when you beat it. Or when you get to 31. Oh, dude, we are just absolutely crushing everything. But even still, like, yeah, we're beating everybody, but the laps are still two minutes. The race is still five laps. Just, you're, you're gonna be here for a Waka Flaka, what is up? It has been a while. How are you? Yeah, five laps is crazy. Like, it's so much. I mean, even if it was just four. But five, I mean, we're getting close to, like, double the amount of time we're used to for a race. Can't wait for the 15-lap uh, invitation. Although this one's probably going to be more. It's going to be like 20. One race, 20 laps. Zero fun. New PC works boring. I mean, at least half of that is okay. <laughs> but I guess very rarely is work not boring. I've had times where I enjoyed some work. But in the end, you do something long enough, it has some boring moments. Holy crap, I am that free. Feels like that. 
That's why I had to knock out all this frame data stuff quickly before I got sick of it. And then I have like a video series I'm working on too. That's gonna take a lot of time and effort because I'm gonna want it to look a certain way. In my head, it's all very simple. And actually, when it comes to editing the video, it's like there's so much stuff I can do. Like script writing, and then finding the footage, and then recording all the audio, and then finding all the right clips to overlay the audio on, putting it all together, cutting stuff. I'm so far ahead, I'm like not even paying that much attention to my driving. I'm just like, ah, alright, I'll run into a wall. It's good, because this is like one of the tougher courses, so having like this massive Try and get one good lap though. Bold strategy, not sucking. Okay, what's the uh, what's the new PC like? It doesn't, Josh. It never ends. It will, though. It, it will someday. It has to. Like, at least this circuit, we're just like way more overpowered than the other cars, so winning shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't know about the next one. I don't, I shouldn't have too many more to play. Because in 
part one, I didn't have to play every circuit to finish it. I just had to get to that Invitational Cup. And I didn't have to gold all of them either. I like silver one of them. So hopefully this is the same. Like I'm just so far ahead. this next race, but I, I have to like not get zero. Uh, do we even, yeah, all right, we'll still, we'll still do the qualifier, we'll still do it. Minute 48. We still want our points. And you never know, this course actually has messed me up before. Like a couple spots that can just really jack you up. Get on the road. Oh, we didn't get first. Dang it, it was all a waste of time. It was a waste of a minute and 48 seconds.
Sorry though, we got it. I think even being in six. Yo, Josh, is uh, is QR this weekend, or is it next week? I feel like it's gotta be next week, right? No one's, no one's talking about it today's it's Thursday. I like just thought about that. Uh, FPS is like 20, 20 something. Okay, as long as it's not this week, that's all I care. Because I haven't done enough promotion. Yeah, I feel bad. Yeah, it, if it was, I feel like I definitely would have said something. I would have known if it was this weekend. I just gotta make sure I post something. Poor Eddie, I feel like nobody pays attention to this post. I got, I got to figure out when we want to have our first online waterfall tournament. I'm thinking about it. So many matches wouldn't be stream. Ages are you gonna ban?
I see the person. But whatever. We win. We my first place. We won 45. 450,000. Bonus. My rank 8. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, I don't I don't think I like it. bad in this car. It's a lot easier to take some of these turns.
cover the room sometimes here. Yeah, uh, I, I like this car a lot it has because it has the really good handling. So I'll probably keep it. So yeah, the, until I get the next version of it. Because I, I don't really want to sacrifice like a point or two of handling for like one point of acceleration or something that guy wanted. Like obviously it's fast enough because a lot of those races I'm winning by like a mile. Yeah, I really I thought I'd be able to hit that car. Hey Gio, so do I have to do all of the cups, or will I unlock the, uh, you know, the Invitational or whatever, and then I can just beat that and then I win? <laughs> when do I win? question that matters, I guess. Yeah, Jello, it, it, it kind of is what I thought would happen, which was, uh, oh my god. Yeah, the game would get better once I got a better car. And I've been, like, you know, slowly upgrading the car as I've gone, and uh, it's become more and more tolerable, but the physics still bother me. Collisions with other cars, like the business there. 
Oh, man. Honestly, collisions with anything. Looks a little better than NASCAR 99. Yeah, that was not a, not a good one. The beginning of this game was rough, though. And, you know, the fact that we're still playing. Also rough. And the fact that we're going to be playing it for at least several more hours. Yeah, more control is... I mean, that's like what makes a racing game playable. Why Diddy Kong Racing is a better racing than the Mario Kart. What the fuck? Not the cleanest race ever, but it doesn't matter. So wait, am I just gonna be like rank one? But like when I finish? Hopefully, don't have that much more. Diddy Kong Racing is really good. Um, the controls in it can be very responsive. Um, but once you understand how to use them, I think it's a very good game. I mean, I still like Wave Race and Extreme Gen more as far as racing games. Probably like DKR more than I like F Zero. I think it just plays better. F Zero is cool though. Zero games do tend to be hard. Harder than they need to be, yeah, for sure. Uh, Rank one is only for the 100% and in the interceptor. Cool. No, I have to. All right. Wait, I have to unlock all the cups? I have to beat all the cubs. I'm guessing you mean I have to beat them all. 
That sucks, man. Yeah, we're gonna be here for hours. <laughs> Beat all to unlock. No. No. 24 hour racing game. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Sorry, some guys in uh, this like challenges Discord. They were talking about this bowling game on N64, like a Brunswick lane or something. Not Super Bowl, some other bowling game that like might not have a clear end. Or like trying to find what the actual end to the game is, like if you can unlock the credits or anything like that. Because apparently there's like a career mode, but it like doesn't keep track of anything. I don't know, it's, it's looking whack. I'm scared. Hey, slow bro. Geo, thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, I keep telling myself I'm gonna do some earlier streams, and then I just don't. I need to get it together. I think once I get the first one of these videos I'm working on done, I'll probably do some games. I was so close to doing one today. Yeah, there's some pretty brutal collisions. Uh, Jello, it's rough. And then they're like compounded if there's a CPU anywhere near me. Cause then like, as I'm trying to write myself, they'll just keep running into me. And it's just, it just cascades into like, oh dude, you're just so far behind. And like right now I can make up for it. Uh, just cause my car is just so good catch up to people, but uh, early on in the game, it was, it was rough. I was, uh, I was getting pretty good. Like, I can handle it if I'm just not that good. Like, I'm making a lot of mistakes, but if the game is punishing me like just so much more than I really should, I I'll get mad about that. I can just feel how much faster I am. A lot of these turns where I used to have to break, I like don't even have to. It's, it's, it's hard to stick up in the dirt. Yeah, yeah, closure. I kind of do. I'm like, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna stream today. Like, crap. Gotta play this game. 
Livy asked me, she's like, you streaming tonight? I was like, yeah. She's like, what, what are you playing? I was like, I'm still on the top Uh, it's just crazy. It's just so unfortunate, like how long some of these racing games are compared to like other genres. The racing games and the uh, the shooters have been just disproportionately long when compared with the number of games I've played. But I guess there are a lot of racing games. So racing, it's like. This one is a major outlier, though. The FPS games, though, take up like such a small percentage of the number of games, but a, a pretty good chunk of the amount of time I've spent playing. Just because of like the Torox and the Duke Nukem, and, like, some of them are just all. Uh, luckily, Quake is a uh, nice and easy four and a half hours one stream. Oh my god, I'm not even on the fifth lap. I thought it was done. It's killing me. Honestly, slower, I don't know. I think I think like a couple hours. Unfortunately. I have like a few more cups to beat, but the cups are just getting longer and longer. You know, right now it's like there are five courses in a cup and each course is five laps and you know, the laps are a minute and a half. <laughs> it just it all adds up so much. Yeah, full seasons in sports games would be freaking brutal for sure. Um, luckily I've I haven't had to do that. Um, hang time I had to play 31 games though. Um, I think the first Wayne Gretzky game, I did a, a, a half season for a short season. Um, but the other, these other sports games, you've been able to, like, you know, just play the World Series, or just play the playoffs, or just play the World Cup. So that's been pretty nice. Um, I have had to play full seasons in the football games. Most of them. Most of them? No, just just like a couple of them. Actually. Like Blitz. But those games are shorter, so it's fine. And I was like speedrunning that. That was pretty funny. Alright, you know what? I don't think it's worth it to go for the pole though. Do I just race? I think I just race. I start out and last. Just go. This track is kind of brutal, but it has a lot of turns that I think I can make them around. I think we're 
we're skipping qualifiers now. So that's one lap we get to knock off the features. And, some, and a little bit of menuing. We're, we're cutting down our, our time. Dude, imagine if I had to play full seasons in the baseball games. Especially games like uh, bottom of the night, where like I'm like struggling to score a run, and I had games going like the 20th inning. Like just when you think it's gonna stop spinning, it just goes like an extra 90 degrees. <laughs>
bloody long. And who knew I would just become a World Driver Championship streamer? Rocket League. Nice. I've never played it. I've watched, you know, bits and pieces of it. It's cool. It's a cool game. Yeah, no flipping. Now, if I were playing San Francisco Rush or Rush 2, you'd probably see some flipping. Yeah, sorry, bro. Please, let this be alive. <laughs> no, Chris, you have, you have to res respect the process, man. Got to beat all the games. Got to beat them in order. Default difficulty. I'm doing it. I got to actually beat them. Got to just beat half of it. Yeah, this game takes forever. It, like, I, I totally get it. I, I want it to end too. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Like, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Now. I mean, the cars in the next few cups would have to be so much better. I don't want them to be. I want it to still be easy. But right now we're just smoking. And it's great. It's so nice. I could have crashed there and been fine. That was so far ahead. pretty frustrating when you start playing Rocket League, it gets more fun than you get. Yeah, I mean, it seems like pretty fun to be, even if you're just starting out, but I, I could see it being frustrating if like, you know what you want to do and you just can't do it. We're just racing. Four or five. Uh, that was Top Gear Overdrive, or Kami. Oh, Kami. Dude, I was thinking about you. So, uh, in the first half of this game, right, the, the circuit that, that ended the first half of the game was a 15-lap race. Remind you of anything? I did not realize what course I was playing. I didn't catch up. <laughs> I knew you would remember. Luckily, I beat it on the first try and didn't have to redo it. But yeah, I was like, 
11 health bars, no. Dude, I, man, I haven't done this part backwards in a long time. Catching back up. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Good thing the cards don't take damage. Uh, it's such a lame mechanic. It's like it's not a fun mechanic in racing games. Like it's kind of funny in Rush, you know, your car just like explodes. But in the end, it's not fun. Like, if there are no weapons or anything like that, why is my car taking Okay, okay, that was good. Good hit. And then we just gotta catch this last person. Alright. And we have three freaking lives to do it. Yeah, car damage and an arcade racer. Like, what are you doing, man? Why? San Francisco rush, seriously. Why? I mean, it's in that game, it is kind of funny, though, because you're, like, flipping through the air and, like, doing all this crazy stuff. But it's like, you could just have that and not have the car blow up. It's fine. It's fine. Like it has that restart mechanic, you know, where if like your car's about to blow up or get stuck, you can just hit that button and it'll like respawn you. No, I forgot. No, come on, come on, go, go, go. We can get second here. It's not that big of a deal, but I'm, I'm trying to avoid like a catastrophe. hit that wall. That's thing, if I like hit a corner or something like that, sliding sideways, if I hit it just wrong, then it can spin me around. Oh, yeah, we, we're still going to catch this person. How you been, Connor? I feel like I haven't seen you in a while.
you hate paying us? Doing fine, that's good. Good to hear. We played some really cool ROM hacks uh, last Saturday. I don't know if you're, if you're into that. Some Ocarina ones, some Goldmine ones, some Mario, Banjo Kazooie. Nothing with 11 health bars, so. Not too bad. That was the last lap. I'm gonna be able to clutch this. Oh, not like that, though. I'd say there's that one turn that we probably could have. Are good man. You should uh, I obviously I would recommend any of the ones I played. They're all good. Really? The same person's been getting second the whole time. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do qualifier. Oh just need to Practice this one. This course is a little rough. Like, what is that freaking hairpin turn up there? Dirt, man, and it's just the freaking end of you. All right, so we got to practice. So hard to recover from that. Yeah, so you just, it is just a matter of slowing down at the corners, but it's like if um, if you are going through a turn and you have like any part of you like go in the dirt like this, you're just like totally screwed. You'll like spin around and then it's really hard to recover because you just your tires just spin. This is like my least favorite track out of all of them. So of course it's the last one here. And I like basically have to win. Yeah, the qualifying time is one third.
And then you have all these turns where you have to be really precise. And of course, the, like the other cars, the CPUs are going to be like bumping in here. So it's just a nightmare. See? Like you're going through a turn, and if, if you just like nick that uh, the dirt there. Yeah, I can practice. Nice. I just hate, I hate this course, man. It's so miserable. That turn. Let's see if we can get a good one. Why do you play more racing games? Just don't play this one. Probably a few racing games I would, I would say you should play over this one. Now, if you just want to play one racing game and be stuck on it forever, try and beat this one. No! Ow! Oh, hey! Rose, what's up? Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Welcome to my hell. Welcome to the hell that is World Driver Championship. <laughs> it is raid time. How are you? What are you streaming? I remember that turn. But again, like doing this with the other cars is gonna suck. All right, all right, that was our best lap by a lot. All right, let's try it. Uh, it goes okay. It goes okay, Rose. Uh, it, it could be better. We could be playing a different game. <laughs> 
but um, this is what we got. This is what we have to beat, so. We're doing it. Oh yeah, it's starting last. I was an idiot and I don't want to qualify. So, for those of you that uh, don't know, I uh, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm beating every Nintendo 64 game. And I'm going in chronological order, and right now, this is the game. World Driver Championship. It is, uh, it's a grind and a half. It is not a short game. But we're getting there. I see... I see the light at the end of the tunnel. No. Uh, but... It's, it's tough. And right now, I'm on the last race in this circuit. And this, this course is difficult. That's all what they were playing. Like, you have to be playing. That's how the screen works. Dude, how, how did this fly by? See, it's annoying because if the car that's in second place in the circuit right now, wins this race and I get second, we'll be tied in points. Don't worry about that. Uh, we'll be tied in points, but they will win. It's done. Stardew Valley, nice. Never got into it. Not really my... League of Legends? Sweet. Oh man, I only have one restart. Sucks. This this course, I can't just abuse the fact that my car is really good. Yeah. How are these?
I need to just drive straight here while they're here. Okay. Yeah, wow, alright, I'm not gonna win this circuit. Straight up. I really needed to win that one race I got second in. Then, no matter what, no matter what, I'd be uh, 15 points ahead of the person in second. So I would just need to not get last. That was what I needed to do. And I thought I would. On the bright side, there is. The crazy thing is, I'm catching up. Or I was. Yeah, just straight to the wall there and then take that. Alright. So I guess I am doing those parts decently when I, you know, hit them. When I actually do what I'm trying to do. But now that I'm catching up with other cars, it's probably going to be like, they bump into you. Knock into the dirt and then I lose. That was a little scary. Wow, yeah, everyone just has to slow down. like a mile ahead and it's gonna be that one that one guy so even though even if I like get myself into second place here I'm still gonna lose doing it right now. Hey, Kami, whatever it takes, man. What? 
whatever it takes. But we're not doing that job. They would have to like make some mistake all by themselves. I don't think they do that. I'm still not hitting that, that qualifier time though. That 130 qualifier time. I'm still in these like low 130. Second place. Oh, hi Learner Gamer, what's up man? No more petting, yeah, Bert's behind me. So is. Bert's curled up behind me, so he's out on the couch. So you can't pet him. Oh wait, who won? Damn it, it was them. It's so lame, dude. Oh wait, no, I beat them. Oh, I thought, uh, I thought I was far enough ahead. Yay. I won. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> I guess I did need second. Hey, Sarah, so what's up? This is the best car. Uh, we'll see about that. I think I like my car the best. But we'll check. Is that victory? Yeah. Oh. Oh, actually, though. Actually, though, this car is totally better. Yeah. Yeah, sorry Boss Racing. Sorry America. We are totally selling out. Is that Toasty. Sorry, Stan. Stan McCammon. Very unprofessional. Yeah, I can't flip the car in this game. Plenty of other games. Alright. Grand challenge. What's the grand Oh god, it's six tracks. Let's see what happens if I just see. Dude, <laughs> what a straightaway. Oh no, come on. Man. This all would have been fine. 
but this game just had to go and decide to be this game. Uh, Sarasol, how are you, mate? Oh yeah, because we spun around. Forgot about that. The DNC car. Okay, just drive as fast as you can into the wall. Yeah, you just slam in a wall 200 miles an hour. It's totally Dude, I remember uh, that Mythbusters where they slammed the car into a wall at 100. Holy crap. That is an impact. Like, the entire front half of the car disintegrated. It just disappeared. It ceased to exist. If like that's what happened to a car going 100, I cannot imagine what it would look like at like 150.
see what let's see what speed we can hit. Go car go. Seven. Pretty good. What's up, Mike? Yeah, the game looks good, right? It's a good looking game. Uh, but then you play it and you're like. I will admit, though, like, you know, for a kid, I think, like, growing up with this game, there's a lot of content for you. Like, this game will take you a long time to beat. So that's good. Uh, the, it's, the physics are, are kind of annoying. Um, they're very, very punishing. So like, you could, you know, if you're going through a turn and like your front or your back end, just like clips a little bit of like some dirt or snow or something like that, you could just like spin out and then you like lose the race. <laughs> like this, like one tiny thing. So it, it definitely had some very frustrating moments. But uh, once you get a decent car, I mean, the game handles well, looks good. Like overall, I mean, it's you know a pretty good game. Parts of the physics just like really annoying me though. I'm also someone that's trying to beat it as like fast as possible. Not someone that's like spending our formative years playing it. You know, like playing it with friends and all that stuff. Uh, the er beginning of this game was rough though, when we like didn't have any good cars yet. Like it was just it was hard to play. Because like turning and everything was just so much harder. Oh, it was rough. But now that I've like gotten some good cars, it's uh, a lot more tolerable. Yeah, if you, uh, if you look at that timer down below, you can see how long I've been playing this game. Definitely put some time into it. Uh, but the reason I'm playing it is because I'm beating every N64 game. And uh, here we are at game number 148. We thought passing the halfway mark would be easy. Then we got this game. 16 freaking hours. Uh, RR64. Road Rash. No, I've not played Road Rash. Um, I played Top Gear Rally and Top Gear Overdrive, but not Top Gear Rally 2. I liked Top Gear Rally. That was. That was one of the racing games that were that was new to me that I, I think I liked. That and uh, Multi Racing Championship were like pretty solid. Uh, Top Gear Overdrive I did not like. Um, it's not. Good. Yeah, 16 hours just on this dude. The uh, you know like the championship mode is no. A 50 lap race. Get the hell out of here, Tommy. We don't want to hear that. <laughs> we thought 11 health bars was bad. Oh, Ridge Racer. Ridge Ridge Racer. Okay, I have not played it. I have not played it. Uh, if you type exclamation mark progress, uh, Mike, you'll be able to see uh, what games I've played and what order I'm playing them in, so you'll actually be able to check uh, when it's coming up. Because uh, yeah, it might be coming up soon. I honestly don't know. Ridge Racer is not one I've been uh, 
not what I've had my eye on. I know coming up relatively soon is like Gauntlet Legends and Battle Tanks and Shadow Man and Mario Golf. Like, I'm pretty pumped. We got some good ones coming up for sure. You just never know how long one of these is. Shadow Man and Mario Golf are, are examples of games that I, I like that are actually going to take a while. So that's that's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, so like Top Gear Overdrive, I think was probably a game that was fun um, if you played with other people. But playing by yourself in like the the, the championship mode was really was it got pretty frustrating. Um, and by the end, your car was actually so fast that you would just like glitch through the ground sometimes. Like... Resident Evil 2 is definitely gonna take a minute because I have never played it. So, I like don't know where to go. Yeah, I think a lot of people are, are kind of excited for me because I, uh, you know, I get to play it for the first time. Um, but playing the, like games like that for the first time can be kind of rough because you never know when you're just going to get stuck trying to like find this one thing or figure out what to do next. It can be kind of oh crap! It can be kind of frustrating. I knew there'd be like some fork in the room with that, but I didn't even know about. Guys, right, so you gotta stay outside on that thing. Alright, outside, outside. So, yeah, like all these courses have like the forward version, the reverse version, and then they also have slightly different routes sometimes. So there's like an A and a B version, and sometimes even a C version, I think. So really, they take like one course and they make it six. There's a lot of recycled content in this game. It's also only like two songs on the soundtrack. That's a little rough. Holy crap. Dude, these qualifiers are, are getting bad. Quite a bit skipping. Uh, Overdrive had the hot dog car, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I unlocked that, like, near the end. Overdrive soundtrack was something else, man. Like, it could have been good, but the like the audio quality was really bad. And I mean, the music was whatever. It was like crappy '90s rock. There's a lot of good. That was nice. Some streamer posted about like their neighbor blasting like terrible 90s punk rock and I was like, hey, who was it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, the band is okay, but the quality of the, the music because of the compression is really bad. That's why uh, 
Top Gear Overdrive is the only one on the list of my top worst sound worst soundtracks so far. Because like even if another soundtrack was bad, it didn't bother me as much as that that one. Like the soundtrack in this game is like objectively not good because it's like two songs. It's like come on guys. You have hours and hours and hours of content. You have, se I mean, several. You have like six different tracks, not counting variations. You gotta, how do you not at least have a song for each one, right? But they don't. Toaster quality. Kami, were you, were you around for the uh, Top Gear Overdrive playthrough? That was a while ago. Mike, you're right. Like, definitely uh, something that gets a little slept on is how many good racing games are on this console. Like, this game is not... It's not that bad now that I've gotten good cars. And it looks good. Uh, it handles pretty well. Like, it's not bad. But then you have, like, you know, the real... I'm not paying attention you have like, you know, the, the, the Diddy Kong Racing, Extreme G, Wave Race, Mario Kart, f -Zero. Like, there are some good racing games. And then there are the arcade racers, like Top Gear Rally, like Multi Racing Championship. Um, even like, you know, some of those like Hot Wheels racing games, like Micro Machines, um, what is it, uh, Mickey's Speedway is supposed to be really good. I haven't played that one. Dude, I was so close to first place. I just like totally botched it. That one spot, I forgot. You like, you know where you're No. Yes, Diddy Kong Racing is better than Mario Kart. You are correct. That is the correct opinion. It is a better racing game. Mario Kart might be more fun on a casual level because the items and all that. And the uh, probably easier controls, I'd say. I'd say the game is easier to operate than Diddy Kong Racing. So I get the casual appeal. Uh, but did, did. And I, I mean, I think Wave Race and Extreme Gear are better than that. I think they're more fun. I think they're better games. Better racing games. I just I love how pure Wave Race is. Like, 
Cross it. Oh, it's just we are going to make some serious moves here. Oh, dude, we're so close. Can we squeak by? Had that. Dude, look at that one freaking lap, man. We had that one really bad lap. 0.04. Stupid Lassiter during the cloud. Oh, we're in Vegas now. He's uh, starting out in the last is really hurting us. But in the interest of time, we like stop doing practice laps and all that. We're just like kind of jumping around. Right I freaking knew it, man. I could see it on the mini map, but it's. This one's not as punishing when you like go off the road a little bit. So it's nice. Some of these other courses. Ooh. Anyone that came in with Rose in the rain saw that course. Oh. All right, all right. Seventh. It's not last, but it's not good. So, Mike, some of these, it's like easier and sometimes even faster to not and to just sling to the wall. Some of the hairpins I absolutely do. Like, I just, I have to slow down, you know, I gotta break and all that. Some of them, though, nah. You just slam it. Oh, yeah. See that, that, hit the dirt there. It's bad. But like these up here, these like perfect 90 degree turns coming up, it like, it works just as well as just the wall. Keep going.
And yeah, it's like when you hit another car, it's just, you just like flip a coin. Like sometimes you're gonna get a really favorable interaction and sometimes it's a disaster. <laughs> Gotta, just gotta roll the dice sometimes. You know. Yeah, this is pretty stereotypical, like, Vegas track. I totally hear you on that one. Who's that? I can't look. I can't look. Sega Nick, what's up? Yo, guys, Sega Nick is uh, another another guy from the Challenge Discord with, with other people doing uh, challenges like, like what I'm doing. Thank you, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Yeah, Nick, uh, what, what were you up to tonight? Were you able to make a dent in anything? Or are you struggling like the rest of us? Alright, so this time I don't need to say this one. Slowed down, we made the turn for once. And then we just need to make this turn. Woo! We did it. 
Hey, let's go. Virtual paint, paintball, or paintball, or pinball. <laughs> or a little bit of, a little bit of everything. Yo, Skid, what's up, dude? Pinball. <laughs> Probably feeling more like paintball. Dude, I had, there were a couple pinball games I played a lot of growing up. Oh my god, there's six races. There's six. I forgot. Um, let's see. One of them was Behind the Mask, like Super Pinball or something on Super Nintendo. That was a big one. And then the other one was Epic Pinball. PC. That one was pretty freaking cool. That was it, right, Josh? Epic pinball? If Josh is here, he'll, he'll, he'll. That was really fun. It had like all these different boards. Oh, 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 what's this version of the boards? All right, Nick, man. I'll catch you later. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. And yeah, I, I know how you feel with the 20-hour uh, the grinds. This game's going to be 20. It is a rough life we lead. Someone has to beat these games. Someone has to do it. Ah, see, there's some dirt. You gotta be careful. Hey. Alright, so we can second. Alright, hell yeah. Pinball behind the mask and epic. Yeah, okay. Yeah, behind the mask is no joke. That was a tough one to like beat. Cause you had to beat the first board and then the second, like you had the th there's three boards you had to beat consecutively, I guess to like beat the game. I beat it like once on emulator in college. It's like finally. I know on console growing up I got to the third one. I don't think I ever beat it. I remember what happened. a few years ago. Nice. Gotta look up a speed run. Yeah, I figured you could play around emulator. Since I probably never did. <laughs> Dude, uh, in college, uh, I, I left the console on for packing time. I was like, alright, you know what? I'm gonna beat packing time. 
So I played it for like, I don't know how many hours. I was at the Frisbee house. And uh, I got like farther than I ever remember getting. And then, uh, yeah, when I came back, something had, it had turned off. I was, I was big sad. I haven't played it since. CTG, what's up, man? You can't win! Yeah, you really can't. You really can't. Although, uh, uh, uh. this is definitely a track for me. Good track. Winning is very doable on this track. Yeah, that one, that one is just freaking miserable. I don't remember. You don't want to see me play that one, Mike, if you're a racing game enthusiast. No. Hard game indeed. This, pack and time, pinball behind the mask. They're all pretty hard. Yeah, I, I, I still, I, yeah, I haven't played it since, so I've actually never beaten Pack in Time. Not a bummer. The game's cool. I like it. It's just hard. Yeah, CG, you want you want a, a hard Super Nintendo game to play on screen that's really long and you probably won't end up beating? Pack in Time. It's Pac-Man, but it's a, a 3D or it's a 2D platformer. It's it's pretty fun. It's a game that's really long, like Zombies Ate My Neighbors, but it's not nearly as repetitive as that game. But I mean, my number one recommendation is still Legend of the Mystical Ninja if you have not played that one yet. I can't, I can't remember. Man, I love Super Nintendo. I'm doing the N64 challenge, but Super Nintendo is still my favorite. So I have to just live vicariously through CCG. He streams Super Nintendo. It's like saying he streams 16 bit. Although sometimes CTG loses his way and streams modern games. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, so you haven't played it yet. I know we've like talked about it. I just couldn't remember if you played it yet. Yeah, when you play it, hopefully I can come watch and backseat a little bit and save you some time. Because it is like an adventure game where you have you like you know you can like buy equipment and that kind of stuff. And it can be pretty rough if you don't just buy some of the right stuff early on. Or like farm money early on. Mystical Ninja. It's actually no way. Yeah, Dead by Daylight, Paul guy. And uh, the Fractured but Whole. That's acceptable. Acceptable modern game. No, 
No, no, no. No, no, no. We're not doing this on the last lap. You calm down. We're ahead by like a freaking mile. It's just Jesus. throwing it. Oh, yeah. I mean, the South Park games are great. Like, from what I saw of Fractured at all, of you playing, it looked great. Stick of Truth is amazing. Which one did you like more? Fractured or Stick of Truth? We are, we are trying to throw it. We are trying to throw it. Woo! Getting scary there. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, that was scary. All right, we up by at least 15. Yo, Nar, what's up, dude? All right, JP, I'll click it and look at it later. I love Wispy. Wispy is my friend. We're just going, man. We're just going. We're racing. Oh, it's freaking Zurich. Dude, this track sucks. My second least favorite track. Like, I, see, the thing is, if I hit retire, I don't know if that will disqualify me from the entire circuit or just this one race and just end the circuit. Because I'm up by enough right now, I don't need to earn any points. I'm up by 18. It's like I can get last and it wouldn't matter, you know? Uh, any date for the 24 hour? No, I gotta figure out a bunch of things. Um, it's not gonna be any time. It's not gonna be soon. I have some things that I need to prioritize ahead of that. I have like a bunch of videos I want to get done. Um, I have this controller for JP that I want to get done. Other stuff in life. And I, I want to, so I'm trying to decide what I want to do for the 24 hour. Like, it would be cool to have it for when I'm like, I have a bunch of uh, games that I know are gonna be like kind of short but good, and I can just beat them all. Like that would be cool. Um, also doing something like having it on a day where I have co-op games. So like, you know, Battle Tanks and Gauntlet Legends are back to back, and those are both co-op. So it'd be cool during the 24 hour stream, it's like, I'm doing some other stuff, and then like, Josh and Jared and like Mike come over and play Call of Legends and Battle Tanks, and then we beat them and then we leave, but then I keep streaming. Like that would be fun too. It's Santa. Oh, I love that I just don't care how I do in this race. It's so freeing. Can just play and talk and re chat. Ooh, 
What the heck? Did that guy just trolled me. That was messed up. He really just like pushed me out of the way. I was in like second at the time. I don't know. It's the death spiral of World Driver Championship. This one little thing happens and then you just can't recover. Because everybody runs into you. I'll have to look. It's like, I mean, hey, Mario Golf is coming up soon, and that could be a good, like, that could take me 24 hours. But I don't think I would want to try and beat it in one 24-hour stretch because that is a game that would definitely get more difficult as I get tired. Like, that's a game, like, you need to take breaks from. You need to be alert and awake and have good reaction time and all that. But Gauntlet Legends? Hell yeah, dude. That is like as mindless as it comes. No thinking required for Gauntlet Legends. No reactions necessary. No jank. You just, you basically can't lose that game if you're playing with a group of people. The only thing you can lose to is memory card corruption. badge forever. Because if someone else tries to start a hype train, you just won't control. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, no, no, I'll, I'll save this one. Gotta wait, gotta wait. I think, it, I think it goes to whoever starts it. I'm not sure. I did not look that one up. Watch some more. Watch some more ads on my channel. I'm gonna really get some bits. I haven't tried it in months. Damn, I'm in third. Well, okay. after that, that, that sequence. Oh crap. So yeah, sorry, no pet bird today. He hasn't he didn't feel well today. He's laying on the bed behind me instead of on the couch. He's sick for today. Lots of sleep. Dead. No, not dead. 
Don't screw your eyes, how you doing, man? Oh, the crash? Yeah, I, I, I don't bother trying to take that turn. It's not worth it. What? That was, that was dead. Whatever that just was. Yeah, I, I get it. I, I, I see the point. Whoa, that was like the best wall rebound of all time. What? That was great. All right, that was, that was awesome. I tried. I tried recreating the magic. It's okay, Street. They can't all be winners. Race is that long, like six races in one circuit, like one circuit's an hour, like, oh. Oh, that's only race five. Wait, no, how far, how, crap, how far ahead am I? Can someone go back and, and look, clip it real quick? How many points ahead am I? Oh wait, never mind, it's right there. I'm ahead. Ooh, I'm only ahead by 11? Oh no. All right. Dang it.
got to stick that earlier. We can do it. Good qualifying time. All right, all right, all right, all right. We can do this. And so I don't need to win, but I think second, I want to at least get second. I need to get second to guarantee. I don't. I'm not sure how many points third place gets. Actually, if they get at least five, I don't need that. I think we got this one. Should not be too tough. Yeah, starting on the first. Makes things easier. Trolling. feel comfortable and then like that 
this. No, stop that. Third's fine, I think I can do third. Dude! <laughs> Come on! having something happen that hasn't happened yet. It's always, it's always good. Classic. This has never happened before. Oh, 
Uh, 50. A lot. Rank six. Scorpion. Let's check it out. Oh, it's better! We switch. Sorry, dude. Hell yeah. Alright, um... I think I might be done for the night. Let's look at this. The Grand Challenge. Oh, that's what I did. I skipped to it. Oh, so I did have to do the Touring Cup. Dang. And yeah, that'll take like another hour. So yeah, we'll just, uh... We'll just stop. Sorry, we weren't sure. We gotta do it. race of the night. Just always feels wrong. Alright, that was a little different. I don't remember there being a wall there. Is 155. I feel like we can do that. I feel like the times here are usually faster than that. I guess not. Ten seconds left. Yeah, if I just hadn't screwed up that one turn, it would have been fine. Bang. Bye. 
Whoa. That was the luckiest bump. That was actually kind of crazy how lucky that was. I like forgot where I was for a second. I didn't realize I was all the way at the end. Dude, five laps is just way too many. <laughs> this is just out of hand. Yo, Ace, it's up. Yeah, thanks, man. I uh, can use all the luck I can get. This game just never ends. But at least we got to a point where I'm not, I'm not limited by the car anymore. I'm really just, I just gotta play. I'm not losing races because my car is slow, that's for sure. Or hard to handle or anything like that. No. Uh, one car's kind of close though. How are you doing, Ace? Gio, what's up, man? Yeah, I, I definitely, I like, I really see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's just, it's a, it's a long ways away. It's just, it's a nice straight path. Scar, what's up, man? Yeah, it's it's still happening, but we're getting there. My objective, so there's a there's a championship mode in this game, so I just, I have to I have to beat championship mode. Since there's not really another good option for like beating the game. Um, the thing is, champion mode is really long. And there are two parts to it. So like I beat the first part before I knew there was a second part. I was like, ah oh, sweet, I beat all the circuits. And then I was like, congratulations! Now you can play part two. So yeah, I mean that was a long time ago. Part two is much longer than part one because it's doing things like this, giving me a circuit with five tracks and each track is five laps. Like, criminal, criminal stuff. <laughs> Is 
surprise, yeah, the surprise part two is definitely a classic. Oh man. <laughs> My sweet 10 FPS gift. I don't know, the second half of the game is a lot easier than the first half, so at least there's that. It's just longer. It's probably gonna be like twice as long. Yeah, it's the only new one. I have like a couple ideas I want to work on, but I, I'm not going to mess with them until I think of an easier way of doing them. You can't keep getting away with it! You can't keep getting away with it! Dude, just like. The amount of time I had to spend on that gift, which, I mean, in the end, it wasn't that long, but I had to just keep looking at, you know, like the still images of Aaron Paul freaking out. And I was like, God, man, I, I really need to watch Breaking Bad again. <laughs> so I think, uh, I think I'm finally going to make Libby watch it. And that'll be like, the new show we watched together. Dude, come on, car. Yeah, I watched, um, like, the last few episodes. I think I watched the last three episodes before I watched El Camino. Oh, crap, I forgot where I was for a second. Almost screwed up my the good part of my race where I get a whole bunch of distance yeah I did not do a full season rewatch although I've probably watched season one like four times dude can you seriously on the last lap Like, what the hell was that? Y'all saw that, right? That was clear sabotage. And that was the worst turn I've made there. It's horrible. But yeah, I've seen the first season a few times because um, there would always be someone I would like get into the show and I'm like, oh, you gotta watch the show. And so I'd watch the first season with them. All right, I really can't screw up this last part. Freaking game keeping me honest through five laps. Woo. Woo. Dude, bad stuff does always happen on the last lap. Look at that crap, man. I thought I was done with that last screw up too. Hey Chimera, what's up man? New Zealand. Where's old Zealand? Where's the first Zealand? Yeah, just just for the excitement, right? Last lap excitement. Does anyone know about Zealand? Oh, 
like I get like New York, you know, York and New Mexico, Mexico. But where is Zealand? Nobody knows. Second, come on. No, nobody wants to view the replay. Come on. This course that much. The turns kind of mess me up. Five laps again, though. At least the laps are shorter. Just gonna miss it. So, the game soundtrack is okay, but there's only like three songs. Yeah. And you know, if this game were only a few hours long, it wouldn't have bothered us as much.
I mean, it's insane that they put this many tracks, like courses, into the game, and they didn't just give each one a song. Like, come on, man. Like, your budget for music is really this low. Dude, that turn was so hard, <laughs> like 10 hours ago. You do need to sit down and play Mario 64 or one of the uh, one of those hacks I played, Blast Impact or Star Road. Those are good. Yeah, last, like I only played them each for like an hour. And I was like, man, these are good. <laughs> was it last impact where you got like flood and like fireball and new power? They, they might both have that. I don't know. But yeah, they, they were good. I mean, I, I'd also like to revisit the, uh, the ocarina hacks. And the uh, and Jiggies of Time. Yeah, last time back. That was really cool. Alright, we're just slamming in the walls now because Wait, you mean you, you want to? You feel like you have to do 70 stars all at once? You can't like take a break. Oh man, well, it's been such a long course. I guess it's not that long. 135. Probably depends on which which version you get. We got the backwards version of it. But then it will see about like the alternate paths. See if I have to do that one super annoying turn. Wow, I 
can actually make that time now. That's crazy. Yeah, but Shadow Man was new and exciting. Yeah. Oh, Marcus is fun, man. Yeah, learning, uh, tr like checking out Last Impact would be pretty cool. Game sick. Luckily, the stretcher road with the lens layer is basically straight. Same thing when you play the track the other way. Yeah, this game is the literal halfway point, and it's like just trolling us so hard with how long it's taking. It's like, oh, you're almost halfway there? Haha, -ha, 20 hour racing game. Alright, gotta stop. Oh, that was only the second lap. So spread out. Dude, I would, that'd be great if I finished with it tonight. Um, I think I could, depending on how late I go.
but not really sure. It just feels so good to be done with this game. I just insist on getting so close to the grass there. Oh, nice. This is a lot more. Got two more. Well, the crucial part is winning this one and winning the next one so that I'm so far ahead, it doesn't matter. think there's a big turn there. Yeah, see, we're 15 ahead. So if we win this next one, then we'll be at least 20 ahead. Rome can be tricky. Yeah, slow down so much. Because you just 
Oh, it still wasn't enough! Come on! Alright, have a good night, Ace. Thanks for hanging out. Just refused to give us that, that pole bonus. At least these laps are short. Yeah, I slowed down too much here on the qualifier. Didn't need to. Got scared. Yeah, man, dealing with that turn. That dirt is scary. Next lap.
going for our, our fastest lap on this one. With our new top secret shortcut. We'll see. Yeah, like I, I, I don't, I don't know what happens if I hit retire. I don't know if it, I quit out of the whole circuit or if I just like give up on this race. I mean, that's like a decent time save. Almost like 10 minutes. fast. I'm too fast. Wait, it's only one more after this? And yeah, I'm not going to try, but like, it'd be really nice if I knew the answer. Oh, just like, okay, so just the Invitational. And the Invitational is going to be like 15 laps again, right? Or is it more? Because it's GC1. It'd be like 20 laps. I wonder which course it's going to be. I know which course I really don't want it to be. And 
And it's probably going to be that one I don't want it to be. I mean, there's a couple I'd like it to not be, but... There's one I really don't want it to be. I believe it's crap. I'm not even trying. Yeah, Geo, I got the, uh, I'm driving, like, the Scorpion Rank 3 now. This thing is insane. Oh, I do get a rank up after this, so I might get something better for the, uh, Invitational. Yeah, I mean, it, it, like, having the good car definitely helps. Like, I still have to not make mistakes and stuff, but it makes it a lot easier to not make mistakes. And some sometimes I've even been able to recover from mistakes because the cars are just so good. Oh yeah, like the the completely maxed out cars, yeah. At least it's not like some other racing games where it, like the best car is like too good. I gotta figure out what's up with these alerts. Thanks, Jared. Like something is just Horribly, horribly wrong. You got the whole song, but it was like jacked up. Yeah, I need to like set aside some time and just redo the alerts. I think I just need to like rebuild the widget. Or just, I might just uh, make it a Leorn board thing and not use a browser source. We'll see. Yeah, Jared, damn, I haven't, I, I haven't been on much in the last like week, but I need to just try and get a, get a few sales like that and then just chill. Like if I could make a couple mil, yeah, that'd be that'd be nice. Thing just relax. <laughs> oh, this guy's like right next to me. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I, I expect it to take a while. Re um. When you were when you were spamming, were you spamming like for any layer? And they just happen to want an eight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll take the macros, why not? I haven't tried doing like a straight solo carry in Torghast yet.
Yeah, it was easy. I didn't even want to win that. Didn't matter. Rank five. Alright, well... Let's check out the new Swiss car. Alright, so that's two. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. It's just better. The McLeod. Sorry, dude. I don't know if I like their attitude. Yeah, like Rogue is really powerful. I I agree. If your druid had the same gear, it might be a little different. But overall, I think Rogue is super good. Just because like you don't have to wait for uh, convoke and stuff like that. Oh yeah, single target is insane. Like, even when you consider things like Convoke. Grand Challenge? Wait, why didn't I get invited? Is it this one silver? Geo! No! Oh yeah, Josh, you, you, you should like record that. Oh, dude, we don't even know? No! Geo, we need to know. I need to do the ultimatum cup. I mean, there's only this one GT2 that I haven't done. Yeah, that's like a well-known streamer that does all rogue. What MMR are you guys running at? Gio, I'll let you do some research while I race. Sixteen, Ten rogues on Arathi has got to be the best. Have fun calling inks. Dude, these are five laps.
Yeah, minecart's probably pretty funny. Yeah, a Rathi or Deep Wind would just be so nice. And then, like, Seething Shore sounds miserable. But could be funny. Hopefully Geo is doing some research for us. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. We just need to know how to unlock the Invitational Cup for GT1, or GT2. Yo, Chris Kringle, what's up, man? Dude, we thought we were about to be done, and then we weren't. Go figure. Welcome to this game. <laughs> yeah, lean, lean back into it. Oh, crap, I wasn't looking. I want to beat it. I want to beat the game. Never give up. Trust your instincts. I just need someone to Google, like, how to unlock Invitational Cup in GT2 of World Driver Championship. Oh my god, it's so long. Flashing right on top of my car. I never noticed that. Damn, three out of five times, minecart madness, that sucks.
One more lap. I guess it's lap five. Yeah, I might lap someone. Pretty close. Ah oh, man, just couldn't get under control. That's enough. No laughing. In GT2, try to finish the first seven cups to advance to the invitation. What the heck? All the cups are required. Damn it. Poop. You can't keep getting away with it. You can't keep getting away with it. I should redo that audio and uh, try and cut out some of the background music.
background tones. This is the only cup I didn't beat, I think. Well, there's that one that I got second in on GT2. I mean, <coughs> I basically can't lose these. So at least this cup will be easy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to want to play it again. It's not that great of a game for me to be like, oh, yeah, I got to play some, some World Driver Championship again. Who knows, maybe, uh, maybe I'll bust it out one day if I want to, like, win some money off someone. This will get its own side of it in SmashCon. Perfect. What's up, Vombo? I mean, at the at the Salty Suite last year at SmashCon, I just played Mario Tennis. I had a Mario Tennis uh, money match. Next match, kind of, I'll probably have a bunch of money matches with Neil in like different games because he thinks he can beat me and things. This guy talked about how good he was at Mario Golf and how he's going to stream it, and then he still hasn't done it. Yeah, Mario Party for sure. I need to, so I have a money match, a Mario Party money match that I need to organize. It's gonna be me and Fire Blaster against Gunner Maniac and whoever he wants in Mario Party 2. I'm kind of excited for that. That should be fun. We were trying to do it last or uh, last SmashCon, but like it just fell, it just fell through. We, were, we almost had it. I got tied up with work though, it sucked. Yeah, I'm not dodging anything. When I have time to do things, I do it. Smash kind of like crazy busy though. I'm usually working or something until like midnight. Freaking smashies, always as late as hell. Always something. 
And then I'll be free like all day Sunday and no one's around. Yeah, SSC is pretty cool. Like, one of the nice things about it is that we have the whole day Sunday to do whatever we want. Since, uh, singles and doubles takes place over Friday and Saturday. Sunday is when we've historically done things like, uh, some of like the character battles and like, you know, Isaiah versus whoever and stuff like that. It's just so easy, right? backwards. Uh. Yeah, a lot of people since like the tournament is over on Saturday they plan to leave on Sunday and it sucks because like so many people are still around like it's such a good time to like get in a lot of friendlies and that kind of stuff like, come on Sunday Sunday morning flights are usually about the same as Sunday night get a Sunday night flight. Oh, I'm already in first. See ya. Yeah, that's fair. Fair last Smash Con on Sunday, I think I worked a lot because because the rest of the tournaments are still going, and, but 64 is done, so I didn't really, I just ended up working all the time. Yeah, I played, played a few friendlies, because we had the, um, the Super 64 adapters, so we were like getting people to test those out.
yeah. Especially like you said, you went in 2017. I mean, that was the second largest Smash Con. Which I think makes it the second largest 64 event ever. I think Smash Con 2016. Or is 2017 bigger than 2016? I don't remember. I think actually 2017 might have been the biggest. Either way, 2016 and 2017 were the two are the two largest events. 2016 was bigger, okay. I wasn't sure, because I know like 2016 was the big year for Smash, but I wasn't sure if SmashCon grew that quickly. Because 2015 was the first one. So I thought maybe like the third one might have been the biggest. 2017 a better t Oh yeah, definitely. 2017 is definitely a stronger field. But also like some people just got better. Like, <laughs> Karaba came to 2016, but he was not the Karaba we know now. Nice. Yeah, Smash Con is traditionally like my worst tournament of the year. I always like to be busy at tournaments, but for some reason Smash Con is like too much. I realized that was the last lap. Thanks. Back to back in Rome. Eight and a half minutes. Let's beat that. I guess why bother trying to make that turn? I don't have to.
2017 was crazy. I don't even remember that top eight. 2017. That's when. Oh, never mind. That's when Caraba. Was that when Caraba beat Boom? And then Boom lost to Fukuro. And then, like, Longera, like, had a crazy run. That was top three Japan, right? Fukuro beat, uh, like, Boom and Alvin or something? I forget. Oh, yeah. So, like, Genesis, at least Genesis, like, three and four, uh, definitely had the coolest, like, venue for top eight. And the crowd for Genesis three is probably the best ever. Um, but after they changed the way they do, like, ticketing and stuff for Genesis Sunday, uh, the, Smash Con, the Smash Con top eight crowd is definitely the best we get. It's so fun. Especially when Isaiah's playing. If Isaiah and Wizzy are, are both in it, then it's a good crowd. Yeah. Four is a huge disappointment compared to three. As far as the crowd or the tournament? Yeah, I mean, the tournament was a bummer because, like, Wario didn't go. And then... Did we get a top eight? I don't remember if it was top eight or top six. But it was also, like, mostly Pika. So a lot of people didn't like it that much. So it was also like, one of the last big tournaments that did five stock. Yeah, it was a lot of just... Yeah, Genesis 4 was the one where afterwards Boom Boom was like, we should consider banning Pika and singles. It's funny, after saying, after suggesting that we ban Pika and singles, he went on to lose to a, uh, a Yoshi and a Kirby at SmashCon. Um, no, Chris, I think it's honestly because he felt the most comfortable and like he had the best chance of winning by going Pika. I think he might say that now, that he wanted to get Pika banned, but I mean, ultimately he wanted to win. Because I think after that turn was when he started going a lot more um, Falcon. I think he was like, okay, this wasn't the answer. Uh, Bert, yeah, Bert's here. Oh, yay, we're on lap five.
It sucks, all these races are like eight minutes long. Yeah, pet that bird. You got it right in the butt. <laughs> yeah, I know chat can be a little delayed, but yeah, he's, he's there. I try not to have it active if he's not there. But sometimes if he leaves in the middle of the stream, I don't flip it off. extra time is that accident. And nine extra seconds. I was almost right. Alright, I'm winning by a little bit here. Hey, Saracel. some more cups. Okay. Alright, so we've didn't get gold. This one! What? Retro Militia! Thank you so much for the raid. No! So do I need gold in all of them? What is this crap? Hey everybody. I'm Dark Horse. I'm uh, beating every N64 game. And unfortunately tonight, we are about to hit the 20 hour mark on this freaking game. Because we just <laughs> don't know what to do. Yeah, I mean, Geo, that's like the only explanation, right? Because I've I've uh, meddled in everything, but I have one one silver remaining in in GT two, and then one silver remaining in GT one. So I guess I have to do those, which is just so lame. Yeah, Retro, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, I hope you're doing all right tonight. Um, what were you playing? I'm assuming you were playing something. And yeah, Chris Kringle, this, this game, man. Just keeps doing this to us. Oh, oh the wall was not there. The wall is here. Final Fantasy, nice. I uh, I can't say I've never played a Final Fantasy game because I did play the first one for like an hour one day. <laughs> but I have never really played through a Final Fantasy game. It just was not anything I had growing up. Unless you count Super Mario RPG as a Final Fantasy game, in which case, yes. Uh, no, Geo, it's, it's kind of whatever. It's like, oh, okay, there's... All right, so what, this race is going to take me four and a half minutes, and there's two more races that are each going to take me four and a half minutes, so it's like an extra 15 minutes. It's not a big deal. Yeah, Chris, I definitely, like, have a backlog that would be nice to go through like a lot of classic games I never played um, both Final Fantasy 
they're, they're, none of them are connected, right? So it actually doesn't, does it matter at all, like what order you play them in or anything like that? You can start on any of them, nice. I, like I've never been much of an NES guy, so can I can I just skip to whichever ones are on Super Nintendo? What's that like? Final Fantasy three? Wait, <laughs> wait, just hop in when they've ironed out some of the uh, some of the kinks. Four, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, not three though. Oh, three was on NES, okay. Because I know that one is like, that, that one is really highly regarded, right? Three? So maybe, maybe I do play it, even though it's on NES. I also need to play Link to the Past. some other classes. There's a bunch. Yeah. Yo, Arnie, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. There's an Arnie. Oh yeah, only three laps. What a breath of fresh air. Those of you that just joined, the later cups are five laps. And therefore, miserable and dumb. There are also like five courses, and this one's only three. Oh yeah, I've heard that, the, that the numbering of the Final Fantasies is messed up. Uh, okay. So the one that is labeled as three for SNES is technically Oh, okay. All right, so it's totally whack, and I'll just have to do some research. That's fine. Uh, thank you for the follow, Retro. Appreciate it. Man, dude, girl, lady. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who you are. <laughs> so now that you you said you finished your Final Fantasy playthrough, so what is next? Is it more NES, or do you do you hop around a bunch? horror guy. Okay, now I know. Oh, okay, so you, you all vote. You have a community vote. That's cool. Well, if you need any N64 recommendations, I got you. <laughs> 
And after last week, now I can even recommend some really good ROM hacks. Some N64 ROM hacks. Those are I definitely gonna play once this challenge is over. Maybe before. It's crazy how much easier a lot of these turns got with better cars. Dude, this game seriously is going to take up two more years. We keep thinking we're close to being done. And then it's just like, surprise. What is that, Bert? I can't. Lisbon, oh yay. The lens flare city. night. Thank you so much for dropping in. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll be able to check out the end of your Final Fantasy run. Maybe not. Maybe I don't want to spawn it myself. Nah, I'm not going to play it first. Who am I kidding? <laughs> yeah, have a good night, man. Yeah, retro gaming, the community's pretty good on Twitch. Uh, it's it's a hard life, you know, for the retro variety streamer, but you can definitely make it work. But not if you're playing 20 hours of World Driver Championship. <laughs> Thankfully, it's going to be over soon. That is what it feels like, Chris. Dude, even even Geo was like, ah, one more cup and then and then you're done. And then the game was like, nope.
So Arnie, what's uh, what's your jam? Are you a, are you an eight bit guy? Sixteen bit guy? Do you like your crappy late nineties three D games? things don't seem like they took that long if you just try and think back and remember. Like how much time did I really spend in the Chow Garden? I don't know. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you do, uh, that's cool. You do like his graphics and stuff. Yay. How many more cups do you think I'm gonna win? Oh, I think Bernie's needs to be. Yeah, alright, I guess I have to get silver here. Alright, hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Bert out real quick. I I did gold all the GT. Boom. That's the only possible thing I can do is is gold this because I gold everything else. Like it's literally the only thing I can do now. Where would you go? Aside from rank up. Qualifying time. Actually, I, I shouldn't need to. I forgot this is like a, a much earlier cup. I can just do the races.
is just trolling us now. Yeah, the game itself, like, it looks good, right? Frame rate's good. Handles pretty well once you get good cars. Um, the thing that's easily the most frustrating are the physics of the game. Sometimes it just, like, pranks you. Like, stuff like that. Like, do I really need that to happen? Okay, so it does puts you out of the entire circuit. There's no quit race. Got a bunch of restart races. Slow down. No fun.
Yeah, I guess I could have just caught up in that other race. If I can get this far ahead. Darn sucks. <laughs> gonna hit the 20 hour mark during this circuit but assuming this opens up the invitational we'll hit it while we're doing the invitational and it looks like this uh, this game is gonna move into our number three spot for longest game Man and Conquer had a very short reign in the top three. Man, I wish they just let me mulligan a lap. Just give me one more of my slowest laps. My best lap time. Ah, oh, eight minute race.
70 seconds faster. That's that one really bad turn. These cars have an eight here. Maybe the Falcon Interceptor does. Got it. All right. That's 2977. All right, did I win? Race two.
all catch up. short track I'm so far ahead. Okay, a fast lap is in the long 20s. So it is a fast First turn is rough. Right, Go for one nineteen here. Yeah. Nar, what's up, man?
Nice, you beat it. What's hard about it? Is like the platform really tight? Are the physics weird? Are the enemies just difficult? All of those things. Okay, so the bosses are difficult if you don't have the right equipment. That can be frustrating. All right, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Oh, wow. Deathless Trilogy. That would be something. Oh, wait, is this my least favorite track? Black Forest? I think it is. Yeah, it is. It doesn't really matter. I just need one point to win. I'm almost as fast as the dragon. Dirt on this course is like extra janky, I swear. Yeah, I know I know I have some restarts. Oops. Dude, car, what are you doing? It's so annoying. I just need to score one point to cover to make sure I still win.
like, it's just not fun. have to lose, just have to drop so much speed. This is the course that I'm worried the Invitational will be on. It's going to be either this one or Zurich. I It's not here, okay. It's definitely Zerg. See how fast I can take that turn. <laughs> Invitation was easy. We'll see about that. I don't think I was touching it. I mean, this track and uh, Zerk are the ones I didn't want to play. Alright, last 
Nice lap. Yay. I thought we could just go straight across that. Man. I didn't even rank up. Lame. Alright, we won the gold cup. Yeah, yeah, go win more cups. Like. Alright, so we've won all the gold cups. Yes. We could do the world cup now. 20 hours. Six raises. Yeah, this will probably be an hour. Oh, backwards. I haven't, we haven't done this course back before. They saved it. They saved it for the World Cup. Invitational's 20 laps. Oh my god. Watch him slap. Yeah, he slapped a minute and a half. 20 laps. Last play.
off the freaking side. Oh my god, what the hell? I, I don't know if I can do this tonight. I don't know if I have it in me tonight to beat this. Save in the middle of a top camera. Dude, that. Um, it might be Wednesday. I mean, it could be tomorrow, depending on how some other things go. What? Like, <laughs> how it's just spinning the car around for no reason. back in Extreme G2 territory. Screw that turn, man. 
absolutely unreal. Oh my god, I'm getting mad. Just let me get through this. So scared of that wall. Why is no one else anywhere near us? Alright, so just don't slow down.
Yeah, I mean, I get that the, the AI is going to be better in this cup, but it was like, it just feels silly because it's just one car, right? That's like competing with me. Look how far behind the rest of them are. Like, what a joke. Oh, just at the moment, yes. Later, they'll they'll all be good. Okay. Hardware limitation. Dude, that freaking turn, man. Also spread out too. Yeah, Coca, it, it actually does look really good for N64. Um, definitely got to give it credit. Mm. 
New Zealand. New Zealand can be kind of tricky. Let's see which New Zealand we get. We got reverse. Yeah, draw distance is pretty good. There's like one or two levels where they mess with it with like snow or fog or something. But for the most part, it's pretty good. Thank you for the follow, Code. Appreciate it. Yeah, overall, this is a, a pretty high quality racing game on this console. But, uh, I don't want to. Because <laughs> of how easy it is to screw up. Very frustrating. But then that gets, like, compounded with how long it is. If you're trying to beat them, it's very cool. Oh, come on, why would I do that? <clears throat> it's like, I can push them in the grass, and they're still going to seem to as me. Which, you know, doesn't seem Oh yeah, Gio. Gio's our, our resident uh, World Driver Championship expert. Yeah, we've like we've gotten to the point where we got the best cars, basically. So they're very nice. so far ahead. It's that bad, huh? With the neighbors. My neighbors can be pretty obnoxious. They just they yell really loud sometimes for like no reason. It 
it's not as bad as when like I first moved here. The kids were a lot younger then, and they would just be outside just screaming. Like it's just one of the worst sounds in the world. Just little kids screaming. Just shut up. It should be illegal for a kid to scream like that outside in public. slowly gaining on this. Oh. And we just had a pretty good lap, so I guess that makes sense. messes me up because it has the, the little blue chevron thingy on the ground which they usually put up when it's not that sharp on the turn but it is so really they're lying the game is cheating us Best lap of our lives now. Let's see if that lap had just been as good as the one before. the qualifier.
Demon Slayer time. bad. Well, I think, I'm pretty sure soon I'm going to rank up, so maybe I can get that car. And then at least they won't have it anymore. That's the thing, like, when you, when you rank up and you get a better car, it not only helps you because you now have a better car, but also... The AI doesn't. No, of course it hit me. Quick reverse, like that.
Bliss Band, my, my savior track. Getting past someone in that section is really hard. Because if you hit them wrong, you'll just spin out. And they slow down a lot, so it ends up being really easy to hit them. I guess we don't know if we need first in this one to unlock the uh, Invitational. So we just have to go for first. Or did you did you confirm it, uh, Gio, that I... Do I need first in this cup? Better guarantee, not sure, okay. Damn it. We'll do it, we'll get first. We got it. steering into the slide. them to not get second one time. Oh, that just... 
All right, rank up. Oh, this one. Nice. Oh, but it's probably backwards. It's gonna mess me up. Damn. It's a bummer. I've gotten so used to playing this track the other way. This course is probably one of the easier ones, in general. Laps are gonna be like, in the 30 something. Turns near the end, just a little bit sharper. Gotta watch out for this. Course is relaxed. It might still be a close race, but it's not a stressful course, so that's nice.
Yeah, we need more courses like this. Zurich's totally gonna be on this circuit though. Can't just get things easily. That first track is rough, the uh remember that snow level. Feels like it's taking it back. Sure. All right. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That collision totally makes sense. Thanks. Like, ah, it's, it's too easy right now. Hold on. Hold my beer. Let's troll this guy. Get out of here. Get boss racing. Get them out of here.
Zurich. All right, so if I win this, I'll be 15 points ahead. It was just that the second to last lap was really bad. Pretty much all the other ones were good. Oh crap, that's really bad. I don't know this track right here. Definitely could have gone worse. That one turn, that was the same. It's a long one though. Over two minutes. A win here is huge though. Huge. I think that might be the play on that turn. And then, 
uh, all that's left is the Invitational. Curves, yeah. Not even just the slow ones. Like some of the really tight ones, I can just like fly through it and hit a wall. Right there. I don't know. Still doable, actually. Still 
Turns get harder when you're in the lead because you're so used to watching um, someone else take the turn and then just kind of copying them. Then you're in the lead and you have to do it all yourself. Let's go! They were right behind me too, okay. No! It's this one! It's the worst! No! All right, since this is the last thing I'm doing tonight, we're gonna we're gonna do practice. Cause it's backwards now, which we haven't done in a very long.
Yeah, it's like that one section is just really crazy. Like you just have to slow down so much. And at the right time, and if you don't, then you just Bot line has to be like a 128 or something. We'll, we'll, we'll hit that one section. We got some restarts we can we can pull out. We just need to score a point. We need to score one point. Like we don't have to get first. First is nice. I'm not totally sure what place I need to score. This lap we have like a one Seventh scores one point. Okay, cool. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah, I can probably just keep them in front of me.
Something happened to them. Appreciate it. This is uh, my last race of the night, actually. Um, if I get at least seventh place right now, I will win the second to last circuit in this game, unlocking the Invitational Cup. And next stream, I'll play the Invitational. And then when I beat that, I will beat the game finally. We're actually right there. Is this the last lap? This is the last lap. Oh, yeah. So I don't even need to win this race. I just have to get at least seventh place out of eight. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's been a it's been a grind. Dude, there have been twenty one hours of. And the thing is, like, as the game progressed, the circuits got longer. So it started out like, you know, two or three races, and each race is three laps. And now it's like six, 
races, and each race is six laps. Like it just got longer and longer. And the first invitational was one race for 15 laps. Yeah, the game is not bad, but it's very, very finicky. Once you like go off road or something like that, you, you just lose control of the car and it's miserable sometimes. I definitely made it look a lot better than it is right there. All right, so we won. Hell yeah. Oh, we didn't get a freaking car upgrade. That's messed up. All right, let's see. Do we... That was Canada? Oh, I don't like that car sucks. We need the rage. Yeah, this. Actually, no, I don't know if I like that one. I think I like the car we're using. Yeah, dude. This car rocks. Screw everybody else. Last, we need to qualify. It's been a few days, you gotta get, gotta knock off the rest. Easy win. That's what I'm hoping, man. I think we can do it. Twenty laps is just so long. Dude, that one spot just gets me sometimes. I gotta be able to take that turn better.
Yeah. Good catch up. We just keep gaining on them so much that eventually, even if we screw up that one turn, it won't matter. that turns at the very beginning and not the very end. Get that. It was kind of nice being behind. It helped pass the time. Killed, killed five laps like that.
Yeah, if it were a different track, uh, it would definitely not be as fun. This track is really easy. If it were like that one that I hate, um, it would suck. Still be like really doable because 20 laps is just so long. But even on the even on that one really hard track, like eventually you just get in a groove and just win. Like I just had five bad laps and it didn't matter because I could just catch up to him so much. Yeah, I'm not in the absolute best car, but I mean, it's the best one, in my opinion, that's available to me right now. Like it has the, the lower top speed, but the, high, the better handling. So I like it. And these cars are like slow as hell. I don't know what the deal is. They suck. Who invited them? Yeah, I mean, this car is really good. I think it's also lighter than the car that I just unlocked. So actually, it is better. Maybe not, though. I might be remembering it wrong. Dude, that one lap was a minute 23. Crush that lap. Oh wow, I didn't spin out. Yeah, that's fine. After I be, I'm down to check out Mystic. See what it feels like. Might as well, right? Played so much.
just started downshifting sometimes to accelerate better. Because it'll keep me in seventh. And at like really low RPMs. Yeah, rank one, definitely pretty boring to achieve. I mean, I'm like four right now. So it would take a few more hours to get rank one because I just have to win a few more tournaments. And I just don't feel like doing that. I think that 123 is going to be my record. I think I'm beating that one. Especially now that I'm laughing. Other people I lap are behind me, and then second place is like a mile behind them. Trying to convince me I need rank one. Get the hell out of here. Try to make this a 24 hour game. Uh, I thought I could do it. <laughs> it's a OG. Dude, we're, uh, we're like eight laps away from beating this game. It's actually happening. And then we get to play a real game. Roadrat Scavenger Hunt. Only real gamers know. I know, I feel like Roadrat Scavenger Hunt has been lying, playing, lying and wait. Thing is. We actually will get to hear new music. I've had to play this game so much that the music will just like pop into my head at random parts throughout my day.
Yeah, I think I think the Rugrats game is really short. Um, so there's like a, a one-player mode, a two-player mode, or there are different boards. And I think one of the boards is for like one to four players, one of the boards is for two to four players, and one of the boards is for four players only. I think I can only do that one. And it's like, I've heard it's like Mario Party. I don't know. I pulled up the manual um, earlier, but I didn't get a chance to really look through it. And then of course the game after it, uh, Bass, uh, Bass Hunter 64. I cannot find the manual, so I'm going to have to just figure that game out, which I'm not looking forward to. I think it's a really long game, too, of fishing, of course. Lapping our fourth, our fourth guy. Four and five right there. Lap five. I think it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does, dude. OG, I am. I'm so far ahead. It's insane. The next five cars behind me are all cars that I've lapped. Like it's 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 so lame. That after all this and all the close races and all the jank, that the final race is such a joke. Yeah, just casual half hour joke of a race. Like, the other cars are just slow as hell for whatever reason.
Yeah, Mario Golf is going to be super fun. But Eddie, before we get to it, we have to play uh, Bass Hunter 64, which is really long. So <laughs> get ready for a lot of fishing. I think once I like kind of figure the game out and I get decent at it, you can speed run it a little bit, but I mean that's that's going to be a double digit hour game for sure. So it's like a career mode and in career mode you just keep playing in these tournaments. You keep competing in these tournaments. And how well you do in the tournaments, you earn point totals, and then at the end of your career, if you have the highest point total, like, you know, you're the best, you win. So that's, that's what we're aiming for. So we don't have to win every tournament or anything like that. We just, at the end, have to be the best. So there are probably gonna be like some tournaments and stuff we can like skip, you know? Like if we get like a really good, if we catch a really big fish at some point during a tournament, we can kind of like speed through the rest of the tournament since we're already gonna win, that kind of thing. It'll be, it'll be interesting trying to like see how quickly we can go through the game. There are no runs on speedrun.com. It is not even a game there, so I'll have to I'll have to add it. Oh, so close. This is it. This is the lap. We're going to do it. This is the one. We're doing it. We're mad at Like this definitely would have been the best lap. With that play right there. That was a boost. Dang. Could have been somebody. We're doing it the last lap. The last lap, it's gonna be our best one. The 122. We've never seen it.
Township to get up the hill. No! So close! There you go. We won by a minute. We almost won by a lap. Hey, we're already ranked three. Two, we skipped one. I could just do that one more time and get rank one. Winner. Yeah, Eddie. Rug Rugrats soon. What? I don't know, dude. I feel like I have to get it now. I honestly feel like I have to do it. That was not a satisfying ending. At all. All ones and a four? See, yeah, I think my car is the best. I'm sticking with it. Running it back. That didn't take that long. We're getting our freaking rank one. Not yeah, nine hundred thousand points. We're winning. Getting first is is a, is two million. So we'll, we'll beat this no problem. Thirty minutes. Knock it out real quick. We're already in first. We're just gonna cruise now. You guys can tell me about your day. Okay, <laughs> we'll pass the time. That was really unsatisfying uh, ending. You really do have to get rank one. For them to acknowledge your greatness. Like what a bunch of jerks. So after winning this, you get the Mystic to unlock it. Okay. You need to erase the first cup in GT2 again. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that for you, Gio. But once we get rank one, game's over.
see someone against the Falcon. Okay. Oh, okay. Huh. Falcon and the Mystic have an 8th gear. Twenty two, we beat our best lap. We crushed it. They're all the same specs. Yeah, so Eddie, it like, I beat the last cup, and then it's like, you're good, but you're still not the best. So I was like, yo, screw you. <laughs> it like, I didn't really get an ending. So I'm gonna see what happens when I just win again. Uh, Cause if I win again, I'm gonna get, I'll be rank one. And then it won't have anything to say to me anymore. No, I, I will be number one after this, uh, cause, cause I can do math. I need like under a million points, and this gives me two million. Just, just winning gives me two million. Oh yeah, Eddie, did you see the uh, the note about M2K's tournament? Yeah, I mean, it's it's whatever. We still have uh, we still have QR coming up. Is QR next weekend or the week after? What are the dates for it? I forget. I couldn't remember which one was coming first, M2K's tournament or QR. We got another 122? We got it.
Oh, what the hell? Chosen last OG. Nice. What's up, dude? One point five weeks. Okay, so it. So it's not this upcoming weekend, but it's the one after. Should be interesting. Original 12 with remix stages. I want to see it. It's going to be mostly Dreamland. I think some people will ban Dreamland though. Four bits, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, as Pika, you want to play in Dreamland. And if I were playing against Pika, I would be banning Dreamland for sure. I would also ban triplats against like uh, Jigglypuff. Yeah, I play in sixty four online. I play Smash online, but it works for it works for anything. Are you getting him so far? Ahead? Oh, I'm not. Wait, that guy is actually in second. What the hell? That's crazy. Great, yeah, I've been playing way worse this time. Uh, Scar, after this is uh, Rugrat Scavenger Hunt. And then after that is going to be the most exciting game ever, Bass Hunter 64. I do have a fishing rod controller, so I'll definitely try that first. It's pretty beat up though, so if I end up not liking the controller, I'll uh, just switch. Some fishing, a lot of fishing too, dude. It's a, uh, it's a long game. It's gonna be hours and hours of fishing. Yeah, Geo, uh, you can play 64 online a few different ways. Um, like Moopin has net play. Um, Project, and Project 64 has net play through Kylera. You can't keep getting away with it! 
And then, uh... You can't keep getting away with it! You can always set up, uh, Parsec to play with people online. So there's a few ways you can play online. Dude, Josh, I beat... I won this race, which is, like, the final cup or whatever. And then it's like, yeah, you're all right, but you're still not rank one. <laughs> Damn it! So I was like, screw it. I just did it. I'm doing it again. What's another 30 minutes, right? And I thought they would win. What a dope. Wow. What a moron. Hey, Josh, did you see that? I, was it the Texans or someone named McCown, like, coach in waiting? <laughs> yeah, Chosen, thanks for the follow. Yeah, Bert's upstairs, so yeah. No pets for Bert. I don't know, I just heard people talking about it on the radio. And they were saying whether or not it's a, it helps or hurts a team to, like, name a coach in waiting. So I'm assuming it, it happened. Wow, really? You're going to... That guy's just such a freaking dumpster fire. Imagine how bad you have to be for the for Jets fans to call your team a dumpster fire. Yeah. Yeah, Josh, that's 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 like what I was saying. They they like they like officially semi officially named him like coach in waiting. The heir apparent. That's cool. I'd like for I'd like for him to get a coaching job. Not with the Texans. I feel bad for him, but... Probably, like, literally any other team. Well, I don't want him to go to Buffalo or Miami or New England, because I don't want to have to root against them.
I don't, I don't, I don't think Fitz, I don't think that's Fitz's MO. I don't know if he'd be a good coach. I think McCown is like actually good at it. I don't think Fitz is. And yeah, Scar, it was like the, uh, the final circuit for each of the two like leagues is this Invitational Cup. And uh, yeah, it's the first one was 15 laps and this one's 20. Save halfway, like save partway through and just hop back in. How does that even work in a video game? Yeah, yeah, a lot of the, the actual sim game, like racing sims, yeah, you have to like upkeep your car and stops and stuff like that. I was never a huge fan of that, like just give me arcade racer. Let me just mash buttons. There were, I think, a couple of the, like, Formula One games that I've played so far. You had to make pit stops, or you could, like, disable it. I forget. One of them, I definitely had to do it. Um, I remember, because, like, the tires would wear out. Um, but, like, once you got... It depended on the, the course, like if the course was short enough, you could get away with like not stopping. Uh, it, like definitely, you know, it adds an element to the game for sure, but it's just not an element I care about. Yeah, we're, we're on lap 16. Let's go. Then it's Rugrats time. I'm racing to Reptar. I, 
I've, I've seen no footage from this Rugrats game. I've only heard that it's kind of like Mario Party. And if it's like Mario Party, I kind of wonder why we never played it at a tournament. No, you stop that, Gio. You stop that. <laughs> yeah, the game like freezes or something. Power goes out. Okay. We had the game freeze on us one time. This is like the first or second stream of this game froze. Street. What happens on lap 18? When you're almost an entire lap ahead. that a channel point redemption. Oh, you just go through the dirt there. Oh, dude, I might be able to laugh. No! no. I can 
the left, that one. Okay. I start that way too late every time. It's totally doable. Can't be stopped. Hey, let's see. We won by oh, almost a full minute. Break one. No, not if you replay. There we go. Ah. Wait, I didn't bring my water down here. Dang it. Winner. Wait, that was a new song. Congratulations, you have finished World Driver Championship and are now the World Driver Champion. It says I finished. Yes, and there are credits. It's, that's, there you go. Oh, I guess I skipped.